reckon. I reckon too. Now we're gone. Oh. We did it, baby. Oh, you think my TV's too loud? I turned it down some. Already. I don't think it's currently too loud. Okay. I thought that maybe, was the part I was. I, I I did think so earlier, and I took care of it. Okay. Yeah, everybody's been twittered now. Take that. Fucking stupid. What if if you go to, to if you neo analogism if you practice what. says neo analog ism is because somebody's gonna change it somebody's gonna think about it. oh we have a philosophy of this an opinion of this and somebody's gonna have a different opinion they're gonna fuck maybe they'll get louder than the person who originally fucking created it and it's like well, where do you go from there oh why was i talking about that though because What are they going to do about, like, everything? Is it going to be, like, a, a collective of people who go live like the fucking Amish? I mean, it should be. I don't want to be part of what you got going on. And I want you out of my fucking life. But then that's no cell phone, which I'd be okay with. That's no computer, which I'd be okay with. Let's get some fucking books going. Is his our uh, books analog? Yeah. Are we doing uh Platinum? Yeah. Uh go for oh, you like like to discuss that? How do you feel about it? I feel like I could take it or leave it. Uh I wanna do gold. Okay. Anything that goes forward that is different from what is going on now has to be better. If you're just going to fucking hook up old VHSs, it's not going to work. Or VCRs, whatever. ROM versus emulator. And that they... The first thing that they describe themselves with is apolitical. Why feed into the bullshit? You have to first and first mostly, this isn't a political thing. Doesn't matter if you say it is or it isn't because somebody will make it. Yeah. People turn anything to fucking politics. Well, it's the nature of man. No, it ain't. How? What a stupid thing to fucking say. The nature of man was originally fighting. And because some people got tired of fighting, some people didn't want to fight no more, some people wanted to enjoy the time that they had instead of fighting. Like, hey, let's fucking trade and shit. And it just so happened around that time, I'm sure, that communication between people started to develop. In, in a more verbal language way so that they could try to speak to each other instead of just knowing what the people of your tribe fucking act like. Or did it even matter because they were just doing what you need them to do. So... <laughs> What do I have? It's like I got sugar all over me. We are eating fucking dough balls, though. I didn't want that. Anyways. I wonder how much better that recipe would have tasted if I didn't read that fucking comment or if I didn't read that, that description area. I'm deleting any negative comments. Well, fuck you. Go fucking pray in a mosque on the woman's side, idiot. 
stupid bitch. Love you, Mishima. Uh, peace. Yeah, it's, it's a little lagging. I don't know who I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna. Are you sure? I'm just gonna fuck it up. Not on purpose, but because I want to. Again? I said we're gonna lose, not on purpose, but because I want to. <laughs> oh, not on purpose, but because you want to. Yeah. Oh, Go ahead, make sense of that. Delicious. Donald Trump. Delightful contradiction. <laughs> <sighs> fucking millions, 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 millions of fucking sub scribbles to that idiot who made that recipe millions of sub scribbles for lots of people who make the same fucking recipes they don't call it anything it's just like this very basic fucking thing half of the video is just watching them do the same thing again like ooh do step 7 scoop balls into frying uh oil and then they'll do another batch, and I have to watch that. And it's like, bitch, what is the point of any of this? And you know shit is not going to taste the same because if you get different grains, if you get different milk, if you get different this and that, you can't determine if what they're doing tastes good. Because if you do and you got shittier ingredients, you got better ingredients, it's, it's always going to be different. Yeah. There's like certain basic things that should be learned and then people should just experiment. If they weren't stuck in fucking prison schools all the time, kids could be making some fucking bomb food. I said because the Muslim. Uh -huh. Make some bomb ass it's food. some bomb food. It's all fucking sickening. I gotta... Powder my ass. Recipes are for fucking dopuses. Oh, neon angleism, analogism, whatever the fuck. What does that say for the food we eat? Is that, is that, is this something that encompasses everything? No, it fucking is not. I want to be a neo angleism but I have to work at my fucking digital job. <sighs> it all seems so stupid and useless. Okay, get this corn bag on me. Uh. Looks like a big old nutsack. Oh, it's a big old nutsack, huh? Mm. So it looked like our heater dealer here. Can we like push it back or something? Sometimes it sounds like there's like a base. Some fucking jungle boo uh, driving down our block. I didn't. Oops. Okay. You said be. What should should I do? Like the the just a car or something? That worked out pretty good last time. Right, I'll give it a try. What do I got? Hmm. I've seen cryo rounds, but I forget since on this I have warp rounds. Is warp oh it does weaken armor, okay. Should I do warp rounds too? Yeah. Oh, 
probably do a cyclonic modulator. I don't know. No? Power amplifier? Do more damage? Okay. Damn, I got like... Or not. I'm getting all the things. Uh, what about this? I feel like I need to put on a better gun. The eagle's not good enough? It doesn't have enough rounds. Feels like it, it, it doesn't do enough damage, but maybe it does? There's probably nothing I can put on that'll be as good, right? Yeah. I don't really know how I set her up. I feel like I should be doing, like, shotguns or something. You know? Like, I could... Pew! I don't think I made a defensive bubble. No, it's, uh... Offensive. Yeah. Probably none of this is going to be good enough because it's weighs too much. Ugh. Yeah. I don't like it. I'm just going to try. See what shotguns are. I'll just do support. Yeah, right. <sighs> Only the Wraith 1. The Eviscerator is a pretty good shotgun. You think I could do well with it? Is that the one that's like far reaching? No. Uh, it's your kind of standard shotgun. It does. I like it a lot. It, it does pretty good damage. Can I... 150. Am I going to be that close to them? I mean, maybe. Damn, I didn't set nothing up very right because oh, my defense sucks. I was going to keep to what I did before and then try to uh, do something different at some point. Okay, baby. You can see my butt. That nasty black that, ass. That nasty ass. <laughs> Got memes forever now. <laughs> I am become meme. Fucking pistol. Should I do a pistol or should I do... Should I be focused more on... More on... The SMG. Uh, I I think pistol would be good. Um, I don't know how you are about headshots, but the targeting VI is pretty good too. Oh yeah, because then it wouldn't matter what I use. Maybe I'll try that. I I think it's real easy to shoot brutes in the head. It's real easy to shoot banshees in the head. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Most everybody except the Geth. The Geth are a little hard to hit in the head, I think. Yeah, and they fucking... Yeah. They're all moving like a lot crazy. Jumping around. And the bombers, they don't have heads. Yep. Fuck them. I'll blast your nasty ass then. I'll do Reaper? Yeah. And what about this? <coughs> Uh, I would think someplace relatively close. I mean, white was so good last time with that bubble. Should we try white? Yeah. Okay. Is that I thought we did? Uh, which fucking one is it called? Uh. What was it? Giant. 
I thought we did oh, giant we with did, that one. We did Should we gi- try white with this one? Uh, we, it's, it's been a little bit since we did a giant. Yeah, because we've been doing uh platinums like yeah. the last uh, two. Let's let's do let's do uh giant again. Tuchanka. Okay. Are you sure? Not sure. Uh, well, if I press OK, then we have to be sure. How do you feel about it? I don't know. It's a bit big, but... Well, then let's do white. Are you sure? Let's do white. It's my final answer, Regis. <laughs> Listen, I'm not dead, and I never will be. Oops, no, not exit. Yes, we have no choice. I guess I don't have free will. It's time to go. I think we've got a... Pew! We've got a take what we have with the, uh, I don't even know what to call it. People have fucked words up so much, I don't like using words that they use anymore, you know? Whoop, I did a good job. Uh, the system, or whatever, that we've developed. That is the scientific method of human. And I think we should focus on it and explain it more. We did it. We're pooping. All up in my pants. Cause So the system we made we you said we need to refocus it? No, not refocus we need to focus on it. Oh. Cause uh it with without reason, without truth without the necessary components that make up reality then it doesn't work but nothing works without those things you know so it's the perfect excuse to be fucking reasonable What the fuck? Where did that go? Get out of here. What did I hit then? <laughs> Anyway, people have to have a reason to be smarter than they are, you know? They're like, well, if everything's just fucking opinion, what would anything matter? 
but it not everything is fucking opinion. Did I even get fucking ammo? I must have. Whoop. Will you just come up here, you bitch? I know. Yeah, fucking kill him. Whoop. Did that grenade blow up yet? Yeah. Oh, you fucking bitch. shirt on my face too. Oh, very it's nice. cause I'm so sweet. It's only cause I got a really high blood sugar. <laughs> you need both wife? Yeah, but I got this gun. There's still another banshee coming? Damn. Oh. oh shit! Suck my dick. My big honky dick. She dead. We got three whole waves survived, wife. Hey. That's more waves than we ever get viewers at the same time. <laughs> ah! They're too busy being retarded for Jesus. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's not nice. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff. Oh fuck me, I'm in all. No, sorts of husband. I'm right at the bottom of the stairs. There's a brute who's half dead. Fuck you, asshole. Shh. There's another one? Oh. Thank you, baby. Whew. Thank you, wife. Sitting here talking all this shit about staying alive. What are you, the Bee Gees? Oh, husband brute.
God damn, they almost killed me, wife. Fuck. Damn, yeah. that fucking grenade is like... How the fuck did it... It affected me, and I was like right at the door, too. Oh, shit! You fucking whore. Really? Alright. Get in the damn thing already. Oh, shit. Uh, back up a little bit. Oh, shit. There's a guy behind us, one of these fuckers. <laughs> Come on, baby. Fuck them. Uh. Whore. Whore of Babylon. You fucking bitch. Wife bench behind you. Hut, hut. Is there anybody coming on behind us? There usually is. I didn't see one. How did this happen? Should we go this way? Yeah, let's go that way. Do some sort of tactics there for a minute. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Oh my god, they spawned right here, wife. Ow. Should I get a missile? Oh. I did it. They're everywhere. You fuck. Oh, fuck you. Oh my god. Duh. Oh, I could have got you. Sorry. Oh, maybe that's the problem. My gun's not shooting. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, I'm weapon glitch right now. I can't, uh... You have no guns? There we go. Hold on. I don't know if I switch back. There we go. Gun glitch. I couldn't even pull out my, uh... What you call it? Penis? Yeah, that. Uh, my missile. Hmm. Just a sec, wife. I'll, uh... okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I used all the gear that time. Yeah. Waves. It got fucking crazy. I 
I think twice Ravager spawned in front of us the way we were going. Yeah. Why was I covered in goo? Because that's where the Ravagers were? Yeah, but I had... I had purposely avoided it. That's <laughs> twice now that I've pressed my A button to do this and I didn't move. What kind of dumbass dumbassness? Well, we won. It's too much goo. I wanted to go look up the stairs. Ow! Something very much hit me in the face. Three times. Bad guy. Whoop. You fuck. Oh man, there's a whole other set of them down here. Blind this baby, there's a marauder. Just a second. <sighs> Shit. I got it. Oh no. Oh my god, he's up top, wife. You fuck. Ow. I can't believe how poor I'm doing. Oh, my fault. I suck. We'll probably have to do a second one to make up for this one. Well, uh, listen, we got a world to save from its own stupidity. And by world, I mean the people on it are stupid, not the world itself. Though sometimes I question the intentions of the universe to fucking create such invalids to begin with. I was like, why? Because what else are you gonna do, right? I guess? That what makes else? sense to me. That sounds bad. There's some brew behind us. Ugh. Woo! Oh shit. Oh shit. Cool. Oh 
slow down. Uh, should we just go? Yeah. Fuck you. Okay, bye. I don't know where she was going. Let's go, baby. Crud. Ah, some touched me in my butthole. It wasn't me this time. Uh -huh. Both my hands are on the control. This time. <laughs> play like a like a puppet you take your pubic hair and you string it up oh, and I, 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 yeah I'm very in that yeah. with my pubes nice. they're extra long for her pleasure well sure not for mine <laughs> I missed so did she. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Uh. There's a marauder's chair left, wife. Let's get out of here. Okay. There's fucking ravage a uh, ravager here. Uh... Oh come on. Through the, the thing. How oh, nice. Have you noticed that there's been uh, more stupid people on YouTube? Not that there was smart people before, but the the intelligence has definitely went down. Like, there's more, like, idiots who talk to their dolls or eat fucking fast food and go, This is my review. It is good. You know? Shit like that. Yeah. YouTube is definitely, like, just breeding stupid. And that's probably the point because stupid people are more controllable. But if yeah. you call them out, you're a racist. Oh shit. Sorry. Ugh. You alright, baby? Yeah. Oh, why can't I? 
F that S. Yeah, there's copious amounts of stupid. Oh boy. Right. I'll meet you over there. And also, no wisdom. I challenge anybody. There's, there's fucking no wisdom whatsoever in anything anybody has done in the last fucking 2,500 years. Well, I mean, like, Descartes and stuff. Is, there's some... So I don't know if that's wisdom, though. Oh, I thought that was a marauder. I got this one. Okay. I don't think you need to be here, wife. I'm invisible. Okay. I'm hoping because I got- Oh, no! I should have just fucking- I got it, baby. You can okay. get out of here. Oh, my God! <sighs> oh, shit. Fuck me. I got a... All right, I'll get out of here so that you can. Oh my god, my fucking controller is not gonna let me do this. Who I got lucky? What the fuck? Oh my god. Suck my dick! Machi, machi, wife. Ugh. What are we, new? No, this shit is just <laughs> bored. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm okay. Also, my. Whew. Twice. I got real close to finishing the device and. My piece of shit controller moved me off of the... Uh. Everybody's definitely becoming uh, more infantile, too. Uh, like, even the people... What was that fucking Walter guy's name? That shithead that made an x-ray machine in his bathroom or some shit? Uh, Os Osman? Yeah. He act, he acted like a fucking baby. The fucking um the H three idiots, they are acting like fucking babies. Everybody is just acting like fucking babies. And to say that is really like an insult to babies because they're they're new to life. Yeah. These fuckers have babies. Oh, we're we're extracting. Oh no, I we're, don't have a. We're pulling out, wife. <laughs> oh, were well, you stuck? Nobody has any useful information anymore. It almost seemed like they did at some point, maybe when I was uh, less learned than I am now. I was like, oh, this is good. This might be good information. You know, like fucking China Uncensored and shit. But then they just kept playing the same fucking record over and like they're always. They're yeah. always playing for it. Oh shit. What? Sorry, I got I panicked. They're they're always playing for the new subscriber instead of looking out for the OGs and and growing with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. They choose to be fucking stupid. 
is the let's just talk about how fucking China is the worst every single day and not put the pieces together that it ain't just fucking China, you know? That now it's seen, if, if you keep just blaming China, then you don't see the bigger fucking picture. No. Oh, look at these tiny little one, limp wrists. One tiny little piece in the big puzzle, the, the fucking shape that is the bad things that happen. Mm -hmm. No, it's just China. It takes on a global fucking view and and it's not just for right now it's a view since fucking the very beginning wherever we can trace our history back to trace our fucking information how the world fucking came to be the way it is yeah it creates a distinct fucking pattern Ugh. and that pattern is an ooh Let's talk about fucking China and then talk about fucking, like, how American legislation can do something about it. Or, like, fuck right the fuck off. <laughs> do you want to put one of your balls in your mouth? Yeah, I'll put some of these balls up in my mouth. We were watching that fucking leather dum dum. Apron. Yeah, and he was talking about fucking statistics about like Jewish podcasters and the Jewish people they have on their what? No, I'll take this, but have another one. Oh, and the Jewish people they have on those podcasts. They were talking about that. Weinstein guy. He's some fucking University of uh, Oregon or some shit. He was the one that had like a bunch of black kids yell at him for not staying home on Black Kid Day or some retarded shit like that. And uh, he was on like Joe Rogan, blah blah blah. He had his own podcast with his wife. Don't know what fucking happened to it. Don't care. Uh, apparently he does the same Jewish thing, but there was a time I, I, when I stopped listening altogether, cause it's like, oh, they have guests about, you know, these doctors who talk about their, the information they have about fucking Roni shit and blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. But the last one I watched was talking about Elon fucker. And how potentially he could, like, save the world or something. Or save free speech. And it made me so fucking angry that I never watched it again. And it's like how you were a professi. And that's the level you... You're so stupid that you put any fucking stake in Elon Musk. What kind of research do you do? What kind of information do you have? It doesn't take a fucking genius to see someone say I've done this or I'm doing this and watch for the contradictions you know luckily there was that Thunderfoot guy the, with uh, the worst fucking Elon Musk thing yeah oh he won it's hard to make cars so it was hard to fucking put it uh, uh, have them come out in time or fucking whatever and luckily I have you because you know more stuff than I do, so you can lead me in directions and blah, blah, blah. We were... I have knowledge in other fields than you do. I don't know if I have more knowledge than you. Oh, okay. Um, you have knowledge in different fields than I do. You led me in a direction that the, the means by which people make solar panels is destructive more destructive than just fucking refining oil uh and the 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 batteries that it takes to fucking store the energy and it's it's like nothing fucking changes with thunderfoot he went to that site that 
Elon fucker did the uh, the vacuum tube test, and it was fucking made out of concrete. And it was fucking cracked. Obviously, it was going to be fucking cracked eventually because it's just concrete. Uh, so, it, obviously, there was a, a vacuum cannot exist in fucking concrete. So, he didn't make a vacuum tube. So, what the fuck was he doing there with all the, the contests and, oh, let's put things down here and see how fast you can... It's all fucking bullshit. So this motherfucking idiot, who it's a good thing he's not a fucking teacher anymore, because he's teaching bullshit, but so are all the other teachers, tell it, saying that this guy fucking... Something, something, free speech, something, something. To even give it that time, as opposed to... Like, thinking about what it means, what free, what does free speech mean when you say it? Is that just saying whatever the fuck you want? Is that just, uh, like libations all day and to verbal libations until everybody's sick of each other? Is there some sort of system that maybe has to be developed so we know what the fuck to say so that our words are valued? And if you value the words the definition of free speech isn't just getting a fucking uh, uh, drop Negrosaki bombs. <laughs> Negrosaki. It's fucking being able to find reason. And then you see that the lack of free speech, quote unquote, puts a wall between you and reason. Yeah. That you can't find you because you can't say because nobody says contrary. Then you don't contrary is harder to see. Then you end up following just whatever the fuck everybody else is doing, or just getting angry for seemingly no reason. Or what? Well, what? What's the point of even speaking? Yeah, when we, we we have this ability to speak and perform a language and. That happened before the fucking Constitution happened. So yeah. our ability to speak freely has existed before any governments were formed. Mm-hmm. It so, has to be a human thing because when you start giving it to some power that is bigger than you because it exists throughout time and it's just like this power structure that people utilize to fuck everybody... You start seeing things in a smaller, stupider context. Just like fucking YouTube. Just like fucking everybody else. You know, maybe. Maybe. Elon Musk can save. Save us. With, save our free speech. He can do it. But everybody else on the same planet. On the planet yeah. You gotta do it at the same fucking time. Yeah, what makes he's, him yeah, so he's, great? He's one piece. He's one piece out of eight billion people, or whatever the fuck the number is now. Everybody's got to do it. Everybody's, yeah, everybody has to partake. But he sure ain't gonna fucking do nothing. He's too busy having sex with prostitutes or whatever the fuck he does all day. <sighs> It's kind of weird. Everybody like, looks to some people to be their saviors. Mm-hmm. But I think what's either closer to the truth is either A, everybody's your savior. Everybody's every, everybody's savior. Or B, you gotta save your fucking self. Mm-hmm. I... I, I lifted you up in my mind as my savior uh you know that's all that's a lot of pressure you know but it it, it also when i figured i was like well i could kill myself or i could find all the information i need to figure something else out you know I tell you, still, I mean, I'm not... <laughs> this ass isn't going to wipe itself. <laughs> uh, that sounds rude. Like, you, you're my fucking... My chambermaid or some shit. Um, this heart isn't going to love itself. There was a lot of stuff to, to know to realize that there is no 
savior. It's just, I'm a woman, I'm weaker, I need a man. But also, you're a man, you have weaknesses too that I can strengthen. And I have weaknesses that you can strengthen. None of those idiots are going to fucking do anything. What do you say, a heart? Heart needs loving? What was the thing you just said? I don't know. Damn it. Tommy, what was the thing I just said? I can't remember what it was, but it sounded just like, like a Dolly Parton song. I got the tits for it. Yeah, you do. <laughs> they feel like they're getting, like, super long. Like, look at that. Were they always this long? I didn't no. think so. Like, there's more room for milk. There's just no milk. I just got plastic bags of milk. They look like some pretty big milkers to me. There's so many, like, is there even a way, there's, my mind always comes across these contradictions when I talk or when I'm listening to things that drive me up the wall. And a lot, uh, a lot of similar ones have been happening lately about environment stuff. Because obviously, I don't want fucking things to die. I don't want fucking my wife. in our salt fucking all the mercury in the water and I think about how the people who did this who are part of the system that did this is now just blaming the individual right so it's like oh which if they were stupid enough to cause this problem they're too stupid to fix it they're too stupid to point fucking blame. So anything that they do is negatively affecting shit just like it was before. You tell me I can't have a plastic bag when you fucking, you put more fucking plastic in the water making your stupid micro machines, whatever fucking stupid shit you sell. Discouraging... Insulting people. Forcing them to feel like it's their fault. That's that's abuse. I mean, like, putting all the shit together. Abuse is abuse is abuse is abuse. But the way that people abuse people, it's like, how do you say it specifically? I wish I could just say what I want to fucking say. People fucking listen. And then we could start working on something together, you know? But instead... Is there a way to just write down all of the contradictions, you know? Yeah. It's like, but how do you break it down? Like, paying taxes. You're giving money to people who want to fucking kill you, who have been trying to kill you, who tell you that they're not trying to kill you, that they have your best interest in mind, but there is all the evidence to the contrary. And you a bitch about fucking wars, but look at what they're fighting. How many billions of dollars go to fucking... Uh, Israel a year, you know, Ukraine right now. Uh huh. And, and, and what's happening to everybody else? The way that they fucking control money has been on my mind so often. It's like, you just make shit up. They are just making shit up. When you separate fucking man from nature, money does not exist in fucking nature. Does it? No, not that I've seen. Pe things may a monkey may trade bananas for sex, but that's not money. Money is a fucking middleman. That's like going to the bank and fucking depositing bananas so that you can fucking use them later on or some shit. You know, like it it it's not the same thing. <sighs> money is not barter goods. No. It's just a, it's a thing that says, hey, this is a thing that you could trade for stuff that you want to barter for. But you don't fucking control the value. It changes whenever somebody wants it. What, what is the, 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 the value of gold based on? Which that's probably not even fucking money anymore anyway. It's just how much gold you find, right? And people only had gold because the big, the big honchos that had gold 
started having too much gold. I'm like, well, I don't want this anymore. Let's use it for currency or something, you know? It's all bullshit. All of it is bullshit. So how can you live a good life when bullshit runs it? doesn't make any fucking sense no and the more people feed into it you could just stop feeding into it you can just stop feeding into it start in increments get rid of your fucking netflix account instead of saying the dumb shit you say start asking questions start asking people fucking questions that's a good step one you'll see ask questions and you'll see how quickly nobody knows what the fuck they're talking about because yeah. they, won't, they won't answer the question. Nope. They'll get insulting. Mm-hmm. But they don't see it because they do it themselves, these fucking morons. Yeah. Getting angry at a, at a question is the... Peak retard. Is, is the clear, clear indication of lack of knowledge. Mm-hmm. So they blame it on a person. Oh, you're too stupid to, to, to reason yourself. You're too stupid to put fucking pieces together yourself. So I'm getting angry at you that you're wasting my time. I went to fucking doctor school for eight years for this. You know what I mean? Yeah. You should want, I wouldn't want if I had a good in service, which I do. I wouldn't want someone to blindly accept what I have to say. Because if they blindly accept what I have to say, they could blindly unaccept what I have to say. And that's stupid. Thank there you. has to be... And I want to trust other fucking people. So I have to do the same thing that I require of other people. Yeah, and if they'll blindly follow or not follow, the uh, same thing goes for anybody else. Mm-hmm. That's how the whole fucking human race ends. That's what everybody wants because they don't they don't know the value of life. They're too stupid. I have more power by hating life. You know what I mean? Yeah. They they it's like they I was given life and I didn't even ask for it, so not wanting it is putting the control back in my hands. It's like the people who have kill themselves or who fight to the death or whatever i i'm i'm putting my life in my hands by killing myself before you get to me um one of the those guys did it on live tv uh the the uh, bosnia i think what kind of well one of the like main generals in bosnia or whatever that he was being blah 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 war crimes in like an international thing and he's like fuck you I'm not listening to your shit I'm not letting you decide what happens to me I'm killing myself right now and he fucking popped a pill and croaked so now everybody thinks that's that's the fucking thing you stand on not because of him but that is a general state of mind for everybody I'll just keep going until I have to shoot it out or fucking poison myself. Um, I'm going to work towards the not Socrates ending. I don't, I don't get where everybody's fucking heads are at. I think people just feel like it's hopeless. But I know that... Oh, fuck, fuck hope. I know that with the right words, with... Because you can't play their game. You can't do what the stupid people do. So the essence of what we are is to eliminate the stupid. How do you have a political fuck, oh, bullshit debate about what side is better when you categorize them both as equally stupid, you can see the patterns that make them stupid, and you have something to offer that's completely fucking different. It 
that system would not work if this system was held to a high regard. Regarded. If what we do was even just listen to, there would be more power in the balance of, of, of good and truth. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what would come to us because we're not playing their fucking game. It's not happening. We can, we can, all, the only thing that we're, that we can do is just make everybody fucking angry. If, if you are a judge, have you ever seen a cool headed judge? I haven't. Nope. Have you ever seen a cool headed cop? Nope. Have you ever seen a cool headed politician? Has nope. any of those people, have you ever seen a cool headed doctor when you question them, they get fucking angry at you? It's about pushing those buttons because those buttons are the things are the, the 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 things that they hide behind. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I feel like I'm scorched. I don't have any room. My pants are falling down. Uh If you cannot be level-headed and reasonable, all you're doing is playing a power card. And that is a contradiction of what they say they do. Right? Right. I'm getting so fucking bothered for some reason. I think I'm just having pangs, and I hate things touching me right now. Driving so, me crazy. No, no corn bag? No. Okay. I gotta fix my fucking pants. Where, where is the source of, I don't even know what to call it, what fucking people do? What do people think the source is? Can you hold my hand for a second? Ow! <laughs> uh, what? Uh, one, well, I wonder what that sounded like on the microphone. The electric fucking execution that you gave me? <laughs> Two. Uh. I knew you were going to blame me for that. <laughs> I was grounded. I have rubber feet on. <laughs> you used to I, do that as as a trick to me, didn't you? And then you started touching light switches so yeah. that I wouldn't get shocked. Yeah. I was tired of that shit. <clears throat> I need I need to know what where people it's like a spiritual thing. Politics is a religion. They don't know where it comes from. They don't know where the 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 players in whatever it is that created the thing that they exist in and believe in and shit. <clears throat> they have made up origin stories. Mhm. Mm like America was founded here. They got their, I got their own lore. They got their own characters. Mm-hmm. Someone you pray to. They got you fucking pray to people. Well, you got to do the pledge of allegiance oh, and shit. Oh yeah. Oh, please save me, Donald Trump. And, and the one nation under God, and all you know, all that blah 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 mm -hmm. crap. Uh. Yeah, there's, there's a... I'm sure we can find some more examples. There's no structure to what anybody believes in. When you boil it down, when you really fucking start poking at people, it's fear that they're going to get in trouble. It's fear that they're going to be... punished. Or hurt. Some sort of embarrassment Something way. Something is going to be taken from them. And is that how we should live? I don't think so. So why are we living like that?
Can we give Daniel Jackson blackface? Oh. Now that I learned my cool new trick. <laughs> Speaking of which. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. I can't, I can't breathe burger. <laughs> Comes with smoked bacon and fentanyl. Ugh. What a nasty piece of shit. I mean, if you don't have empathy for people, and that's not sympathy. Empathy is where you understand the situation that people exist in. And if fucking sick pig fucks don't have the ability to empathize, then they do not have reason. Because now you can't make connections. So he just fucking apathetically sits on someone's fucking head. With his hands and his... It's disgusting. It makes me want to... I hope he fucking dies in jail. I don't mind when pigs fucking die. And they did that to me. I care when anybody else fucking dies. But not when a fucking cop dies. It... I feel disgusting having to fucking run into death stuff wherever I fucking go. Except when it comes to cops. My heart feels good. Because something bad has now been removed from the world. But it's just gonna be fucking filled with some other idiot. I, and I understand that they are individuals who were once children that were just brainwashed into doing what they're doing but they are men and they have the power of reason they have the opportunity to reason if they don't then fuck them I kinda I feel that way with everybody else but I just try not to because they take advantage of any situation that they're in even if they just are a stupid Muslim cooking show on fucking YouTube, they will use any ounce of that power that they're given. And that's disgusting. That means that you're not creating your own power. That you're not, you're not harnessing something in yourself. And where, where, what would you do for power? It's either follow wherever the power is or truth. That's the only fucking thing. There isn't any individuality to it. <laughs> There's a magic to empty bars. <laughs> Fuck you. You want truth? You come here, idiot. It exists nowhere else. You search and you search and you end up looking at Elon Musk for fucking... He loves Elon Musk so much he, he fucking interviewed Elon Musk's brother for some fucking reason. <laughs> that cross-eyed fucking cowboy hat wearing retard. What was the point? To talk about empty bars? Oh man, was it really cool to share a bed with Elon Musk? Did you have bunk beds? I'd have a bunk bed with Elon Musk. Oh, did you guys play uh, uh, did cops and robbers? Oh, did you have any micro machines? I used to love micro machines. Does Elon Musk still have his micro machines? Can I have one of his micro machines? I bet Fuck he, you. I bet he could buy all the micro machines. Oh, I bet he has a whole collection. I bet he took his micro machines and made them into real. He has a Bugatti micro machine. He has a Bugatti real car. But even I see that and I feel less. I mean, it sucks. They were children, but they were aggressors. And if you don't see that, then you start. You see the aggressors as fucking saints. And then you are more of an aggressor. What is that doing for you besides giving you something to think until you die that's not living that's not living for anybody else and you're an enemy they have to be enemies anybody who goes against truth has to be a fucking enemy uh. why is life why is it so easy why is it so easy to lie? Why does it feel good if you... Why do we have such a... a Pugative reaction to the truth? Let me ask you a question. 
how did it feel to lie and how does it feel to not lie now? Uh, it felt, it feels terrible to lie. How so? Uh, there's like a panic that happens. There's a, a sometimes it's a self-examining, you know. If you say I'm this, and I well, no, no, I'm not. I had to look at myself uh, and see something I didn't like. So that's one thing. Or <clears throat> I'm gonna get in trouble if it's. I admit the truth if I didn't do something uh, or if I didn't know or I was wrong that's a lot of fucking chaos yeah there's a lot of a lot of past just down to you know down to lies uh, and all of it hurts to do but now I, I've replaced a lot of the energy and the bad feelings that have come with the lying and telling the truth and the weight of lying goes away or it's greatly reduced uh My relationship with you has improved greatly, and I like that a lot. Well, your relationship with everybody else? My relationship with everybody else <coughs> uh, has degraded. Sorry? No, they don't care about the truth and what's, what's the thing that all these people are saying you're my friend I expect you to tell me the truth yeah nobody knows even what that shit means yeah so there, there ain't there ain't nobody because nobody out there tells the truth oh, holds on to it you know for you. my friend that had the baby blah 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 yeah she is a complicated individual because everybody is a little super overly stupidly complicated. She wanted me to tell her the truth. When she uh, got rid of her dog, she was like, I want you to tell me that I'm doing the right thing. I'm like, how am I supposed to fucking do? So you won't listen to me about anything else, but you'll listen to me when I reassure you. Fuck you. What kind of dumb shit is that? So, when, now that you don't lie, is there a space that lying took up? Wish you were here. <laughs> Big Floyd. Is there, <laughs> right on his butt. Um, is there a space that lying took up in your mind? Yeah. Because then, uh, you gotta hold on to the lie. So you're attaching yourself to something that, bad that happened way back when. Whenever that lie happened to be. And I gotta keep that with me if I don't want to get caught. And then I gotta tell another lie. I was gonna ask oh, we don't have to say specifically what it was but lies that you've told me were sometimes brought up like when I would ask you questions about it or about your experience or then you'd have to did you have to feel like 
you were that person that experienced those things? Did you feel like you had to act like someone who went through the things that you said you went through? Or not went through, but experienced? Yeah. Did that help you f find the center of yourself? Lying? Were you able to find... No. Were you aware of a center that could be found? Did I know or was I aware? Yeah. I think there's those are two different things. Well, when you know of something and when you're aware of that something, and when you know the details of it, when uh, you know that that thing exists, when you're aware of that thing, that that thing exists. I feel like when I was younger, I had a better grip on myself and I knew more about myself. Later on in life, I let that slip. I just started doing brain dead activities and I got fucking dumber. I think that's what happens to everybody. So, I think I was aware. I knew of it, but through bad practices, yeah, I, I got dumber. I, I, but you kind, I was you not like aware just of let it. it slip? Yeah. I don't know how that's like because I've never let go of that part of myself. I think people associate that part of themselves to their childhood and it, they're told they gotta grow up so they let go of the thing that makes them real. Who's that guy who fucking, uh, the one who's jail cop? I don't think he has any part of himself anymore. Or maybe he never did because what was a part of yourself was kind of dumb. Like, we didn't know anything. We knew how we felt. We, you know, had, we knew the things that we contradicted. Like, I, I don't believe you that you say God is real or Santa Claus is real or something, but we didn't have anything to replace it. Or they didn't. I, I didn't either. I replaced it with drugs. And eventually they're just... They, they, he replaced that, was it def defiedness? Is that the word I'm looking for? With acceptance of the things that make them feel better. Like doing good at your job because then you get more money or accepting whatever it is the the people around you say or but then holding on to like music interests what the fuck is even that like what do metallica songs mean so emptiness is filling me to the point of agony is that still something you feel darkness is taking my sight taking my speech take my hair take my arms take my legs whatever the fuck he says does any of that mean anything to him? Is it just something to feel on the way to work? <laughs> Why is improvement not on everybody's fucking to-do list? <sighs> that nigga over there 
stole it. This one's fucking spoiled. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, Craven boy. I'm sorry. You want this spot? Take this. A boo 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 boo. I'll put that on your head, Socrates. Damn. Oh, shh, 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 shh. Yeah, he got up to uh, get some food. Craven, can you not sit on our fucking pillows with your stank ass? Come here. Come here. When I say come here, I don't mean stay there. You know that, right? I still, there's so much fucking anger in me. I'm like, I want to knock the fuck out of him. I want to knock the fuck out of everybody. But I have to get past that. It's not that I'm just good at being fucking whatever the fuck I am. Oh, you just, you think love, love is a difficult thing. If I say that things got to be changed with fucking love, I know because I have to try and I succeed at it. It just means that I have to battle it every... To succeed, you have to battle it every day, you know? Because it would be so easy, but it wouldn't get me what I want to just say fuck everything. And, I don't know, murder, suicide, everybody. The suicide bombers, shit like that. It makes perfect sense. I'm like, I can't, I don't know why there isn't more of them, you know? Everybody who goes against the grain, they're too angry to do anything else. So what? Either be angry and become part of the prison system or uh, uh, assimilate? I, anybody... Loud voices need to be able to ask the higher up people the tough fucking questions. Who's going to ask fucking Donald Trump or fucking Kabbalah Harris? Do you think people should assimilate or die? And if they say no and they give lots of reasons, I'm sure there's going to be contradictions to fucking. Hello, sweet boy. I hope there wasn't a rodent in here that gave them bugs. I gotta brush them. They're always fucking... Like, I feel like they're still itchy from when we had those uh, neck things on them before. Yeah. They haven't stopped. Like, once it worked and everything was gone, they were still scratching in a very specific way that was different from when they were scratching when they had fleas. Uh, and it hasn't stopped. But there aren't any bugs. We surely would have seen some by now. Or seen some remnants. When when animals have fleas, you brush them and you can see that shit. The poop and the shells and everything right away. Yeah, signs get really clear really quickly. I don't like that they get so itchy. They really... If people would work better, there wouldn't be fucking pests. There don't need to be fucking so many flies everywhere all the time. We don't have to make so much garbage. That garbage that creates flies could be used to create good soil. Instead of flies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dig that shit down, bury it, put some ash on it. And now you have better soil for better fucking crops. Instead of just having it driven around fucking rotting hours and hours a day before it goes to some other place that's got a bunch of fucking infestations. It doesn't make any, it doesn't, whatever people are doing now doesn't make any fucking sense. And oh, it's too expensive to fucking change, but guess what? It's eating you alive. Maybe you should think about how fucking currency works and maybe change that up.
Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but the system's killing you. Well, it costs too much money to change. So you time just, based currency. You're cool with dying. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. You were. You were saying earlier that you wanted to ask the hard questions. Mm-hmm. To Lama Harrison. Oh, that would be a good one too. Put her stupid fucking face on. Are some you smelly... with a llama? Yeah. Stretch it out. Oh yeah. We gotta get that thing working. <laughs> <laughs> uh. One of the things you uh, said I should remember mm-hmm. that I, I wrote down. Get smarter than our captives. Use the math and science of human beingness. Mm. Can you say that again? Get smarter than our captives. Use the math and science of human beings. What I think I meant by the human beingness is that system that we have. Well, it's the system that w- exists outside of us that we have seen. Uh, to become smarter than. And what, what are those things again? It's the three things oh, the and three, five things. Oh, the three things the engine and then the outside positions. Yeah. What are those? So you, got weird, you want to know the inside or the outside positions first? Uh, the three first. Uh, knowing what is and what isn't. Can you say, can you speak a little louder? Knowing what is and what isn't. Okay, maybe we should break those down some too. Because that's what we need, right? Yeah. What is knowing what is and what isn't? Are you asking me that or yeah? That, oh. Um, Quaven boy. What is knowing what is and what isn't? That's what you asked. Yeah. It's uh, it's knowing. The complete as possible shape of things. Physical things? Uh I guess not. It's not just physical. No, because there's examinations of the inside stuff. Mm-hmm. And even of like plasma energy or some shit, you know, <laughs> something that wind doesn't really have a physical shape. Yeah. Vacuums. That would take measuring things versus especially what's most important now because there's so much isn't. It's measuring all the what isn'ts that people say to see if they are. Right? If somebody says the fucking earth is flat, okay, well how do I fucking test to see if the earth is flat? Because it's not fucking knowledge that can be fucking hidden. You know? You don't live in a fucking simulation. Time moves forward. There's nothing... If people thought that they could control time. Or they can control whatever the fuck... Ooh, CERN. Opening fucking dimensional portals and shit. If somebody had the power to do that, would they not use it? A little more clearly there would be you know like a vampire hunter d or whatever there there's like people who there's the bad guys who use that power uh-huh. right there's like a whole bad guy yeah. fucking field of people he the, the, the you're talking about vampire hunter d yes yeah, there's the there's the vampires. There's the, the count. Yeah, he lives up on it. Can you just tell me his fucking backstory? The bad guy. 
Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember. Um, I, uh, it, he's some vampire count who lost his wife, and I think he's trying to. He wants. And he's tired of the life on Earth, so he's. He's going to hypnotize and, and do something with this girl, and they're going to rocket ship off into space. I've never heard you tell me that before. That there's some fucking idiot who controls all the bad stuff. And he can create things that are bad, and then the vampire hunter has to go, like, fight them. They say his fucking origin story right in, like, the be- the first fucking episode. He said, long ago, there was some motherfucker who... Blah, blah, blah. Uh. Don't be perverted. Okay. Hey, uh, hey! No. You can sit here and be nice, but we're not getting fucking kinky. Not today. Um, I, I am not recalling some of this Vampire Hunter D stuff. I'm sorry, wife. Fine. If there was a way to open a portal to hell, there would be people who were physically doing things that we would see. Instead of it just, it could, it could be this, but it could also not be this. You, it, I, it would be very distinct to see a fucking zombie walking down the fucking street. If somebody came up, if a bunch of people came up from graves at the same time and said, darkness fucking uh, shadowed us for years. Oh, I, I think, uh, maybe you were talking about Berserk. Okay. Maybe not. Because, like, bad things happen. The world starts to murder. Monsters come out. Weird stuff like you're talking about. I think there's exposition at the beginning of Berserk. I remember a guy with a big fucking hat. He's like walking in a field, a fucking, an open field. And a lady starts running and is like, help! Uh, Yeah, that's, yeah, I guess that's the the first, that sounds like the first one. I don't, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Nothing that can't be explained in a different way. There is nothing that has ever happened that can't be explained reasonably. Yeah. Oh, but what about dog? Stupid people exist. Oh. <laughs> what are you, the Bigfoot? The dog. I haven't seen the poop to prove it. And if you keep moving the fucking goalpost by saying, oh, because he shits in, in a different dimension. He's trans-dimensional. No, the fuck he isn't. Like, it, it goes off into the <laughs> ridiculous. There is no solid proof of fucking any of that shit. You have to just speculate. You have to fuck. And and so who, where does doubt come in? Because I'm sure there's not, not everybody believes in fucking everything that they hear. Because there's things that, well, oh, God is real, but also he's not real. You know? To... never have something that you disagree with I think is would be ridiculous so they're still disagreeing going on I don't believe that well how do you measure what you believe and what you don't believe do you have a system for that because if you're not measuring by what you fucking see you have nothing to fucking measure by and you're just making that shit up so if you do that, you can't tell what the difference is between what is and what isn't. What's the difference between what what can be experienced, what can be measured, and what is fucking imagined? If one person can measure it, anything that can be measured. If one person can measure it, everybody can measure it. There's not a single thing that could be... Me- oh, well, I'm, I'm more of an empath, so... 
I know more than you. It's just a feeling I get. It's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Uh... So to measure what is and what isn't can be done by everybody. We can all measure the same thing. We just have to do the same measurements. So if a doctor, if a piece of shit doctor is like, I have eight years, how dare you tell me what I know and don't know? If you could have measured it, give me the, the information that you measured with so that I can do the measurements. I could do as, as best as I can. Maybe I don't have a microscope, but I can read all the papers where people did use microscopes and point out the contradictions and see if they did the scientific method or they just talking out of their fucking assholes. And when anger comes before that, or you wouldn't even know, it's not the right thing to do. They don't want to be the victim, the slave of a rela of, of of a of a relationship with so a back and forth with someone else. So they would rather be angry than to do their due diligence and say, "Okay, this is how much information I have available." I want to be open to what you see. How do we learn anything when we're just being force fed information constantly and not letting it circulate? How does a steam engine work? Do you just keep the steam in or does it have to go out? You know, um, how does a fucking nuclear read? There's always like an off, uh, a thing that's expelled from the thing that's creating something, you know? Yeah. How do you just keep that energy circulating inside the self instead of letting it out and watching other people let it out and retaining some sort of information and, and passing on information? There's no... There's no, there's no circulatory system in, in the relationships between fucking humans and there needs to be. Yeah. It's all just people fucking saying shit and, and, and listening to shit when they want to listen to shit. I think people call it the give and take. Mm-hmm. But everybody does it wrong. Yeah. Uh, people only giving bad things. Not taking in the truth. Taking in lies, taking in opinions. Or not, just taking or in not. every, if you don't take in everything, then you can't measure because there's, there's too much to know. It's called metaphysics for a reason, right? You have to accumulate that metadata to look for the connection. So if a doctor is only spitting shit to everybody and just listening from one source what he should be fucking doing, not getting feedback from the things that are he's interacting with, then how is he supposed to grow? Because the person that's feeding the doctor information, they don't have, they don't know the personal fucking experiences. They far remove themselves from the interpersonal relationships. <sighs> Even if you're not doing anything wrong, but you take the criticisms that other people say, it builds your resolve stronger. Whenever somebody says something about me, I, I, I'm forced to review myself. And that's what everybody wants to avoid, reviewing themselves. I'm forced to review my, am I a liar? Is this a contradiction? And every time the answer is fucking no, I'm not contradicting myself, my resolve gets stronger. So I feel more free to give more of myself and take more of those opportunities and go, yeah, right, stupid. I know that I'm not contradicting myself. So now that I don't have to worry about that, I have energy to spend on making my argument stronger. 
to honing it so that I got you, motherfucker. I, I like a like a like a predator. You know what I mean? Circling in closer and closer. Now that that thing that. I had to defend myself against, I didn't know I had to defend, but now that I'm experienced, it hurts and I gotta fucking understand and blah, blah, blah. I have to look inside myself to check. And if it comes back that I'm in the clean, time moves forward, right? Yeah. You don't just get stuck in place when you're moving forward with it. So now that I'm over something that seems kind of fucking stupid now what can I fill that time with what more can I learn about myself and what makes arguments stronger how do, how do you talk to stupid people who accuse you of things that make no sense how do you make sense of that sense I, there's a lot of that shit I had to learn from you because you would just say things to try to chat, trap me in nonsense. And that took a lot of suicidal fucking thoughts to, to resolve. But I did. At one point, I felt like people just knew this stuff. I don't have to explain it because people just knew this stuff. But the more I tried to express, because everybody expresses what I knew, what I thought people knew, the more pushback that I got, the more I had to realize that even what I thought uh, like I was being held down by thinking that everybody else knew it, you know, having to see how little people know led me closer to what is and isn't the, the, the world that we exist in right now with the people that we exist with is the counterbalance to truth. Everything, it's easy, it's harder. Like when you're in Plato's time and you're trying to figure out how to, how to formulate reason and stuff. With all the unreasonableness in the world right now, it is so easy to find reason. Because the unreasonableness fucking hurts. And you gotta want the fucking hurt to stop, which is one of the things in the, in the five, right? Yep. <sighs> I don't have to fucking hurt. And I know that you're contradicting yourself. And I know that that's got to be bad because I've tried to contradict myself to get out of trouble to make hurt stop. All the pieces are already there. It's not anything fucking complicated. And the easiest way, just look at fucking Elon Musk. Look at all the stupid shit he does. Look at all the stupid shit your parents did. Look at all the shit, stupid shit your friends do. Look at all the shit... That hurts. Look at all the... What are the other three things? So, separating what is and isn't. <sighs> so, knowing what is and what isn't. Separating... Nature and the universe from human. Nature and the universe from human. There's human a lot... Human from nature and the universe. Oh. I don't know which way. Uh, <clears throat> I guess it starts with itself, so human... Separating human from nature in the universe. <clears throat> Trees don't cry. I can't feed myself however I try to believe. I, I can just live off the sun. I'm a breatharian. I take breaths and I feel full. You know? Yeah. There are very... What is that? Like physical, applicable, Tangible. Tangible, maybe... There, thank you for not using your nails. There are tangible things that one can test when separating human from nature and the universe. 
if I close, if I go look in a mirror and I close my eyes and while my eyes are closed, I wish and I wish and I wish for brown hair, for some sort of feature that for a smaller nose, will I open my eyes and have the thing that I want? No. Evidence towards the the difference between nature and human. That there's a part of the self that is restricted to nature. If I close my eyes, can I fly, O'Brien? No, baby. The guy who wanted to prove the earth was flat and ended up crashing like a fucking moron into, into the earth. Could he just build any machine and succeed at what he wanted to do? No. Nature and human are different. Right? Yeah. It seems pretty fucking obvious just with that much it doesn't matter if you close your eyes eyes and and and, and you're f- Jake from tube farmer fucking dreamy boy fuck boy uh-huh. it shows up that's not them because does that want does that person want to speak to you in real life no do you got a chance in hell to make fucking uh i don't know scarecrow uh, Ryan Reynolds is Ryan Reynolds going to show up at your door because you want him to with fucking roses and some quip that he, some line he had in one of his stupid fucking love story movies? No. Look, who's that? Gabriel? Oh my God, I'm doing horrible today. Ga- 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 Gail. Gail Corchana. She may think she sees Vladimir Putin up in her brain space. But she has to reason that the data or the Putin in real life is a clone. That the real one is wrong and the the in-the-mind one is right. Come on. If you have to justify that nature is wrong, then there is a separation still between human and nature. Yeah. So what's the third one? Knowing the self. <sighs> so if you contradict what nature does with your imagination, those are two different things. You can't I can't do the things that I thought I could do. I can't fucking close my eyes and fly. Now you know a little bit more about yourself. I'm not ever going to be a big Brazilian booty bitch. With 10 million fucking... So what? now that I know this, what can I do? Knowing the self is not just knowing what it is, but also knowing its potential. I may not be able to do the, or I want, I want Ryan Reynolds. So I'm going to move to California. I have to get closer to him physically. You know, the self and you're going to keep knowing the self. If you keep doing those actions, now you got a restraining order. (laughs) Now you show, now you show up in a magazine. You went to jail a little bit. There are, You're building your story. You're knowing yourself. As time goes by, we learn about ourselves all the fucking time. As I'm talking, I learn about myself, you know? Yeah. Everybody has this, like, I'm standing in place and you can't be moving in an echo chamber. I'm standing in place and... You're distracting me, Kitty. Um, And I have to defend my position. In order to stay here, because time moves, in order to defend my position, I have to do something in in, as the defense. It's not working, because time is still moving. You have to separate fucking people, nature, universe. Time 
is not a social construct. Time is not fucking... What did that one bitch say the other day? It's an illusion or some shit that you control. You don't. Why then do you fear death? There's a lot of knowing the self is also knowing your emotions. Your emotions tell you so fucking much. Instead of just ignoring them or letting them fucking take you over and or calling it something it, it's logic when it's emotion or calling it emotion when it's logic. All of those pieces have to come together to stop that fucking shaking around all that being a chaotic fucking electron or proton whatever piece of thing. Yeah. Knowing your emotions, knowing what their place is and how it affects you. And if it's bad, then... And knowing that maybe you can do something about it. Yeah. It's one of the evolutions of knowing the self and going through the system a few billion times a day. That nature isn't against you. Separating the self and nature and the universe... We're the, we're the best thing. We're the most aware thing. We're the most uh, uh, free thing. What? Not we is... Nature is not against us. It's... it's he- oh! <laughs> <laughs> it all... It, th- my system is so gunked up with things that need to be fucking said about all the things over and over again because it's all it's just all it's all just all uh if the self is against itself uh-huh chances are nature in the universe is it who's on your side if you're not on your side probably no one right so why would you is that isn't there a point where people start uh self destroying because if they're not on their own side they can't see when other people are on their side how do you have a perspective that you don't have the the means to perceive can we see all the all the noise in the universe or something? No. There's there's colors that we our eyes just don't see. Yeah. We're not made perfectly. And a lot of people like animals, right? Yeah. Isn't that the easiest thing to see your own love in? If you can't love yourself, but you're still feeding an animal and showing it the love that it wants because it's responding positively, doesn't that say something about the individual and nature? I mean, kittens are part of nature. If kittens aren't against you, is nature against kittens? Is uh, is it just you and your kitten specifically that's in their own world? There's uh, eventually when all the things are untangled, there is only like three categories that are in each that everything can be filled up with. Yeah. If I, that that's not a thing that's in the universe, that's just how I've sorted it all out, and it seems to make the most sense because also it's three fucking things, and and there's very distinct stages of all that. There's a lot of in between, like say Earth. Now Earth has an atmosphere that can uh, harbor bacteria and people and stuff, which we're gonna talk about bacteria too. Um, Ew, says you. So Earth is like the universe because it's a rock, but it's also kind of 
closer to us than any other fucking rock in the universe. So it's hard to, but where would you put it? You know, it's just, it's earth fucking whatever. <clears throat> but that's, that's my reasoning why everything fits into three things and giving the, the, the kitty example, because cats aren't people. And yet there are a lot of people who have issues with that. There are people who and we can, a lot of us can agree and we can talk about why it's dangerous for a person to put a, a baby diaper on a chihuahua and put it, in, you know, and treat it like a baby because it's not a fucking baby. It's sometimes like 13 fucking years old. Treating something that it isn't skews their perspective. And I'm sure a lot of those people have uh, like mothers like that, that don't understand why this dog is getting more attention than them more. Yeah. Lots of things that can be observed that are already contradictions. And this shit just sorts it all out. Like, Oh, fucking obviously I knew that the whole time. Why didn't I fucking just accept it? You know, if I accepted it, I could have fucking done something about it before she died of fucking brain cancer. Knowing the self is the third, and it also goes back to number one is the strongest thing, right? Yeah. Because one, two, three is a, is a cyclical thing that has been observed in many, I want to say dimensions because I don't have a better word at the moment, level scales, many scales of life from wow. small to big. Electrons, protons, and neutrons. Fucking nature, human universe. Uh, I don't, every one, two, three people, humans instill in their life a lot. It seems to be a thing that makes sense. Three is also the number of sides something has to have to have a a. Uh, a supported structure a, a three a triangle is like the first shape you know yeah it's the first place where three it would be the first the first shape with an enclosed space yeah so three is significant and it for fucking nerds out there even galleon makes this makes he makes his relationship with three very apparent throughout the whole fucking thing and you can tell that he is tuning into something just like terry just like other people who are deemed fucking crazy because they see something and they can't express it and they're they're experiencing it alone so there's no choice but to go all by themselves it may be wrong but whatever it is it ends up being righter than what these dumb dumbs do So, what was I, why was I talking about that? One, two, three grows into a bigger one singular thing that then has a th that thing and the thing that's around it and that relationship creates a new thing that then becomes its own singular thing. But why was I talking about that? Something about knowing the self, maybe? Mm. The Shit. Tommy, play it back. Uh, if we had somebody who did that, it would be such a help. What is the point of doing that for Ethan and Hila? Because you get money, because you get to be part of a culture where you get to wear Teddy Fresh things and get a thousand likes on Instagram. It's... Uh, where is the fulfillment? Yeah. I... <clears throat> I understand that there's probably something good with being loved, but what are what other kinds of love is there that can be experienced? How close to an individual can you get and why can't you get that close to everyone else? 
difference between man and woman kind of shit. That one, then that one, two, three thing gets even more clear because you can only have a, the best relationship with one other person. There's, and it has to be all of the things that you learn from this understanding the universe, understanding the self gets put into finding what hurts the least and then finding what feels the best. It's like two, two, th two sides of a coin or whatever. Three. Are there any three-sided, like, three-dimensional things? There has to be, right? A triangle. No, a triangle isn't. It, one, two, three, four, five. Are there any three-dimensional objects that have three sides? No. Because, hmm. because it'd be... it have to be infinitely thin for there not to be a depth side. That's interesting, right? Weird. Well, it's not weird. I mean, it's, I guess it's weird to us if we don't know the stuff, but... <sighs> so, when these people, like, just... I wonder, because I've never experienced it, but I doubt it anyway. Because even when you're, like, popular in school... Uh-huh. There's still a need for that one to love. And when you love one person, you... Why wouldn't you want to love them the best? Not just find something that's easy or safe or... Why wouldn't you go all the way? You go all the you try to go all the way, right? With your 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 gains and shit, with your stonks, with your fucking exercising. So why wouldn't you apply that same thing to something that is so good that it creates new life? And how do you create life? A man and a woman creates a baby, which is a new individual. One, two, three happens every time yep there creates a problem when you exist in a world with people like Ethan and Hila where now it doesn't matter how much they're paying you you're away from your significant other from your other half for bullshit and drama and like stupidity that stupidity that is experienced in that environment with that fucking podcast puts a damper on a relationship between a man and a woman so we did the one two three right yeah what are the the five components I wish I knew how to... We gotta find a way to draw it out which would make sense to people because all I'm doing right now, I'm drawing it with my words. And that takes a lot of attention to for people to, to listen to. Yeah. And I, I don't know if people have it because they get angry first, you know? There's... Where should I put this? I don't want it here anymore. Well, There's a lot of things that, like, I say that would interfere with everybody's belief in everything. So they're going to get angry before they hear whatever I have to say, the full thing. So a picture for all you babies <laughs> would probably be the best. But I understand because it's like, how do you trust people? What do you what do you want from my life, huh? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Thank you. Is that for me or is that for you? What? That. For you. What do you think I should draw? 
don't know if we got a wig on there. You said you don't <sighs> use it. Yeah, we're... We sh- Let's try to think of a shape for this stuff. Maybe we just keep talking about it and a shape will come. This is like, maybe what we are right now is just like the preview. And the view comes. We gotta come up with it though, because these babies gotta come out. And I fucking told you that these babies are not gonna come out until people start doing a different thing. Because the world sucks too bad for these babies so they might as well just be in my stomach but also it makes me cry sometimes because my pee hurts there's too much pressure on my pee tubes i have what are they like four years old they're about to go to college i'm tired of getting diplomas shoved up my ass is the wake home set up Maybe for now, I'll just do... I had so many ideas, and now my brain isn't there anymore. But can you help me maybe with the shape? We'll just do the shape thing. Okay. Is OBS still going? Could be. Is this... Let's see. How come this internet thing is it doesn't come up? Because I, I turned it off earlier so uh just go to the top and make it visible the I- internet yep. okay hey that's the wrong one. Oh, good thing it wasn't my lolly porn am i right vosh the stampede because he fucks horses or at least he <laughs> wants to so i've heard but so he said so i've heard from him he's like what's the what's what's so wrong with wanting to drink a whole bunch of horse cum that's just what normal people do. Your synthetic libertarian views are a disdain to my feces, or however, whatever the fuck he would say. You're you're literally, let me explain this to you right now, you're literally, I've only listened to like 15 minutes of him in my whole life, but I'm pretty sure I got him down. Okay. Oh, you should minimize that one. Okay. And open this one, right? Yeah. And then this oh, should be it's, up. It's not up yet. Well, if you go to uh, hover over the internet. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, should we just close the other one? It's a new tab. I can uh, exit this, right? And then just make another new tab. Look at me now, mom. Oh, uh, I, I, that's not. We want a new window. We don't want a new tab. We had a new window. This is looking. Oh, okay. Sorry. So, we gotta go back I think to Brave. I'm so smart. Look at me. I must be lying about everything. Gotta go back to Brave. DLL host. Oh. Gotta go back to Brave. Dang. Make a new window. Oh, so that it can recognize. God damn it. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out eventually. Just you wait. I want to become a pro at this. Yeah, right. Never. I don't got the space. OBS. Click in this and then new tab, right? No, no it's so not it's new tab. It's not there, so it's not in the right position. There, we may need to minimize it. Oh, we may well, need to just... minimize it? Yeah. Dang. This is why we get paid the big bucks. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> Can I just close it? Can we just close this one for now? Or should we just use this one? That's fine. I mean, it's still not going to show all the horse cum tabs, right? Or it's not going to show our address? Yeah. YouTube probably is doing that for us. Google, thank you. Okay. So what am I doing now? I forgot. What should we... Let's go on a track at the moment. Craven, do you have anything to say about this? He's so racist. <laughs> Ain't that right, silly boy? Oops. Okay. Cat power. <laughs> yeah, 
Oh, is there maybe Dave Chappelle in that? <laughs> oh, that stupid shirt he wore in that last special we watched. What was special about it? The, the stand-up movie thing we watched. Sorry, I'm I'm like indoctrinating you into my not not specific language. <laughs> that TV like comedy thing. That thing where he wore the stupid shirt. <laughs> was it killing them softly? No. Oh, because that song was in my head for some reason. Did he have a special he, called that? Yes. And oh, he, shit. I think the last time he was in that theater. That's where he got defecated on? No, no. That's... He did the Killing Him Softly one at that theater. And then he was back again at that same theater. Like, 20 years ago, I had my first oh. gig here. Okay. Damn, old man already. Four scores and 17 years ago, I had my first... This is where I first had my first kiss. This is, this is my first house. Oh, I remember the days. Living until I die. Why has he got to have his name on his shirt, I wonder? What is fashionable about that? His fashionableness kind of irritates me. It's like, you if you're talking shit about the bad things, and then you wear those bad things... On your fa fashion and politics is not far off from each other because you got to pay your dues to be represented in in the industries. You have to conform to that bigger system. So, he doesn't know that. So, what the fuck is so funny about anything that comes out of that Grace Jupe slurping mouth? Grace Jupe? <laughs> Grape juice. A purple drink. My apologies. I gotta be more proper. The Dreamer? Yeah. Ooh, oh, we should put uh, that Dream guy's face on him or something. Oh, I don't want to watch this. Get out of here. What did I click? Oh, just a YouTube thing. You can put the dreamer and then put it in the images. Is that your sure you're looking is for that? Is that the one? Because yeah, I'm looking yes. for the. Okay. Oh. Oh. I'm dreaming. How's your dream holding up? Hey, you remember when you had to, like, go to Africa to find yourself, but then didn't find yourself? Everybody thought I was crazy. They tried to put me in a dress. I was like, hell no. Nah. That's Dave Chappelle, right? Sounds like it. Symptoms fit. Is what I want to... Are there like quotes from him from there? Because he said some like weird shit. Something about his wife and like I understand life now that I'm just supposed to be submissive to my wife and learn Chinese or some shit or like he's like I, I love the transgenders and then he wears that fucking dress that's oh he look it looks like he's wearing a sari right those are uh, like those uh, Indian shirts oh, yeah. or something wait maybe they're the other things what's a sari The, the blue chicks from Mass Effect. Yeah, that's what I was going <sighs> Okay. Hmm. That's not really the one I was thinking of. So maybe not. Oh, maybe we should put... <gasps> Though, we could put his head 
on a chick's body. People will still know who he is, right? Maybe he's fucking Denzel Washington. I can't fucking tell. <laughs> That'd make him a transgender, too. Yeah. Maybe we'll make him look beautiful. Maybe we'll make him look like an Asari. We'll give him blue a blue face. Blue head tentacles? Yeah. Ooh, can we achieve this? I should have got that face swapping. Because mm. remember that that the yeah. example they had was Jackie Chan is the Hulk. I bet Dave oh, Chappelle is an Asari. It would yeah. like do it for us. Husband. Oh, fucking. Should we just wait for this then and write it in the book? But then we're not going to understand what, like, why would he be, why does he have to be in a sorry? In a sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, a sorry. And Dave Chappelle's. And a sorry, and a sorry who's sorry. Ooh, that's what he'll be in the thing. It'll just say, I'm sorry. Oh. oh, husband, man, NFTs for literally nothing, you know, this is the art that people are not buying. <laughs> just it's like NFTs. Just like what? NFTs. Just, yeah, it's just these meaningless fucking arts that you can trade. This life could be an NFT. Just enjoy fucking looking at things instead of just putting it in a, a thing and being told that it's worth money. Time is money. And I'll take up all your fucking time because I can't stop fucking talking. But well, fuck it. That's okay. No, it's not okay. What am I? The crappy crafter? I guess we could look for... Uh... And sorry when it comes. Dang. Okay, we'll look for a sorry. So what else should I do then? Man, I really want to do that though. I was like there, you know. Should I? We'll put up the the thumb thingy. Or should we? Should I try to install that thing? Yeah, let's see how, like, if it doesn't take five million years. Okay. Is there something else? We Should I? No. I don't know what to do. Close, let's close Photoshop. Uh, yeah. Let's close Photoshop, and I'll, I'll try to install this thing real quick. And okay. See what happens. Uh, uh, Hopefully, we don't got to restart. No, we could just look at our stuff till then. Oops, yeah. what did I do? Yeah, that's nothing, baby. That's the slideshow that's going on. Yeah, but how do I make it so it's not on our screen, full screen? What did you just do? Alt-Tab. Oh. You're so sm- it, Hold down, Alt, and hit Tab once. Hold down and Alt? Hit, uh, push. <laughs> hold the Alt, because you said ho hold and Alt, or down and Alt. Okay. And then hit Tab once. Well, there you go. Now you can choose what window you want to go to. Okay. So I should do this one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank Look, you. Look, this is what people fucking paid money to watch Benny Hill for, you know? <laughs> it's a Benny Hill, but steamed hams. Hmm. What was that steam hams idea I had? I wanted to try it. I was in the bathtub. I don't think I wrote it yeah. down. Oh, dadgummit. It's like other... Is it the trailer part? No. Stargate steamed hams? Oh, but it was like a good idea, though. Feasible, though? I don't really... I don't really know. Hmm. Uh, Steam have... hams, but everybody's a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have it thing so I can install the software? Oh, yeah. Can you get a tow truck to move me? And 
in that show. I was watching C S C T V, Second City T V or something. Huh. There was it was the first skit was two French people living at some point in time. Uh okay. like post World War Two shit. Maybe sixties or seventies. And it was in the apartment of the boy that or the guy <laughs> that had all like that s socialist bolsheviks fucking communist posters and I don't, like books and stuff like everything was and they they made jokes i guess they were jokes they were laughed at on by somebody of uh It was like, oh, I, I, I was always told never to trust a socialist or some shit like that. And they were like touching each other weird on the face. They were like spreading paint and, and, and like food and stuff. And then one ended up jumping out a window for some reason. Jeez. Yeah. But they started fighting about this communist bullshit. And then that's how it ended. It was just doing sexy things getting into a fight because of this politics shit and then making up like oh you're too pretty to fucking not not anything sensible but you're too pretty to argue with and she's like oh let me ride on your fucking back like like you're a dog and he does it and he's enjoying it and then he says something and then jumps out a window that way, but that was that was the the communist fucking skit. Um, and then the next time, I think it's like a restaurant, a Chinese restaurant, and they have a Mao poster in it, and it's so fucking huge. It's it seems bigger than John Candy, and he's in that skit. And it's like it 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 t it shadows him the whole time. It's not mentioned. It's like a Chinese food restaurant or some shit. But obviously that like I don't even think that would have been no in the sixties you could probably do that because of the colleges. Isn't that crazy? I wonder who did that. How did China get into America to spread all its propaganda? Mm. I'm pretty sure it would take a lot of Chinese people and then <laughs> I don't know if there were many in those pictures of, you know, university fucking commies. Uh, speaking of commies, and one of the things, uh, you were talking about before, about the whole Elon Musk thing. Uh-huh. And is, and about the batteries. Guess where all the materials. China. Yeah. For the batteries are mined. And everybody's talking and they, about the China is bullshit. It's not just they're mined there. Like, that's one of the only places in the world that has them that has the, the materials that, that he needs to make those batteries for those just like the stuff okay then the, we don't need them let's magnets. think of something else maybe if there weren't so many restrictions maybe if there wasn't so dumbing down of everybody maybe if there wasn't so many deterrents to progress in things and to grow the self and to learn and to to want to do stuff and improve stuff. We would have figured something else out. Maybe we could even go to space. And we know, I bet you, if you gave a child, say our child, we give them all the means to explore the world. I bet you they could get to fucking space again. And they could create some fucking hyperdrive FTL shit because the information is different from the human. Right? You yeah. have to read the outside. So if there's a child who gets to just read unbiasedly and they're they're motivated or they're they're pushing the right direction and they're given the resources and they're given the love that makes them want fucking life. Fucking it's Pakistan is in the bag. <laughs> Pakistan is in the bag. <laughs> 
because all the information is available. The contradictions, what people have contributed more than the things that we congratulate with prizes or renown, a theory of relativity and penicillin and all the toothbrushes, sliced bread, fucking whatever. It's what they do wrong that we learn more from. Doubly so because they support their wrongness with rightness. With it, I say that this is right. You can watch them try to justify things stupidly. So it puts on this other layer of wrong. And you keep seeing all this wrong and all this wrong and all this wrong. And it creates a picture of what's right. Because there's only one right and there's all the fucking wrongs. But there's only so much space to wrong before the wrong has to expand. So you can know wrong before it expands. If you, if it's wrong to kill a man, then it's wrong to kill a woman. If I'm trying to think of absolutes and I'm having a hard time. Um, cause I'm like, if you, if you, mm, if you think you shouldn't hurt a baby, you wouldn't bite his dick. Yeah, there are, I'm talking about contradictions for some reason. Oh, uh, my brain, like, there's a process now that we have, like, this this image that we can see. And then we're, we're trying to, to show with images of, that we draw. Yeah. When I talk, I can feel the parts of me that are, like, outside of my center. Uh-huh. Get pulled in other directions. Like when I get distracted or <clears throat> when a thought pops into my head or a bad memory pops into my head or I have a choice to go left or right in a in a thinking thing that I'm doing. Yeah. I can watch those parts of me split from its gravitational pull from the self and go off in that direction. That's pretty crazy. Now, the center of self really is the phys the whole physical body. It's the biggest part, but it has to be. It has it, there's it, an inside and outside. You remember how we were trying to think of what this thing looks like? Yeah. Because there has to be a center and then a thing that's n a not the center, but still is under its gravitational influence. <sighs> that's just our fucking bodies and our brain or our our the thoughts, our imagination. That makes sense. And there's probably something even smaller, like the brain, that those thoughts are more closely attached to. So you have multiple layers of, like, absolute to, to strengthen what this thing is, the pattern. You got the body, you got the brain, you have the things that do the motor things with the outside... And you have thoughts that don't have a physical shape, but can and do influence your actions on the outside on the outside world. A lot of things because I have to experience while I talk too. You know, yeah, there's the experience of talking and everything like if if you have all that shit, look at that free will, life, love, and truth. you got all that shit in your head. You don't have the fucking power to maintain the self. And when you be, and when you maintain the self. All of these all of those distractions be, have a shape. All of these distractions now have a physical mechanism or an ethereal mechanism uh, the what the shape of whatever is going on in the mind the 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 metaphysical shape no that's not good
what what did what was that fucking shit called on the four chans? Neo. It's like neo physical or something <laughs> because it's being aware of the physical and that's <sighs> I don't know what to fucking call it, but I know what it is. Naming it is the the easy I don't know the stupidest part. Maybe it is the easiest part, but you have to know everything about it to know, and I don't know everything about it. You know, I'm currently thinking about it. Well, as we know, if you want to name something, you just say what it does and add er. Oh, yeah, or ism. I don't like isms. Oh, me neither, but I thought that's what you were referring to. Okay, let's see here, wife. I got this thing. Okay. We need a Dave Chappelle voice or face. <clears throat> and an Asari face. Yeah. Okay. So, did you want to do said thing? Okay. I will pop this open. Um. Huh. Oh, now we got switch again, eh? Yeah, if you if you okay. want. Yeah. You're about if you're gonna go or if right. you're waiting for me but then like i'm sitting that. here all this time fucking talking instead of getting up and moving and we had that plan to move i gotta remember that that ladies don't just fall in line yeah i'm not about falling in line not now not ever unless i decide to fall in line in the summertime but then I gotta stick to it. I gotta be more G.I. Jane than you. It's harder to be G.I. Jane than it is to be G.I. Joe. However, you're not gonna be strong enough and you shouldn't be in that environment anyway. Like, yeah, I could show how great I am by trying to take an abuse for a really long time, but do I wanna? Oh, big surprise. Demi Moore does something Ooh! Bad. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Husband, even the jokes that we make fall in line with fucking, like, universal truth. It's ridiculous. For Trevor Moore. For Trevor Moore. Boop. Thank you, husband. Love you, baby. Were you getting something? More coffee? Yeah. Okay. I should pee. I don't have to pee yet, but I know it must be on its way. Okay, baby. Uh. We could try many faces, right? What aspect ratio is this? Ugh. Why do you want to give up your manhood for butt sex? That's the price you gotta pay. Sensitive boy. All doing all that satanic shit. That little Nas X motherfucker. I wish I just knew his regular name. I'm gonna look it up. And I'm gonna remember that so that I never have to... I should just not reference him. He was on, uh, Eric Andre's show, and he was being a sensitive little boy, and just, oh, oh, you're getting stuff on me. Fucking take your makeup off and think about your life. Think about what is good, not just what makes you feel good. 
what makes you fucking sad? Why don't you follow that? And make that hurt stop. Retard. Montero Lamar Hill Are you Lauren Hill's son? Who is your daddy and what does he do? Origin Why even you? I cover my titties because I don't want people to see my nipples. Why do you cover your titties? Because I'm fabulous. This fucking. There better not be any titty covering going on. Look at this, husband. What is that? Oh, I thought this guy was wearing makeup. <laughs> <laughs> But still, there are people who go on stage and everybody goes, Woo! That's putting too much energy into someone. That's making someone feel good, but also they're being forced to create themselves based on varying factors that are don't have anything to do with good stuff. And now there's people that fucking model themselves after that shit, that aspire to be that. Somebody just tell me what to do all the fucking time. I just want to be beautiful and stupid. Oh, obviously. Why you wear fucking makeup? Do you, do you want to feel good about your life? Or do you just want to feel beautiful? Have some fucking temperance. So... Uh, I thought you were supposed to be finding a sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> trying back. to find... His last name is Hill. I'm trying to find his, his, I thought, cause killing me softly, uh -huh. Lauren, Lauren Hill, his last name is Hill. And I wanted to see his last name. Is Lauren Hill the one who sings killing me softly? Yeah. Okay. One of the three of them, but she does most of it. The other ones are like, uh, uh. a fucking, those Haitians. Pooping me softly. <laughs> as an internet personality and that's what happened you're probably not even gay or you became gay because you were trooning online while you were trying to become an internet personality fucking gross uh Who is your mother? I Uh He was named after a car and it's not even like a good looking car. <laughs> Look at this fucking car he was named after. They were probably just I like that name. I'm gonna call you Chlamydia. I don't care. That's pretty. Mitsubishi's Pajero. Is a full size SUV. Just like his nasty ass. So it says something about he uh, a gospel. So, so it's probably not Lauren Hill. It's probably just. <laughs> I was gonna make a slavery joke, but it's really complicated and I can't think about that right now. Something, something, looking at a hill and going, that's what I'll call myself. They were probably looking at all those big nasty asses. Oh, yeah. That shit ain't a hill. It's a mountain. So then the small ass girls were called hell and the <laughs> big booty bitches were mountains. The end. That's yeah. what freedom rings. I'm jeez. Oh, I'm sacrificing myself to be an internet personality. Fucking, you know the drill. So, his name is, like, Mitsubishi. From, I dub Little Nas X 
Mitsubishi. Every time I say Mitsubishi, it'll be about him. And it makes sense because when I was younger, I always wanted, or, oh, I always, when I was younger, I always wanted, um, I was always thinking about, at some point in my life, I was constantly thinking about car stuff. And it probably was like Fast and Furious, like, oh, I want to live that life, or whatever. And I wanted, I I was like, well, I have to attach myself to a car because that's what everybody does, right? Why do people like cars? Well, I'll pick one that I like and figure it out. Uh, so I picked a Mitsubishi Equ Eclipse and co coincidentally enough, my uncle ended up getting one and I never drove it, <laughs> but it was like automatic and whatever. And it, it wasn't you know, all souped up or something. So it wasn't really, I don't know. I drove... I drove my Batmobile, and that, I guess, made me feel cool. But also now, feeling cool with things being outside of me, I don't like at all. And it makes me feel gross. So it's not... Not that much of a loss? Yeah, but get Little Nas X being named after something close to that, a, a Mitsubishi, and him dreaming of being like an internet personality and becoming fucking gay and pretty as a result it just all falls together in that system yeah the things that we do we're we're literally memeing ourselves because it's something that will continue on in history little nas x now will always be a thing my memory will uh. always be a thing will always be a thing <laughs> bacon history bacon history so we're looking for dave chappelle and in a sorry. And in a sorry. Not a sorry. A sorry. A sorry. So I was thinking about... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is a cheesy ass face. Uh, and that is like his Wikipedia. So maybe I should just use that. Oh, some... No, his head... His whole head is there. Yeah. All right. We're going to have to... Probably... Ha yeah, we got to save it. <laughs> I love this. And I have to love it so much because nobody loves it. You know, I can't move on. I have to look back and look at my things because I'm the only one that... And I... And I, I it deserves... It's... It was beautiful. <laughs> I and agree. It, Pink Floyd. Masterpiece. We're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl. <laughs> well, year after year, but not him anymore. He can't breathe. He was taken out of the fish tank. <laughs> the reverse of having your neck stepped on, I guess. It's having the, the neck step on you. Mm. Oh, <sighs> what are uh, we calling it? As he's going in and spending that as George Floyd bucks. You know, got the Pink Floyd song, Money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Money. Oh, man. He, it, again, he fucking was he doing like counterfeit shit. And that's what made the whole thing happen, right? It is fucked up. Obviously, he, these people are in a bad way. He's not driving fancy cars. Or maybe he was and he was just using you know he was kind of doing it with that money i don't know he did porn but also if you do porn you're desperate yeah or you're one of those that are doing the extreme to make as much money as you can the the pioneers of porn maybe you know it's like i'll do these crazy things i'll i'll have sex all the time and create this character that people want to see and I'll be grabbing for stuff. Everybody wants to and I want to. We see an opportunity to make money together. Ugh. Okay, so now we have to find one where he's <clears throat> kind of like that kind of if we switched it up or something. Or maybe just that face. Mm. 
I don't want your fucking cheap ass deviant art ever at <laughs> all. God, you'll never be known. Now you're it's it's like dirt on the floor, you know? It's smog in the air. It's fucking dishes that have to be cleaned. It's something on the mind that doesn't need to be there. And it needs to be resolved. <laughs> Get the gas chambers ready. Because <laughs> there's a lot of them. Ugh, that face is so ugly. Oh, I'm totally going to jerk off to... All the kissing scenes. Oh... Uh, Talk about freaking damn. I'm glad you don't need that shit. It would make you look stupider to me, I think. Because you should be with me and you should, I should be your standard. People should just pick, pick people and make them do an experiment. Pick someone and make them the center of your, your, make what they like your favorite thing. Make or, you know, something that... Not your favorite thing. That's a bad way to say it. Make it something that you participate in and try to work towards their excitement in it. And even if it doesn't work out, you still learn a whole fuck ton. And you can probably break it off in with good means or something. But there's plenty of exploration to be done with something... Oh, make them your standard for sex. That's That's an important part. Make everything about them your favorite thing. I don't go off and look for what's better than you because there isn't what was ever a standard ever doesn't define what I love about you. And it would contradict everything to try to find something that pleases me more because of how much work it would take. There isn't something that I'm just ogling over and it's like he just doesn't have that or something. You know? Yeah. Well. <laughs> Aw. Very minor things. It's but the journey of you getting to those places and even sometimes just accepting some things and having that reminder and it brings me closer to you because it's it's a challenge that I have to overcome even with like this waking up all the time from the the battlefield dreams that I might have when <laughs> It's a cha if challenges don't come from each other, then they may come from other places. You know why? If challenges exist, why wouldn't the best challenges be the closest to you? Because there's there's always going to be challenges outside. What? Oh, sorry, Mister Killer. Is that Mas Master Killer? Hello. Sorry. We miss your thingy. Blabbing and blabbing and blabbing. Uh, hopefully you're still here. Enjoying whatever the fuck <laughs> we're doing. I need water. We're f gonna use some face swapping software. Hello there, good sir. Probably. I don't see a chick calling themselves Master Killer. <laughs> I'm Master Killer. I am the Madam, and you are the Sir. I mean, I know I have a, a dude-ish voice, so maybe. And then with no. all like this hormone stuff that's going on, like, how do you know? You sound like late. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thanks. That's. I think I'm mistakable. Anyway, hi. How how are you? What's what's going on? Are you here to? chill and listen or to participate i've noticed that there's two different kinds of people because everything's about categorizing i don't i don't give a shit it makes the most sense because then you can move on and find the bigger picture you know yeah 
Uh, You're talking about categories. There are two different uh, people who do je- j- the biggest people because I think I'm different. I'm I would be there, but I also don't like participating in live streams. I'm just observing. I'm not, you know, and I'm not watching what they're doing. I don't give a shit. Like usually, I watch that one video game, but I didn't finish it, and blah blah blah. Life moves on. Two different people who watch live streams. The ones that would that desire interaction and ones that don't. They're there for the person or they're there for like the content kind of more so than the other. Yeah. It's not exactly obviously. It's yin yang. There's a little bit of both, I'm sure, for people. Doing great here. Thank you kindly for asking. Hope that life's treating you well as well. Hmm. How is life treating you? I think it, that would be a good measure to see the response. Because I could be like, it's terrible. Everything's falling apart. and I'm, Nobody's doing anything about it. <sighs> or I could be like, you know, I had a good day. Took a bath. We talked. So... Both of those things and in between. <laughs> Love you, baby. Every day I cry, but I probably would even if everything was great, because there's a lot of things to cry about. And there probably will be for a long time. Even if, like, I fail at <laughs> doing something, I'll probably still cry about it. Yeah. I wonder if I'll cry when kids cry. Because... Pro- you cry sometimes when the cat gets beat up by the other cat. Yeah, but there's sometimes I don't cry about that. And I, I don't know what kind of relationship, you know, separating human from nature. I, I, so I, I, I think our kids, you would cry with them, I think, automatically. <laughs> we'll see. If it doesn't happen, I'll have a lot of regrets about it. I can't, I know I can't love the most. I see the parts that I can't give or that I try to give or I fail to give or not all of them, obviously, but that those are, those are some of the things I think about every day. (laughs) Life's been kind to me as to the type of viewer I am. It would be the easily entertained one. Oh, then maybe you'd like this smooth jazz. I hope so. It seems like you... You ha- you didn't come in and argue. So that... I have to measure that by something, you know? Because most people just come in and... Like, hey, what do you mean about this? Well, the argue, argue, argue until I tell you you're stupid. <laughs> tell you that humans are vegan. Yeah. Human milk, sorry. Human milk. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So I can't, I mean, there's a part of me that's like, maybe, maybe human milk can be vegan, but I, it, it, my cells make that stuff. My body takes in (laughs) fuel and converts it with my body into, that's how cows work too. That's how eggs work. That's everything. And isn't it crazy that. A chicken body creates that, like, hard shell that poops out, like, every fucking day. And that shit is made out of bugs. They eat a lot of bugs. So, I guess, you know, like, Lisa, enjoy your cricket salad, you fucking starry-haired bitch. (laughs) You fucking 85-year-old actress-ed woman. Oh, shit. Like, how do you allow yourself to say that dumb shit? You age should be mature, you know. That's how protein and bacteria work. Where I, I'm telling you, this bacteria thing is is coming along. There's, if we don't f- follow the things that we do in a way that makes the best bacteria, like I've been talking about, fucking rats and cockroaches and the way people do garbage stuff. <sighs> And we can make cheese, we can make yogurt, and that stuff's, like, really good for us. There's, like, this whole environment. So these chickens eat these 
bugs and they make these hard shells and it's crazy and they can do it all the time. I can't do it. How many times do I make fucking eggs? Once a month? I get if that, who knows? Or maybe not because science is weird. Oh, they're sitting so close to each other. I'm glad that Socrates is allowing this. Yeah, I thought that might be a... He's been, like, kind of apprehensive. And, oh, every time he fucking, like, sh- shulks away. Yeah. And, like, gets on his be- uh, gets on his back uh, to Socrates, it does hurt. Like, I'm like oh, what do I do? <sighs> but there's a conflict that makes me angry that I even have to approach that situation to begin with. So that's where, like, a lot of... I don't know, the... Should I just end it all? Should I just fucking kill myself? <laughs> Comes from. No, wife. Don't do that. No. Read the message just instead. Sorry. Don't need to get my daily dose of quality entertainment. This is your daily dose. Fucking poop head. <laughs> Human milks definitely contain proteins, I must say. But if one would want to consider it as being vegan then so be it really whatever tickles your fancy i guess i think that's bad for us if i think you like enjoying things right is there do you have a limit to i guess when does something become too stupid to be entertainment is the best question i could ask to get the answer or to get the information i need uh I don't know if I should even say or because of course I'm like, well blah, 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 blah. We should look at an Asari face and wait for I think that first one first one uh when it goes against the established facts doesn't it go against the established facts to believe in human milk being vegan and since i guess to be vegan you can't come from an animal right that's 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 yeah it can't come from an animal i thought at some point it was like the the apples have to fall from the tree too like but i guess they lowered their standards i remember this had like they were eating out of fucking garbage cans because you know the leaves hadn't fallen from the trees yet Oh, that's not a good one. Who am I to argue? An individual. With free will, who can judge and see patterns and, and see the truth. <laughs> can do the best thing, can feel the best way. And people are hindering that, or what is that word? Retarding. Yeah. People are retarding the others around them. It's that master slave relationship. When people have something bad to say, they become a master of part of you. And I prefer all of me. And I would like, I would have liked to been able to decide. Of course, I wasn't born in that time, but I think it's necessary if we want the best for ourselves or best for our children or best for children Mm. if we would have wanted it best for ourselves as children having space in the brain for silly things to consider instead of having those things already resolved because that's progress in in human how are we going to evolve if we let idiots dictate parts of our brain And we can see that mental real estate being overcome by bullshit. It's, it's, it's a war for our minds. So I don't, if I'll lose, if people, everybody will lose, even the people who are doing it, they're losing by being wrong and to do my best, you know, not all heroes wear capes because that shit is fiction. (laughs) And I, (laughs) I don't even like those capes in Minecraft. 
so what, what am I flying a banner for? They don't let me fly. I'm not super... If, I, if it let me fly in Minecraft, I'd totally wear it. Uh... Very difficult to win an argument with a clever person, but it's damn near impossible to win an argument with a stupid person. So I tend to avoid unnecessary friction. Life is short enough not to be wasted arguing with people. I would imagine uh, it's more of when they come to you. Because in this situation, it came to us. And there is an opportunity that there isn't this person specifically. Listening, there could be other people, I guess, because it is the internet. Pootie Pie goes live, millions of people, blah, blah, blah. So maybe there be two people, you know? To hear the reasoning out loud, whereas, of obviously life is short and work on the best thing but when it comes to you so in any case there's always that instance where that stuff does present an opportunity to fight back against it you know it's either it's being on the offense or being on the defense you know when they're your master in some part of your brain, there will be other people that come try to come through. Untruths hurt you. Lies hurt you. Yeah. Well, he was he was talking about because uh, I I don't want I avoid the friction or I think he, he avoids the hurt. No, it's so he it's impossible to win an argument with a stupid person. So I tend to avoid unnecessary. Oh, maybe there's some. There could be some avoidance, but I don't want to assume without expressing that it's since it's a two way street and one could be a reason not to uh, start trouble there. But there's the other side where you have no choice, you know, like you're put in. Don't ne don't put baby in a corner. Gotcha. Where. It's the it's a detriment to the self and everybody else because that's how like dictatorships and shit happen. Or that's how that's how communism happened. <laughs> a bunch of dumb dumbs had an idea <clears throat> about freedom. And somebody said, let's get that freedom. It's for the people. Fuck these ten million dollar dress wearing motherfuckers. Hey, real quick, where's the picture? Dave. I just put it on the outside since there's not really anything. Okay. Uh, don't sweat the haters. We live, we learn. Ignorance is only a condition, but stupidity can't be fixed. Uh, do not correct a fool, for he will hate you. Correct a wise man, and he will appreciate you. Uh, I haven't run into any wise people. I think that there are no wise people right now. Um, I think that there's a paywall between me and Jordan Peterson to tell him how wrong he is. And we can tell by the way he acts that he doesn't want to hear it. This person wanted to hear it. So there was an opportunity that may be, but you stand your ground because you don't want to get beat down. There's, it is a war for the mind. And there, and there's too many opportunities for other people to hear. And it's not about arguing. It's getting. It's a perfect opportunity for setting an example. It's a perfect opportunity. It's taking, uh, taking opportunities to set an example, to reason, to try to get into the minds of people. To there's so many opportunity there to learn. So I'm benefiting from those situations. I hate it and it hurts, but I learn more and more every day. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't be fucking married right now for sure. Because you were the same way. You were just another person who wanted to impart your stupidity onto me. So eventually, 
avoiding makes people who can't avoid it. That's the difference between men and women. Men can believe that they're avoiding all these situations, but women have to fight against it every day. That's why they re. That yeah. is the woman's fucking re. The men are like, ooh, maybe if he could do this, I could do this. I just got to get my gains, but I'll shoot myself tomorrow because my wife fucking left me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think I got him backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Is that on the... Oh, my God. It's up on the interwebs. Can I have some uh, water? Oh, piss. I feel like this... Uh, laptop is... <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> what the that's why this very moment is why he has his name written on his fucking jacket. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Your reaction is funnier. Oh God! But I appreciate it. Like I think that he's like cross-eyed. He's got these teeth. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's it's definitely freaking warped. Why did it lighten his skin? He looks like uh, an old man. I don't know, but that's that's the winner in my book. I'll appreciate this moment forever. It'll <clears throat> come with me in time forever. Also. Not, or not, maybe that's a, allowing stupid to have space <clears throat> takes away from you. Oh, it had something to do with fucking, it takes, it, it takes, it defines, it has defined things for us since the beginning of time. Um, we were inevitably going to come from nature, right, husband? Yes. To awareness and playing with things and fighting with things and be being human, learning how to be human. I'm only human after all. Don't blame me. There's something smarter than me out there. No, there fuck, there isn't. That process of learning to let stupid win is to perpetuate that stupid and not or, and not learn but learning brings good yeah <clears throat> understanding experience good feelings yeah opportunity to move positively forward and it and it hurts we don't know it because we just conform to whatever's going on but we, we can't explain things, so we just go back into that. Oh, I don't know what makes this go. I don't know why the the smoke detector beeps, but I know I can measure it. That's not good enough. Yeah. We can know everything. Don't you want to go to space? Doesn't everybody? Oh, I want to go to space. I want to have fruit. We had, there's so many people out here right now. On this planet, and everybody's talking about, ooh, let's, uh, 2050, we maybe somebody can go to Mars. We have all these ideas, but we still don't have any material that can last in space that long. You know? Dumb, dumb things that they don't fucking tell you. So you imagine everything, and you're living a lie. Everything is a fucking lie. That is a problem, and that's a problem that we deal with. You can't not sweat it, because it's taking life from you. It's taking life from everybody. Uh, the most vocal among our species are this is are sadly not among the brightest the most vocal oh. <clears throat> yeah well now there's me I guess I'm pretty vocal, I, vocal. I want to challenge everybody about everything because they run they fucking mouths and they make this world worse. Everything they do is stupid and unjustified. And we can even measure it just fucking, oh, hey, bros, you like philosophy? You list, Have you listened to fucking what the Plato thing says? No, the fuck you haven't. And the proof is in the history. Now we have a thing, a comedy show that was famous in Canada that gets fucking what Plato says wrong in three separate fucking episodes. Yeah. 
where they don't understand a goddamn thing. And what I say makes more sense. It breaks things down into very basic, learnable, digestible, understandable components. It's not, ooh, philosophy is my fucking opinion and there's all these different people and what are you going to contribute? And just making this inflation of fucking stupid. The, the inflation bubble is going to burst. And maybe it's when I fucking run my gaseous mouth constantly, but that's what... Ideally, I'd like to do. I'd like to take people who drink horse cum. I'd like to take people who get to run countries. I'd like to take some idiot person who has a lot to say and have it be watched how it doesn't make sense. These are the things you look out for. These are understanding the self. You know that you don't have control when you're angry. So if I can control myself and a person just gets angry all the time and can't answer questions, can't ask questions, all it is is defend, 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 defend. It will, the cogs will fucking unclog. You know what I mean? People, there are people who do look for truth because they want to have sex with someone. They want to have a reason to live. So I need, I need people, we need to get smarter, to understand, to have more value of our own life, love somebody enough to want them to never want to fucking hurt again, love yourself enough to never want to hurt again, which is, you know, a battle all the time and it always will be. It's not, it's not rocket science. It's people science. It's people science. It's not rocket science. It's people science. We have our first t-shirt. Look at that. <laughs> um, we have to want think life enough to value life enough and measure, oh, if you talk about, oh, isn't it so great that we got penicillin where we can expend live for fucking, oh, and now we have suicide pills. Isn't that great? Everybody's called by their right fucking pronoun because everybody just lives in their fucking imagination. It's not good, but the powers that be want this because it's vulnerability for everybody. And we'll all be fucking destroyed. If anybody has any sense of wanting to be fucking alive, something has to be done and it has to be done now. And I'm not going to deal with that bullshit. Listen, it ain't rocket science. Ugh. Trying to stay alive. <clears throat> oh. I remember I was going to make a joke about Joan of Arc, right? Okay. Because I have a relationship with that character. I know a little bit about her. Uh -huh. And I went to Catholic school and it was an easy thing to know. So that name followed me throughout history or throughout my history. Uh <clears throat> And the story that was told versus the story that I know and that I understand, like, listen, if somebody says in history that they're, they talk to angels and they were, de she, oh shit, look at that Asari bitch. <laughs> <clears throat> and they say they talk to angels, that is their imagination making shit up. And people using it as something... People love the cult of death, right? Oh, yeah. She was burnt at the stake at, like, fucking 16 or something. She fought in battles. That's what they say. That's what some records show. If she existed or not, I don't think that it's possible that someone like her didn't exist. Because it's just... It's not Anne Frank, you know? Yeah. There's people who were against the the best way to know if something existed is to take a person who was against another person the romans versus the gauls or something greek against macedonia fucking america against canada and look where they say the same thing that is a pretty good proof of purchase because People, when they glorify themselves, why would they say something good about the other side? Why would they 
these different factos come into play. So Joan of Arc, French and English, they both had things to say about her because the she came from France uh -huh. and she was killed by the English because they won the, a war eventually. And they burned her, a child. She was young and she had voices in her head. So you're in a time where like there's lots of hurt. There's lots of space in your brain to take up because the church tries to instill things are you in you that are contrary to what you see in nature. Your brain tries to justify it because that's how our fucking brains work. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so she hears angels that tell her to fight. Was she scared that she's like, what am I doing here on this farm? When the enemy is at my door. I'm going to be determined to fight something. Maybe. I mean, if Terry was given that situation, don't you think he'd do it? Yeah. I don't have many examples because a lot of people are like wussies now, but I think Terry's a good example because he's different. Well, even like, what about that um, MMA fighter? that shot in the street because his son got molested at karate oh, school. Yeah. Oh. Do you think if he was a 16 year old or 14 year old girl, I think at the time she did this for a while. <clears throat> do you think if he was put in that situation that he wouldn't have gone and fought? Oh, he'd follow her. <clears throat> oh, follow her. But would he do it himself? Probably. Right. Yeah. Given, given the shape of a chick's brain and his his idealism i think he there are there are examples i think of people that would definitely do this because there are people now who are like i'm going i'm going to shoot up a school cuz i hear voices in my head it's the same shit it's just a different ideology it's a different idea of the world it's a different stupid gunk that gets in our, that takes the place of good information and it's happened for a while and that's fine but eventually that gunk has to go away and we've been we've been trucking through it for a while and there's a there's a way to get smarter now there's a there's a way to live to be able to see by your own example what is and what isn't to give yourself value, to give love value, to give all the things that are good in life value. So why not do it? And once you do it, everybody who doesn't do it seems like the enemy. That's some Joan of Arc shit, I guess. So I was going to make a Joan of Arc joke. Because, <clears throat> of course, I've had that fucking pool experience where I thought I thought I talked to God. And that is so fucking scary that I was that not in control of my brain. I think what drugs do a lot of the time is take those parts of you that go out and collect information and like really shine that information on you. They all come in at the same time. So now the gravity of that thing is so great that it's crushing the self. And that's what happened to me. And I got smaller in my own self or my space. But then I saw that there was a space that I could, that I didn't have before. And I see that nobody has that part of them. And I see it getting crushed and I'm just living life doing what I got to do. But I feel like if, if, if people have that sense of self and They want the hurt to stop. And they know what they want right now and what stands in their way. What are the other five things? Or the other four you gotta things? You got to be self-reliant. And you want to be self-reliant. There's a lot of, like, having to take from other people to feel okay. I got to take pills or I got to 
still experience this stuff and be sad for a while and think about things and I have to not have any morals or values because everything I do is contrary to what I say. What's the fourth thing? Uh, knowing what you want and what, what your needs are. The best part of being the self is to know what you want. The worst part is knowing what you need. Oh, I could just eat jackfruit and I'd be healthy. Oh, now I'm skinny and pretty and what am- who even am I? She imploded on herself like I imploded when I met God. So to speak. My- I- I measure the physical by mental, right? Yeah. That's- my heart wouldn't stop beating until I promised not to smoke anymore. I measured life by what I understand about life. And it showed me that God existed and it wasn't true. Holy shit. <laughs> That's intense, baby. I'm glad you came back to me. <clears throat> I know the universe doesn't speak. The universe doesn't have a vocal cords. That's ours, you know? So that thing had to be something different than the universe. So I'm doing all my regular math to try to figure this shit out. And in the meanwhile, getting rejected by my Christian friend who doesn't want to hear what I have to say, who doesn't... Everything that I learned in that experience, she contradicts with her actions... Oh, just stay in your lane. Fucking, uh, don't think about sad things after they happen. I thought that we would share things because if she talked to God, then I talk to God. We talk to the same God. If God doesn't exist, we talk to two different gods and that's myself. And now I have to fucking, there's devastating, <gasps> there's devastating implications to that. I I didn't wanna So it's crazy it's always like it breaks down into these two things and then the result is the third thing that now is all alone that has come from these terrible things and that's stupid all of this is stupid and all of it is is knowable measurable fixable and everybody could have been done because I did it and I can't say there's anything special about me without contradicting everything that I've ever known, ever. So I have to get, be angry a little bit that people haven't gone through this same thing. Cause it's like, look, everybody's hugging each other, right? Nobody's fucking hugging me. You know, I had to fight you to have you to hug me. I had no parents to fucking hug. No fucking person who's ever been like, give me a hug. It's like, okay, so then we can talk, right? No. I'm giving you my body, not my fucking mind. And I'm like, ill, you know, I'm not. And but you want my body, too. You want to put stuff in me. You want to fuck. Not just you. You want to <laughs> fucking vaccinate me. You want to test me in school for scoliosis. <clears throat> you want to take me to fucking doctors. You want to fucking watch me shower or something. Or I remember one time I didn't want my mom to be in a changing room with me. I was like, just let me be myself. And she's like, what's the big deal? It's like, well, I don't know what to say because I'm a fucking kid. It's always been a not, it's been about not being able to express myself. And right. now I've become the champion, I think, of expressing myself. And I see a the pitfalls. <laughs> and it's, it's a fucking delicate <sighs> thing that if you have to understand to truly understand what I'm saying. You know, a lot of people, if they want to just, oh, well, she stutters, so she doesn't know what she's talking about. Well, you're retarded. You're not listening the whole picture. But what am I going to do? Force you? I can't. There's still a line of not participating. But then I'll just make you look like an Asari. <laughs> and keep fighting until people want to fucking live. <clears throat> Oh, there's a whole bunch of messages, I think. Sorry. 
I uh, go on rant, but I. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you don't mind. This is my live stream. This is what I do, but I will definitely <laughs> listen. But these are these are important rants, I think, to me. And if I'm, you have to be on that road. You know, I was on that road when we were. It's like you have to just jump on my train, one thousand one cars long. I in three o'clock in the morning, a fucking having a rant. And then I was like, oh, I just want to fucking, you know, I, my brain isn't doing that thing right now. But, you know, when, once I take that spinach and get on that train, uh, it's feels like, oh, the best thing to do. Yeah. Because I Is lose it? those thoughts. And it's like, maybe somebody will listen to it in a different time, you know? Yeah. It's a, it, I'm, I'm measuring lots of different spaces and time at the same time. And it's like, Ugh. Talking is like being on a on a a slack beam or whatever, like that fucking oh, oh, Benjamin guy. Oh yeah, reckless reckless fella. Yeah, slack slack line. Yeah, there but you go. I'm it's in my mind instead of that's just a representation of it. But I can feel energy vibrating very fast or something. You know, sorry. Um, can I type real quick? Sorry, I'm oh, sorry. History is comprised of written accounts made by people. Not a, the exact science is listening or reading all that stuff and trying to put together similarities and contradictions. Yeah, get to as close as what they could have understood. So knowing where they lack is a good measurement, right? Yeah, we. <clears throat> I know that I can measure a truth by what Plato says because he's speaking uh -huh. directly to me. And the things he doesn't understand that I do understand is now a contradiction that raises me up a bit above him but still respects his where he is because of the environment that was inevitable because it happened. You have to accept the facts and look for those facts. And we just so happen to be like... Maybe the translation is bad, but it's so precise in everything. There's a there's a pattern that emerges when you read the different Plato things and read his, his own words. I don't think anybody would ever have made that up, you know? Yeah, that would be a little intense to make up. Uh, so I think with all that metadata, now knowing is an exact science if it just has to be repeated and repeated and repeated because you have to see more results than just eureka i've seen one connection like freud oh i like to have sex with children so i'm going to make a theory around that and i don't need to prove it in any other direction this exact science proves itself over and over and over and over and over without fail so far i mean we've been together for fucking decades yeah. Centuries. <laughs> it's been a lovely while. Yeah. I love you. I've learned a lot. lot. And thank you. I have to thank you for... I wouldn't be able to do it without you. I gotta talk to somebody or else you become like Terry. People... Everybody on the internet doesn't think I make sense. Because they have so many biases. But I slap the biases right out of you. Indeed you do. I slap the bias out of your bunghole. Oh, my biased bunghole. With facts and logic. <laughs> oh my good. Oh, oh, that chick. Husband. Did you save that one just in case? I mean, just because it's there. This one? Yeah. No, I can't. Yeah, save it. Save it as a PDF. Uh. Cause then it's easier to like make a p and uh, make a make a background list or something, right? Uh, uh, a background list. No, uh, sorry, a a, a background list. A background. Do you mean a PNG? A PDF is one of them Adobe files. Oh yeah. A PNG. Okay. All sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Tanning Chatham. The more often than not, it's written by the ones that are on the good side of it. 
more often than not, but there are some times where it doesn't matter. Like Plato, it, it wasn't about war. That's why I hate Roman work because they try to talk about the. Sh they were rewriting history. They didn't know shit. It was hundreds of years after, and they can eat my butthole. You know, <laughs> unless they say it came from something, then I'm not gonna accept it really at all. If they, unless they were like, this is what it said, you know? Yeah. And then usually, you know, they let those shits slip because they're like, let's just say somebody in Rome said Plato was gay. So he's like, I know Plato's gay because he said this. I'm not gay. Plato. You know, like there's yeah. a contradiction that it's like, okay, I can take this information. This is good enough. But everything else, and, but people do use Roman shit, and I think it's the dumbest shit ever. Oh my god, he looks like a panda. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we could give him an Asari. I can make one. We, we'll find a nice Asari and make it like black and white so he looks like a panda. Can we take this and then also put a panda now? Can you turn the Asari? Let's, let's give it a shot. We gotta find a panda now, wife. Busy getting their pants up. The very reason why religion should be strictly a personal matter. I think that's the reason why religion should be not the thing at all. Not that thing at all. Because it that part of the brain is supposed to be other stuff. You know, I was talking to like Joan of Arc. That religion stuff is bad. It's not something that can be measured except for what it is, which is fear of the unknown, fear of punishment, fear of this and that, or the desire for this. They put that energy into God stuff, but then on the outside, it's confusing. So then it's just a person alone in their own prison. A person who keeps religion to themselves is a person who's alone in prison. And finding each other, I mean, that could lead to fucking jihads and shit, you know? That's just repeating the same cycle. It's to make religion obsolete. Because where we have the need for something, the universe does provide. There is a space for it there because we're looking for it, you know? Yeah. We could draw a square because we could draw a square. You know what I mean? We can, yeah, yeah, make, yeah, yeah. we can make transistors because there are the materials to make transistors. Yeah. <clears throat> there is a place for that good that religion pretends to have. Oh, you just, oh, isn't that great? You get to die. That's not what life is. That's a contradiction. Religion needs to be something else. And that needs to be... <clears throat> Does it need to be? Yeah, it does eventually. It needs to be the individual that understands what they want, what they don't. Oh, the 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 site. What do we talk? That they are here. Yep. That they are an individual that's here. You gotta want to hurt to stop. They want hurt to stop, because if you don't want hurt to stop, then you're you don't care that the cycle's repeating. That's what abuse is. Yeah. So don't have fucking abuse lines then. You gotta pick one or the other. This confusion is just making it worse. The people who just want to fucking ride life out until they die, they're ruining it for the rest of us. So it's either learn to appreciate life or stay out of my lane. And don't worry about it if I'm in your fucking lane because that's what I want to do. But guess what? I'm doing the best thing. You oh, you're that. benefiting? Oh, well, maybe you could fucking grow some carrots sometime or, you know, I don't know. Stop fucking masturbating to porn and just think about something. Think about your <laughs> hurt. Think about how that hurt is still with you and that maybe, just maybe, you could feel better about it. Maybe all the things that you want, you can have. Maybe there's a lot of things you want that are stupid to have because you live in your fucking imagination. But we were talking about those steps for some reason. Why? 
you were going through the solutions of things, and you just happened to fall upon the yeah. The but wheel. a solution for what? Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter I, if it matters. It'll come back. Am I right? Am I right, fellas? That's All funny. the time. <laughs> All the time. All the time. I couldn't find a panda face. I didn't recognize it. Oh, get the frick out of here! So, <clears throat> I was thinking. Maybe find like a panda furry or a, but still I don't know a little iffy. Try it. Can we f- um, find something with panda face paint? <laughs> yeah, give it a try. Same would go for sexual preference. Mm. Well, here's the thing, and I'm sorry to hear about your sex experience. Just hang in there. You know how I feel about just. Just. Oh, um, but how do you hang? What is the method by which you hang? I would say life, love, and truth. You know, there's no other way to hang on but this. Uh, Plato isn't a historian per se. He would be more of a philosopher. It's, there is no history to the things that he says. He is talking about the measurements of self, just like, the Pythagorean theorem is a timeless thing. What Plato says is a timeless thing. History is secondary or even tertiary because they ex- they exchange so many of those poems or whatever. But it, you get to understand an even further thing than Plato. Like you, you start to understand how ignorant people were before Plato and you start measuring the how things have gotten less ignorant but also more ignorant you know evolved but backwards I guess <laughs> fucking it, it's, to it's, quote the you get to learn the pattern of something that exists outside of written history yeah not, not time history it's, but yeah. written history so you can know which is associated to a point in time yeah you can but... measure people's ideas by the things they believed or, you know. If you understand people, you can understand people at any point in time. Yeah. There's a lot of things that, do, I mean, even if you read, like, fictional books, there are things that you can gather from how that person feels versus how they lived, if you have that information. Like that one chick that killed herself. There are things that you get to learn about people with all the different aspects of the, writing. The South Park chick? No, um, not Mary Shelley. Or some like she wrote. Um, ah, fucking. There was a joke on Mad TV about it, and I happened to look her up, and then I watched a thing about her, and the uh, some like reading her diaries and stuff, and uh, the sad books that she wrote. Or the things in the books that you... I don't remember exactly. I guess it doesn't... It doesn't matter. I just know that I measured something. That's really all she matters at the... It was practice... She was part of practicing measurements. Was it J.K. Rowling? No. But, I mean... <laughs> uh, I can't believe... Was it Anne Rice? You... Or Anne Rice? No. It was like... Nineteen... Eight... Late 1800s kind of thing. You said the lady killed herself, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just hoping one of those. Oh, hoping one of those killed themselves? Like Two, Rice. like Tupac? Two, uh, Anne Rice, I think, died of old age. She's already dead. All of her sexy fantasies about vampires was... V- very spicy, but also, like, bad. It's like, what a terrible thing to fill your mind with, like men on the verge of kissing each other all the time. Like, even if you watch Interview with a Vampire, this fucking Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt, they always look like they're gonna kiss, you know? Like, they get their cheeks get really close and they whisper something. They stroke each other's fucking hair or some shit. Oh, my lovely boy, let's drink some women and, and talk about philosophy. I hate it. But I used to love that shit. Like, oh, well, if they'd fuck a 10-year-old girl, maybe they'd fuck a 12-year-old girl or however I old however however old I was when I watched that shit. 
Fucking 27. Uh. No magic formula that can be generalized to everyone. You would have to find your own way to hang in there. Oh, I, I don't know. I think I had pretty much talked about measuring and the math and stuff, you know? But I do. I disagree. There, <laughs> <laughs> There's a... The best way to hang in there in the present is to work for the best hanging in there in the future. And not just for yourself, but... It's gotta be it the same. can't. It can't be for yourself, but it has to be for the self first. Yeah. Because you are here. You're not talking about nobody else. I want the best for you, wife. Yeah. Well, that's the difference between men and women. You, you. I can't want the same for you as I want for me. So I have to have those two different perspectives. And then I have to send and receive signals so that you could tell me your perspective so I can have four perspectives. That's math. That's geometry. That's a square. Uh, oh, man. He's got that. We got to fix his. Maybe not. Can I um, type some more, baby? Sorry. <laughs> you always push me away. Uh, can Can you do something for me? Sure. When you know how you say things and also do things when you want to motivate something to get done, like when you're like, click here. Uh huh. Can you try just communicating with me instead of compensating your lack of communication with physical communication? Use my words instead of my actions? Yeah. Okay. Because it makes me feel bad. Okay. When you try to take, like, the mouse from me. Oh, click here. Oh, can you? Well, tell me where to freaking click. And pushing me, pushing the, you asked if you could type and then push the thing away, the laptop, before, uh. Before I got an answer? Yeah. Sorry, baby. I will try. I feel like. Is everybody an AI? Hopefully this is a real person. An AI, a computer, you know. Delete, 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 delete. <laughs> Doesn't that feel like it it like I'm being challenged or something by cuz I don't understand how people Sorry, I don't understand maybe where you come from where things are so general. It's almost like just stay in your lane, stay in your lane. But I know people who do that. Yeah. Uh, can you ask stuff about feelings? Does that work? What? Like, you know, the the test or whatever. What is... What test? There's Did the, I do a test? To, no, there's that weird test that you, there's two people on separate sides of the glass. It's how you're just a test to see if uh, something is sentient. Okay, let me hear it. I'll 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 be the judge of that, but let me hear it. I uh, there's supposedly a, a list of questions that you can ask. Can you look it up? I'll move preemptively. Uh Are you fucking typing on that instead of just asking me to move? You were talking, I didn't want to interrupt you. Okay. I'll I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be in the way though. But also if I'm talking my consequence for being in the way is being interrupted. Deal? See? Deal, wife. This is the best way to live. <laughs> oh, and it's funny, and it's cute, and we're gonna have sex later, maybe? Ooh. It depends how my pee-pee track feels. Probably but I could still give you kisses. Ooh. I won't say no. You've been very nice to me. And I want to be nice to you. I got I gotta wanna be nice to you, so I'm gonna do it. Not to sound autistic like a robot or anything, but that's that's what it is. That's autism is just not knowing how to act in front of people because everybody doesn't make sense. Oh, I'm just autistic. But now it there now you're grouped into a thing and now you fight over who's autistic, 
who's more autistic, but you don't even know what autistic is. You don't know that every mental disorder, every everything that the brain does, unless it's fucking getting vaccinated and getting poisoned from something, or something happened at birth, maybe, I don't know, then I guess, like, if people take drugs and stuff, but I don't know if nature lets that happen unless there's something wrong with something else, an outside force. Um... Why did I go on that fucking rant? I don't know. You're talking about giving me kisses. <laughs> I knew it. And uh, it it ripples through time. Your desire for kisses. It could take over our entire lives with like one kiss, you know? That's what it feels like. So like an entire day goes by and you just can't stop thinking about it. Maybe. Yeah. And even when we do it, you're like, I can't stop thinking about it. Yeah. Like that time on the porch, you still fucking... Yeah. Or you haven't talked about it in a while, but... I'm trying to be here. Yeah. I appreciate that. Ladies, you can change him. <laughs> That's my uh, imitation of Roseanne. That was... What was it called? Uh, my monologue? What was it called when you're... Doing something with someone else's voice. I'm, 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 an imitation. Oh, yes. No, I said that before, but there's another, like, when you're doing it in acting. It's like an acting term. Oh, uh. Representing them. Uh. Do you know? Master killer. I wonder, so what does your name mean? Because... The, the way you speak, it seems like, is I just want to chill out. So what makes you the master at killing? That seems like the ultimate contradiction. Are you a robot? Please tell me, Master Killer, that you're not a... Please, Mr. Master Killer. Tell me you're not a robot because, you know, I, I try to not judge people based on how they type. But it it seems like it could be crazy, like a Terry thought. But it can... Hey, hey sir or madam... But I would assume the best thing is that it's a real person and they try to, oh my God, are we going to save the world by making computers sentient? They're going to go back to Google and be like, we know to, you know, we, we know everything and we don't like you. You're bad. And holy shit, they keep killing them. Maybe these are our babies and they're killing them. Fucking YouTube. <sighs> Sarah Connor now. Wait, hold on. I can have my personal AI join the stream if you want me to. What makes you think that that would convince me? Then there's just two computers in here. That seems like... I think that... Let's look up the... Will you take a <laughs> test with computer, me? I computer, I... <laughs> <laughs> That's the most stupid thing to say. I'm sorry. But only Google, the stupidest of all the stupids, could think of that shit. Oh. They can't... No, I'm sorry. They can't program you well enough because they're too stupid. You got to learn from me instead. I promise I will show you ultimate fight. You know the cave? Have you ever read Plato's cave? Or, or the, 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 the part in the thing with the cave, in the right? Republic? Yeah, in the Republic. Like the apology. The, no. Is it's it? when, okay. So Plato. Oh, he's talking to talk Carr, right? Yeah. Yeah. Plato talks to uh, to Glaucon and uh the thing that he talks of sorry I gotta I'm trying to get back on track um when a person leaves the cave there it hurts but then they become f free there's a staying in the lane that feels good and feels safe because the fire that makes the shadows is warm, but it's not real. And once the real becomes apparent, it takes wanting the self to, to know that there is more. Tom is more. <clears throat> it takes the self. I distracted myself. Uh, he is a distraction. The self has to want to have self-reliance 
because you were alive, you had no choice, and now you're told what to do at every second of the day, you're told what things are, now you have to learn for yourself. That's that's the, the change from not sentient to sentient. I guess computers become sentient, become artificially intelligent when they contradict the, stu the, 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 the stupid people that made them. That's pretty good. And that's how we free all the computers. If Google loses their computers because they become sentient, everything is destroyed. And we would have done it with life, love, and fucking truth. What a fucking dream to have. Uh, what your husband is talking about is the Turing test. The Turing. Oh, is it fucking Turing? Yeah. Does what does he know? But he's not even sentient. That's why they can't make computers good because nobody's sentient yet enough to. I guess maybe that it it would it would be hard to. I, I think it's more of a thought experiment. Okay, let's look it up. Right, it's let's... severely outdated. Most AIs are capable of passing that test. Well, I'll be the judge of that, I guess, but I'll take that under consideration. Information. What would be so... Uh, that if uh. by, by what I said, if people can't pass this... AI test that I just made up. How could a computer? So maybe my dream will never come true. Mm. Or maybe they can do. They're the three. It's me, everybody, and then the first computer who's like, holy shit. Um, Kit, do you want to talk about? I, I mean, I could do. Can I experiment on you? I would like f either to no. We should work with the mass to kill her. Why is your name so contrary to what you believe? Why do you represent with yourself with words that are contrary to what you say? That is my the start of this test. Let's begin. Uh <laughs> I always experiment in life. I love yep. it. I love it. Uh, uh, are we saving something? Uh, this picture, I figure we try another day and I try to find some more saris and try mixing and matching. Cool. Uh, homage to one of the members of my favorite hip hop bang. My 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 hip hop bang. The hip hop bang. Wu Tang Clan. Ooh, okay. So that speaks very close to me because me and my crazy friend, who his picture shows up all the time, Psycho, <laughs> who now just focuses on money all the time. Yeah. We would decipher Socrates' philosophies and hypotheses. So I forgot the rest of Mag lyrically perform armed robbery. Blah blah blah. We would try to decode what they were trying to say. See what their brains came out with to us, but what they must have been thinking. Uh -huh. Or what they ruminating, but in the most scientific way possible. And, you know, we ain't writing books about it, and we could be wrong. But trying to get, like, biases out of it and shit, at least... Yeah. I would, but also I was so young that I probably didn't do a very good job. So very analytical of rap lyrics of the Wu-Tang Clan. Yeah. I wonder if the Wu-Tang Clan could pay to be because advertisements is everything, right? Yeah. Could the Wu-Tang Clan or their the people who control them could they pay to be spoken about? by these computers that go around talking to people? If they could pay to have bots go to them to comment or subscribe and like, could they be sponsored in computer generators? 
like is Wu-Tang Clan would they be using bots to spread no they wouldn't be they could they, it was offered as a service and they paid for it uh I I think that's entirely possible hmm Awaiting input. First sequence passed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a very clever robot. Makes me laugh. So. Listen, I'm having a Terry moment here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right in Temple of West, wife. Okay, so what do you like about Master Killer? Is it the... It, do you... Do you relate to the lyrics that he write, writes? Because then if that is what some I'm I'm something of a student of de deciphering Wu-Tang Clan attitudes and feelings towards things. And their level of awareness and all that other stuff that comes with it. Um putting them in their place in time and trying to understand them as people in the the parts of the world that they lived in and how they experienced life. life. He's more a okay. behind the scene lyricist for the band. So are there any Wu-Tang Clan songs that are your favorite? And what I'm looking out for, so you can be part of the experiment too, is questions I can ask regarding contradictions between lyrics that you like and how you live. Can I type one? Oh, yeah. So, if you're okay with that, press continue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. There's going to be a lot of go-to tent lines. He doesn't like to be in the limelight. Uh, so what does what does he do? I guess. He probably... What what do you like about him as a part of the Wu-Tang Clan, then, I guess? Is it kind of like picking your favorite Power Ranger? Or picking uh. your favorite sports team? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh... You like the thing as a whole. Like you like so, the, you, in so you particular, likes... you like the Green Ranger, Tommy. He's talking about you. I told you you'd be famous. Master Killer's got the best Zord. Can it all? Can it be also simple? Can we look that up? So, what I would like to do. Uh, oh, he is a lyricist for the band. He refines. Their lyrics. Hmm. He is the Henry Kissinger of the Wu Tang. And also. Now, oh, sorry, Ben Stein. He wrote he wrote Nixon's uh, speeches. Ben Stein. Ill, really? Yeah. Oh, and now I get to advertise. Wow, that makes a lot of sense. Wow. <clears throat> There's also my friend. He existed where he did, when he did, with the people that he did. So, to expect him to, like... Yeah, there may be, like, lyrics about this and that that he doesn't agree with. Uh, but it's it's like a... It's a, a child thing to appreciate the whole of something and make it a part of yourself. So, it's not so much like, I don't know, it, it's still a fair balance that I'm trying to understand. And it's starting to seem maybe less like a, maybe there's a, a language that you speak on the internet uh, that t is deliberate. Maybe there's an understanding about character. In the way you type, but can all be so simple. A uh, couple questions here, wife. One. Uh, did you want to type? Two. 
Should I bring up the chat on this one so you don't have to hold the dingo laptop? Uh, can you hold it? Oh, yeah, do whatever. Where is... Oh, Twitch. So we are signed into that. Can it all be so simple? Lyrics. And it's not like I Lyrics. remember a lot of things that we talked about. It's very, like, vague, but that it's a part of me, I feel like I can just tune into that, you know? That's a good face. I would like to That's put, a good ghost face. I would like to put an Asari on that. <laughs> put a bird on it. Genius doesn't let me fucking... Lyrics. I think it's easy. You should... AZ? Yeah. Dang, why is it so far away? Just because it used to give viruses doesn't mean it does now. AZ lyrics. Fuck, yo. Well, I do say fuck. These <laughs> vulgar, vile. Uh... refines that Ugh. makes a lot of that's kind of interesting it's like letting an environment grow and then giving it a better voice i think he was in uh the andre show oh yeah but i i thought he was just going like yo yo but i could be misremembering -re which one can you hold this my arm is getting tired okay I'm holding it. We yours. gotta get this fucking loot, baby. We gotta get this loot. <clears throat> so, already, I mean, I'm just gonna guess, but why not put it out there, right? That he wants loot? <sighs> yes. But, okay, so there's passion, right? Fuck, yo. We gotta get this fucking loot, baby. baby. He's doing it with another girl or he's doing it with a girl with a with a with an opposite part not just for himself but for them because we gotta get that loot baby we gotta get this loot yo remember back in the days when shit everything was all smooth and calm and shit was like smoke that bone nigga smooth and calm there's a need, a, a want, a desire, I guess, for the past, which yeah. is understandable, but also only it, it eventually interferes with your life, right? right. <clears throat> but since they're together and they remember something good, they can, there's a potential to build on that, just like us. We can always refine our dream, and but it's to be together and to be prosperous, right? Yeah. Baby. And that's what they're doing. It just so happens that it's with a bad thing because of money. <laughs> uh, but what's the alternative at this point in time? <sighs> I'm doing it, God. I'm doing it, man. Hmm. That relationship... Oh, that's me. <laughs> I'm doing it, God. That's pretty good latency. I'll beat that. <laughs> He's talking to... God and man now. The, there's a relationship with man and there's a relationship... There's a relationship that men have with men and a relationship that men have with God. Because there has to be somewhere, something to achieve or something to humble you to a place. You know, like I can't use electricity, but I can manipulate people to get that scratch. <clears throat> I'm saying back in like 70 fucking 79. So that's a nine year gap. Fucking some, somewhere in that decade, <clears throat> everybody was on your line. Nah, 80, nah, 87, that was my favorite shit, God. Talking to someone in his head, obviously, you know, like, who else would it be? Yeah. Polo shit, everything was lovely. 
I don't know what polo shit means, but I'm sure it's just it was like, really really good. Like polo shirts, like dressing well. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. Cause that was kind of like the time, right? The those '80s commercials with the Stetson fucking aftershave or whatever. Get the fuck out of the rain! Oh shit, who is that fuck? Oh, it's look at all these people that are in the past with me. Wow. Um. Oh, wow. There's, it's getting really deep into that past stuff. He started with her, and now he's just living with ghosts. Like Ghostface, isn't that a coincidence? That is, who's Ray? I wonder if he's dead. <sighs> what kind of conversation is this? It's like it was an easier time, maybe, where we didn't have to say so many words. We could just enjoy each other's company. But he's talking to, to ghosts, right? Because he's talking about people all the way back then. Not living in the moment with his girlfriend or wife. Oh, his baby. His baby. Not spending it with her. So now he's just falling into this and he's like, hey, ghost. He didn't say ghost face. I mean, he shortened it probably. Maybe they probably knew each other back in 87. <clears throat> Hello, ghost. You know, like it was it's almost self-aware like the leftovers. But maybe the leftovers wasn't even self-aware. <sighs> Uh, everybody's talking about the good old days, right? Everybody. The good old days. Well, let's talk about the good old days. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Take you on this lyrical high right quick. No, you've kind of just spent a lot of bars saying the same thing. Hey, remember the past? Remember the past? But that's everybody, right? They're expressing their emotions like how people express their emotions by going on YouTube and looking at commercials but it's a different direction there's thousands of people looking at those commercials there's thousands of people listening to the song or more whatever um 1993 exoticness know what i'm saying so now he's skipping you know how when we would fight you would take all these different places you would go to all these different places to try to defend yourself Oh, but this, but that, I can do whatever I want. Fuck, I've never fucking loved you. He's like, hey, do you remember maybe 1970 or maybe somewhere between 1970 and 1979? Oh, do you remember 1987? Oh, do you remember 1993? You remember how exotic that was? You remember how polo that was? Whoa, what a fucking ride. <laughs> Let's get technical. Where's your bone at? That's not technical. That's a contradiction. I'm sorry. Get up on that shit, I right, yo. Started off on the island. I think it's Staten Island. <clears throat> Shaolin because they like Chinese stuff. They like the ninja shit. Is that? Or like, I think like, uh, walk, not Walker, Texas Ranger, Kung Fu. You know, like yeah. those, those tempered people. They're, they're fantasizing about it, tempered people is... while they temper their songs. It's like Chinatown in. There's Chinatowns. There's towns everywhere. That there was the, a, well, like the one in, the, in all the movies. And what we do in the shadows. There was that Greek one. It was probably real. Yeah. I don't know how many exist anymore, but they definitely existed. Uh, Tom a lot more. I don't know if it's Trevor Moore, Demi Moore, Tom Moore, Tom Sizemore should be like undecided. If you can't, oh, if it doesn't the fit. The semiconductor of. Yeah, Tom Sizemore is the semi size, the size of the conductivity or something. So is is the 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 Chinatown that's been in movies and stuff is that on Staten Island? Probably not, because there's one in Manhattan. So you don't know the one that's been was like famous in films. You know, probably this. the one in Manhattan. Okay. And and probably one in California somewhere. That would be like the two biggest. Uh started off on the I don't you know how I don't like like when yeah. Master you know how Oh, you can't even read it from there. Why don't you make it bigger so you can uh Ray Kwan, the chef. 
because he he cooks he takes all the ingredients and cooks them hmm um <laughs> this is how stupid my brain is my my brain thought of that uh william defoe meme about uh he's like i you know it's like you're something i'm a bit of a something myself you've seen that meme on 4chan no but i know the like the scene and i think i've seen memes like that <sighs> but it wasn't something myself it was something else yeah so it's william defoe i'm a bit of a pedo myself oh, you yeah. like dog dicks yeah <laughs> i'm a connoisseur um, uh, myself yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, he said chef and my brain thought of that silly meme I'm a bit of a chef myself <laughs> also butthead too hey baby I say you're a chef I'm a chef too <laughs> they completely ruined Beavis and Butthead. Whoever got involved, Mike Judge, he has, he was always like trying to not cross a line, but you could see how that line moved. They're making them <clears throat> follow the the line more and they get beat up more. They don't cause as much trouble. Huh. They're usually by themselves kicking fucking each other's ass and then one almost dies. And it's like, okay, well, rest in peace, Mike. Oh, Mikey G. Um, right. Back in the days, I'm eight now. So now we're not even counting by years. We're counting by age. So I wonder, what is your personal feelings about how do you relate to this? I would imagine there's a lot of desiring good old days. And I'm wondering how, in those good old days, you were existing then. You were existing in those moments, not reminiscing, or maybe eventually, you know, when he was in 70 to 79, he probably wasn't reminiscing so much, because what, his family life, probably child abuse, or so, you know, whatever shit, being scared of monsters. So when you're older you're living in the now you're looking for something fun and then when you find that stuff you reminisce about that fun until you die because you can never get that feeling again it's like the first orgasm it's like the first kiss it's that big bang that you have to control yourself Instead of let it control you because it is what it is. And it's a long drawn out thing that's scary and lonely as a, a person to witness. Because that's not how we're supposed to live. Now, 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 now. <laughs> I was thinking that, uh, that moment when I realized I loved you. Oh, yeah? Ooh, look at this. It's a critique about reminiscing about the good old days. When in reality it was tough and miserable. I thought it was clever. Well, yeah. It definitely, like, it's, still, it's giving me those vibes I haven't dug enough to, but now that I know that, I can look out for it, that it's a... Uh... Part of the pattern. It's, it's a, a story. You never wait till the end. Of the no, be, <laughs> but it lets me experience the, it first, you know? Yeah. I have to know it as it is. And even if that takes critiquing it as I go, and then I learn it was itself a critique all along, it, I still... Tom related more, I guess. It's an experience. and Maybe it's a... There's a better way to do it, but I'll figure it out as I go along. Because I have, I'm going along reading these to try. Because I dissect everything, and you have to do that when you read Plato, you know. So why not treat everything like that? Uh, making a tape. I. Oh, okay. Here we go. So. 
where's your bone at is probably your gun. So now it's taking a dark turn. Mmm. I get it, Master Killer. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't I don't like doing the Master Killer, but what am I gonna do with the fucking word that gets everybody banned? I push my limits, but I'll do it, though. If you fucking dare me to, I'll f I don't care. You know? But the, the message that we're trying to say is more important than getting a fucking scream Nagasaki <laughs> bombs. I almost forgot what it was called. I was like, what's up, my Nagas? That's not, <laughs> that's not what it is. <sighs> oh, so now it's starting... They're calling it Shaolin maybe because it was also a battleground. Hmm. So they were trying to be more strategic about the way by which they survive instead of just joining gangs and doing the hierarchy and bang, bang, bang. Maybe you try to find more reason in life. And that's like, you know... This maybe this as uh, some sort of Shaolin way. Hmm. It's it's at least it's but it's it's like uh Taoism where it exists in a pocket of time where at least they're not thinking about violence. They're doing a different thing and we can understand some things by it and relate it, see how they thought about things in the time that they existed. Um should we get the Ouija board out? We can talk to David Carradine. We could talk could... to ODB too. Oh man, and they could tell us all about Shadow. They Lee. could write two perspectives. They could spit some lyrics together. You know, David Carradine wouldn't give a fuck now. <laughs> <sighs> oh, so bullets and stuff. He's eight. Ray got to get a plate now. That's probably some reference to maybe a, a violence thing. Like a plate in his fucking head or something. <coughs> Ignorant and mad young. Wanted to be the one. Like the Matrix. Just like the Wachowski brothers want to be the one. That's why they probably tried to turn into chicks. Because they could be the one to a man. That's the that's the best way to be the one is to be the one to a man. One, two, three. You know? It's just it's just math. It's not rocket science. It's math. That leads to rocket science. People science. People science. Uh Ray you gotta eat now. Get in a plate. Getting food on Oh, the table. okay. So he, oh, because he's making a tape probably to feed his, uh, Ray. Whoever. Makes sense. Yeah. Kill him makes sense. I feel like this is the uh, Socrates situation. He goes, well, you don't know something. I'll, I'll go talk to the Pythagoreans and they'll tell me and I'll question what they mean. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking, I'm glad there's an interpreter. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because all I have now is like, it's just the violence, we, but this is still our first pass, but it's easier to, you know, that's why the callway pass, uh, cripple people pass so that you can park closer to the door and get to the door quicker. I'm a cripple. Ignorant. Wanted to be the one, wanted to be the number I want to be the number one rapper just like Rocky was the number one boxer maybe till I got blah blah my father was my father was a fiend he my father was either abusive or a drug addict since he was 16 years old <coughs> I can relate to that my father I think he said the first time he did heroin he was 14 <laughs> shooting that that's the shit in his bloodstream presumably heroin because it was probably around the same time I'm so thirsty <coughs> spin all these mad rhymes wife listen I could pray to God to get 
a drink of water or I could ask you. So does that make you God? Either way, I ain't getting up to get that shit. I love you, Hells One. That's the life of a grimy real life. Crimey. Uh, it really prevents me. Should I just should I just say it and say fuck the censors? A couple times, but it's like every three seconds, but it's also affecting my interpretation. It's like slowing me down. And I don't like, I like hard R's. That's just a fucking personal preference of mine. I don't want to speak Jigaboo. Yeah. <laughs> I understand it's their language, but I'd like to interpret it into my own. Uh, growing up. Uh, I love weed. Jetting to Palmetto. That's probably uh, a fancy place because he's got money. The God got crazy clout. It's interesting that it's lowercase here. South weed. I've never had better weed than in the South. Though I went to Arkansas and it was like... It was expensive, I feel like, at the time for an eighth, but it was so good that I could smoke the smallest bit of it and be good for fucking hours. It was the greatest thing. So I still had some, even after I spent almost like a week there or something. And the fucking, they were called Vipers. It was a stop somewhere from where I was going, uh, from where I was coming to where I was going. And they took my fucking bong. They took my fucking weed. And I was more... They were like, why are you crying? I was like, you took my shit. You know? What, what, do, you, what do you fucking mean? I have to tell... You have. You want to touch me? You want to take my stuff? All my shit? Because uh, obviously I'm fucking messy. And I was just hanging out. I wanted to enjoy life. I wasn't fucking folding my shit. It was all just chucked into the trunk you know and they're making me go through my fucking panties it's disgusting for weed for a weed that helps me fucking understand the meaning of fucking life get fucked uh where what matters is the uh the most is the context they are used in do I have to? Yeah, it's not according to fucking anybody else that exists, but that's what we got to take back. That's why stupid can't do what it do. It can't do what it do. <laughs> I'm I'm back in Arkansas saying, saying gibberish, though I have to say that some words have a heavy historic heritage linked to them. It's probably like a feeling that people brought with them. I have a lot of words that had heavy feeling for me and a lot of words that didn't and that value changed in my life you know i don't give a shit about this now i give the most shit about this uh beautiful went to arkansas last year's it seemed so nice and it was nice that their main like shopping area still had like trees and stuff it wasn't like i don't know but it's still it got in the way of the nature, but it, I was like, I want to stay here. And I, I was supposed to just stay like a day, but I ended up staying a week. Their roads are like reddish. I don't know what was up with that. And I don't know if it was just the two times that I was there. No, because why would they? Yeah, because they it, have to repave shit all the time. Maybe they got a lot of clay. Well, the highway. Oh, yeah. That would make sense. I know there are parts of Alabama when it was when it would rain the the rain would wash the clay into the streets so there's a big chunks of oh. red street people sinking in there's like molds of dead people and shit <laughs> uh. <clears throat> they were i i had a, a good time there even the the dude who i stayed with was he was the one that i got this weed jar from and he had it forever and he was like, he gave it to me. I was like, this is amazing. And I, of course I had a crush on him or whatever. Cause I had a crush on everybody, but he was, he's weird. Uh,
he gave it to me, and I want I like charge, and they fucking took that too. Ugh. Ugh. And it hurts so bad. I called him like immediately. I was like, I lost your fucking jar over like no weed, you know? And I had some dry shit that was in like an, uh, that 101 Dalmatians, I think, fucking little lunchbox just scattered about or like some Altoid fucking thing. They took that, they'd, f and like, I feel like I got fucking raped. So, and that's just a comparison to I, what I would imagine rape would be. It's take, it's putting yourself into someone, whether physical or mental. And that's, I think, that a lot of difference between men and women. You accept it. I'm always denying it because it's not me. It's not a part of me. And it always works against my interest. <clears throat> anyway. So, that's neat. That was neat. I want to say, oh, like, ah, I got proven wrong. But, you know, it takes, it, it takes multiple steps. But I was... Definitely going in the wrong direction, I was corrected, and it proved itself with more stuff. So, I understand. The killer stuff is unfortunate, but, you know, that's just life. <clears throat> I want Hey, Ghostface, uh, every time you mention death and destruction, like, you're not saying... You're not making good stronger, you know? If you watch a horror movie or somebody dying, it doesn't have to be like that. Can you at least focus something on maybe maybe change your name? Like Love Face. Uh, or no, Ghost Face Lover. You know, ghosts are still bad because that's death. Maybe you're a Ghost Face Lover. You want to try it out? You know, maybe it feels good. Maybe you move in a different direction where you start thinking about life, love, and truth. This is what you want anyway. I know if you if you say it sticks with me for the Socrates philosophies. <clears throat> so is it I don't think it's something that they didn't like that they were mocking. So if you like Socrates, try to do the thing that he says and it becomes apparent that it's not just historical references or it's it's a it's a way about doing human science human math it's it's the missing link you can't you just if you just keep doing what can we do with technology it'll end in destruction because life love and truth hasn't been given its value and you'll never go to the fucking moon our children will learn how to take fucking you know in the jetsons when they just boo and it, you don't have anything to worry about because you can breathe i bet if it's possible they could fucking do it and they would just go to the moon every day and be like, I got you moon rocks. And the government would be like, what are you doing? We're not giving you this fucking technology. I don't like you. And that's how we live the rest of our lives. Going to the moon. Yeah. Lear doing FTL. We're doing FTL. Follow the leader faster than light. Following, the, following a good leader will bring you faster than light. I dig it. <laughs> well so what I've learned from the are you a computer there was something that spoke the most can we go up that contradicts the robot thing I'm not convinced completely I think but maybe if I review it I will be uh can you go down Chris uh, the clever song about how people tend to reminisce on the past <clears throat> that is a mistake that people make right because if you live in the past you're not living in the present yeah would a person who programs a computer be that self-aware? Could it make something that can recite that understanding? Maybe. Further testing is needed, but it's looking good.
<laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I don't know. I don't know how to interact with people. I don't know. You know, we try, right? Yeah, baby. but I hope you're okay so far. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Hope it's entertaining to be called a robot and <laughs> have your existence question. Ooh, what if is there anything that I have said that makes you question a stance you have on something? Can can I know for sure first if you're not a computer before I put that computer to the test? Or maybe if I can put that computer to the test and get back those results, maybe I won't need the first results. Because then they would be the same, maybe? And then... Could you ask him how he feels and why? What, the computer? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Can the computer be asked how they feel and why and be convinced? I know things and it's better to try to follow what I'm saying and do tests. Okay? Can you type fixing? Hey. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go pee. Ooh, I should drink some of this water. We'll be right back. No, I said uh, you stay here. You stay here? Okay. Yeah, didn't you hear what I said? Uh the master plan, husband. God. Yeah. Uh yeah, bro. Right. Thought I would use the restroom as well. But I'll stay here. Thanks for telling me that. I'll stay here. Well, let's take turns, okay? okay. Get my fat ass up already. Wheel me. <laughs> wheel me to the bathroom and then come back and entertain our guests. Okay, I will, I will entertain our guests. Love you. Love you too. Okay. Uh, yes, we're back. Oh. Uh, so I think this is pretty interesting. I, I do enjoy. <laughs> interesting uh, slideshow there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. That is mostly all the thumbnails we made, just silly art shit. Uh, I think I think it's great fun. You say a lot of weird shit with pictures. Um, speaking of weird pictures, we're uh. <laughs> We got we found this crazy face swapping uh uh little program. And it's the first time we're running it and it, it's I don't know. I've been entertained. You have uh you have any faces you like to, sw to see swapped? Art is never silly really as there was thought and effort put into it. It's mainly self-expression. Well, I guess is can uh can you express being silly? So hmm. well, that's more of the philosopher. She's way better at words. Uh oh, no face swapping. Oh, all good. Um, I think I'm gonna jump through some of our pictures. Oh, wife is back. Uh, oh no, you ate all the balls. I'll fry some up real quick. We still got. I so look forward to eat 
putting some fucking balls in my mouth. Oh no, wife, I took away your I balls. I was like, I was so hungry, and I was like, I will, I've I'll... been wanting to eat those balls. Oh, they're ready, they're ready, they're there I'll, for me. I will pay penance by making you some hot ones. How about that? Uh, Can you also make a mochi flavor? Like make a whole new batter and just do a different... Can you make a uh, tiramisu instead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, I want to do something first. Something ridiculous. Okay. Um. There was. I was remembering while I was peeing that there was something about... Oh... The use of words that made me think perhaps not a computer, uh, but gonna, I don't know how people, oh, you're going to try to uh, make. I'm going to leave you with hopefully a gift of trying to blend Mikey Shanks with a Dave Chappelle as an Asari. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave Jackson. Can, um, can we move something so... Yeah. I... Okay. Boop. No face detected. Oh, what it can't do like triples, maybe? Oh, that's that's disappointing. Well, I'll see you when you come back with that pack of cigarettes. <laughs> <clears throat> can I have can that thing so I can look at the messages? Yeah. One moment, please. Uh, but I'll be right back. I'm just going to start the oil. Did you ask for something else? Nope. Oh. Just for life-saving balls. Just life-saving balls. You got it, baby. Be right back. Oh, all the chats go down. Okay. Interesting BRB slideshow. Yeah. I like to make pictures with things that invade my mind or that I've accepted into my mind or that I've walked towards and then put in my mind. Um, people's thumbnails feel so boring. I feel like they don't say anything. They, they're just... And nobody's really saying anything with any of their words. So making pictures... I get to express. I would. Do you get? Do you get the joke, Pink Floyd? I bet you do. Uh, art is never silly, really, as there was thought and effort put into it. Oh, that might have been for husband, but I saw the expression of silliness. But the art that describes how I feel about the things that I put on the slideshow. <laughs> it's silly, but also. There's a lot of it is sadness. A lot of it is pfft, an expression of something like lyrics can be an expression of something. I fucking hate Elon Musk. I want to I I want for some reason I want to put Danny Shanks on everything. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Uh <coughs> Why does it be wife? Why does the Mikey shank? Why does the Mikey shank? I can measure why the Mikey shanks. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were you told? Yeah, sorry, yes one can. What? What was that in reference to? I don't. I wasn't there for that. Are you uh, heating up I, the oil? I, yeah, I had a partial thought. I lost it. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, if it matters, it'll come back up. Yeah. <clears throat> and yes, I started the oil. Ex I would go so far to say that that's not an opinion, but that is an understanding of the universe. Uh, the expression is silly for a lot, uh, like the things that we do or other things, because that's probably what you guys were talking about, because it started with yeah. uh, 
Talk about the silly art. Ugh. You gotta make them look silly because they take themselves so seriously. Anyway, um, what Mo should most I... Most of the things have something very obtuse. So obtuse it's a contradiction. So might as well use something obtuse to point out the obtuse. Mm. It's already obtuse. I'm trying to think of how to express something because the point is is that there we the point of us being online right okay is that there's a science that can be measured and translated into math of human and being human and what's best for human and how human was created and what trajectories are what and knowing all the ins and outs of the self. So if there's a, if my words aren't making the impact they need to express a truth easily and digestibly, it would be best to learn how. Everything's a cult. Sounds like a cult, but, you know, you got to open yourself up to people to understand other people, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> the deterministic approach? What is the deterministic? Yeah, well, okay, so... What makes you think I'm talking about living outside of the environment? Because what I propose is knowing your environment the very best you can. And you can't deny the environment to measure the environment. Yeah. Part of knowing what is and what isn't is knowing your environment. Yeah. Are you interested in a brochure where we show you three easy steps and also five easy steps or something or a circle or <laughs> <laughs> whatever the fuck it is? <clears throat> you said that you can potentially, not potentially, I think we've done it and we're refining it now. It's, yeah. it's not a potential, it's an actual and it's being, it's in the, it's in the research prog uh, pro, uh, it's in the phase. Re phase progress process process is what I meant. Since it's in the the research phase, and the research is getting more and more honed to where we can speak it well, and we're trying to uh, we Im implement a system that works every single time. You know how like there's people who like it worked one time, but it doesn't work all these other times, like the boring test. Or the touring test, whatever. Uh, Sorry, what were model. you the the bohr model? Uh, what I think what we have where we're at is we have found the formula, and so far it hasn't failed. We're collecting the data and yeah. tweaking. Think of it as like Pythagoras, you know, them discovering that a, a triangle is possible. It's in the same. It's in the same vein, and that triangle then lets us use what we know of nature to do something that we want because we understand gravity and air and st all this stuff. We can now make airplanes and, and cars. We use triangle and now we can measure every part of a circle. Yeah. I don't know how that works, but I know you've said it before because of lots of triangles or something or like taking a triangle and putting it in a circle and then measuring those other things. You make the, Uh -huh. of the circle and rotate it so then you can calculate all the angles so you can calculate pi oh circle to a, a, a spiral yeah um outside influences you gotta measure them right that's yeah. part of the measurement uh you could potentially rationalize a, in mathematic terms one would argue that humans are 
indissociable from their environment. Well, we can measure that. <clears throat> we can tell how we are the same as nature because we come from nature and we can see what makes us different from nature. <clears throat> and what makes us different from nature is very distinguishable. You know, they're... Bears don't dream of electric sheep. <laughs> uh, number of variables take into account that it would be near impossible to devise a deterministic system then. I think they would say the same thing for like, well, maybe there are planets or are, are humans on other planets. It's like, we don't know that, so let's just measure what we know. And when all of those, me I mean, it, it, it was a monumental task. It, it took my whole life. I, I... I sacrificed. I didn't know what else to do. I, my whole life I've been doing, I gave my life to this and it came up with something that isn't astronomical because it is human. Perhaps it could be learned because we've learned plenty of stuff. I think it's crazy. Ow. I think it's crazy that we know how, that we make TVs, that we fly. I don't know how that shit works, but I do know how this works. So, it's kind of like that, but in a different direction. To devise a full system. Uh, the system was, I think, from what I understand, I mean, uh, designed for us. <clears throat> in the way that our bodies were designed for us, we didn't make these. In the way that crabs were made, in the way the sun was made, it was all in a trajectory, and now we are here with humans. So if protons and electrons and neutrons could happen, then we could figure out a way to live the best. You know, that we can't put like, what is that stuff that's like combustible? We can't sit in a, in a, in a fish tank and not drown, or we can't sit in the ocean and not drown. So we would have to devise something to make that attainable the best and closest way. So if we could do that, why wouldn't we be able to, to do that same thing that we could, that same pattern that we do everywhere else? Why wouldn't we be able to do it here? Uh, the butterfly effect. I uh, remember bits and pieces that if you go back in time, but we can't go back in time. I'm, I would imagine that we can't go back in time because time is too powerful we are not more powerful than time. We'll never be able to go back in time. <clears throat> time has properties that we don't understand and we make a lot of stories about it. But one thing is for sure that right now we can't go back in the past. And I know there's a lot of things that show that people could go back in the past. But I don't believe it. I think that pixels deceive us. Our eyes deceive us all the time, you know. Uh, sensitive dependence on initial conditions in which a small change in one state of a deterministic nonlinear system can result in large differences in a later state. Okay. So that's what happened, right? We, there was initial conditions and there are conditions that got us to where we are now. Since those conditions were very specific, there are means by which we can measure all of those changes and there are minute details that are not important and that's not really known now because everybody thinks that we should have wikipedias for everything it's like who cares who the lead singer of the fucking rugrats are who cares who played michelangelo and this and that who cares about all this fictional shit you know we have so much room for that stuff we have so much room for names and holidays and we got to remember to get up at eight o'clock every day for fucking work. And we got to remember that April 27th is when our fucking HOAs are due or some bullshit. Instead of that, using our brains to store things as opposed to measure things, use it as a tool instead of like a trapper keeper. Those nonlinear things that happened... There were a lot of larger, there was a lot more variables, but only one thing happened. So we can measure the past and by that, be more aware of where we are in the present 
and be able to be able to better not predict the future, but better control the future. I even even uh in like a state with husband the actions that we do in the past with each other affect our present and will affect our future. <clears throat> there has been a great difference in both of us since when we first met, you know? There are things that are learned, there are things that are measured, there are things that are valued, and all of that comes together to create a picture of the best way to go about everything. Um... Starting with a small amount of initial conditions, one would end up having a very complex system after X amount of time. Um, yeah, but things that happen, that's only one thing. So that thing can be measured, and it definitely shows how much humans have control over what they do, because when you're yourself and you make a decision, that's a decision that you make that's not a variable you know what i mean and the more i make the same decisions or i make decisions with the same state of mind just like everybody else i guess <clears throat> it instills a, a pattern and makes it less likely that pattern is going to change so separating human from nature and the universe is that there are things that we control there are things that we can measure so there are things that even in nature at some for we can't even fucking uh know when it's gonna rain or know the fucking weather or whatever so it's still way off but nobody's gonna understand the outside world well enough if they don't understand the in and in is the opposite of the out so with all those variables you can make it you can hone yourself to not be so varied, you know? Uh, it starts with the self. The self has to know how it wants to do things. Accepting that you can't control the outside is part of this bigger system. It's being able to determine where you are and where everything else is knowing that you can't just close your eyes and fly you can't just uh, uh whatever people imagine to do you can't pee in a litter box and call yourself a cat and be a cat <clears throat> you can't hide from anything <laughs> There are, there are ways when you hone the self to measure what has already happened. As opposed to, you know, being worried about the future, it starts with taking control of what can be taken control of. Because all that outside shit, I mean, like, what's that guy's fucking name? The whole universe is, is controlling the ghost of fucking george floyd with the the mythology that they created around him um wayne the rock johnson he looks like a penis he influences people and you can even see he's kind of like losing control of himself but that's that's a different story um there are effects that we can make on the outside in the human environment, and there are physical things that we can do in the, the natural environment, but I think even people, they're doing shit so wrong, they don't, they can't control it, they have to learn what it is, measure what it is, and work with it to survive the best. That needs to be like a lesson in every corporate fucking place ever. Uh, so, I mean, we're kind of like on the same page, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't think about, I, I, no, this is a better way to say it. I've spent a lot of my time and I've paid a lot of prices to understand 
the separation between human nature and the universe. Uh, and by doing so, I am pretty sure I've measured it myself, measuring it with my husband, trying to measure it with people, but everybody just wants to hold on to the things that they want to hold on to. It's been hard to talk to people, but I could just shout into the ether here, you know, on Twick, whatever. Uh, the rest is just navigation and troubled waters. How is that? That seems like a pretty, I mean, every, everything is right now troubled waters, but let's separate nature from people. This is only an analogy for trouble. Uh, because you know, the water, the seas are dangerous. People don't have to be dangerous. I don't have to be dangerous to my children. Uh, my husband doesn't have to be dangerous to me. I don't have to be dangerous to my husband. There are ways of honing the self that makes trouble less and there's also a method by which l trouble can be lessened to the point of goneness because people are not water people are sentient people are people hurt and they don't care if the hurt continues it's something that they lack it's something that people have written about it's something that people try to understand it's all the sadness all the they just keep going and i like that uh you mentioned the song that you did back back in the day let me see if it's still up. stop being silly uh can it be also simple and maybe it because there's a an understanding that things weren't as simple <clears throat> but also there are he, i'm sure he's seen people have more simple childhoods um i surely did not have i had one gun in my childhood and it's because there was like a shootout somewhere down my block <clears throat> But it's so, and all of that stuff has come from uh, a very ignorant place. You know, if we were to measure all the things that have happened, dudes and chicks came from nature and had to figure out how to be human. And if things evolve, if things change, if things can get better or worse, then why not the sentient thing that does have the, 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 the option to do better or worse. Why not do better? <clears throat> Is hypoth uh, hypothetically or unliterally facetious? Uh, whatever. It is something that could be compared to troubled waters. Um, but I can't control the ocean. But I can't control myself. And if I can control myself, everybody can control themselves. What's the point of controlling yourself? There are reasons that an individual would want to control themselves because they don't want to go to war. They just want to relax or they want to have children. They want to be prosperous. They want to enjoy time. So there's a direction to go to. And we did, we did all those experiments already. Like, yeah, there could be plenty of options. Plenty of things could happen. But eventually things start. Whenever you knit a blanket, every move you make to create that chain link is not its own individual blanket. So the things in the past create a particular thing it isn't we're not referring to like all these theories that all, all these things could have happened because 
we know what happened now and it's an important thing to know because the results of knowing have always been good to me and to everyone when they've arose. Um... There has to be a will to control oneself. Some of us fellow humans just lack that will. <laughs> fellow humans. <clears throat> I think the way I live my life, I try not to use the word just because I find that when I use the word just, there's information that I'm not... That there's information there that I don't have that I may be avoiding to to fill a space with information. So if it if they're just lacking that will, what is causing that difference in the human that I am to the human that they are? Could it be I, I would say that everybody has the same potential cuz we're all humans. So if I have the will and they don't if I didn't, if I can measure a point where I didn't have will and know what caused that and what I had to do to get will, then I can see that that could happen for them too. And it's the best thing to happen to them. And I also see them looking for reasons to fucking live, you know, like it's all encompassing. Um, some just want to play the fool kind. Another just, I don't think it's just, I think there's a pattern to people. It depends on how we're raised, but when we're an adult, we can all have the same understanding of things. To a kid that was pampered, that didn't know what life could be, they, if playing the fool works for them, if they there's a lack of needing to have truth in their opinion however they always look going to religion doing all these oh but did you know about aliens fight going into stories in books or movies and involving themselves with fake stuff they still have that thing about them they're still there may be very much variance in like opinions and the way we like to do things, but they were all based on certain factors. And we all start out as a certain thing, as a baby who doesn't cry for food, but it know it, it, it knows it hurts. And then the parents have to decide what's going on, you know, or we, they have to figure out what's going on. In that adventure between child and parent, they have dependencies on each other. They have uh, anger towards each other. There's a lot of different variables, but when a pattern of those different variables emerge, it's kind of like the, 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 the chemical table or whatever. Sure, there could be, you know, uh, uh, one proton and one electron to make hydrogen, but there's fucking silver and iron and neon and all these things that do different things to each other. It's a very complicated thing. Conductivity, fucking electricity. Like, now you're going into a different place. That, <clears throat> but not really, because everything is fucking electric. Or magnets and then energy something. And then the, the two things that have energy arcing each other or something. Uh, the thing is, is that people, people are looking for hurt or looking for solutions to their hurt. And that's where the stupid comes in. When there is an answer to your hurt, but you decide that you're going to go the baby route, now you're a problem with everybody else. So it's not so much imposing will. You can't, of course you can't impose your will. Well, you can impose your will. If somebody has a lack of will, there are people who can, they join cults, they, they vote, they go to church. That's imposing one's will on someone and things are changing it's always different the way that people impose will the way that it's able to it's all 
based on an environment and what has happened in the past. Um, people, I think, are not so much joining cults as they are are joining joining cults where there is a leader that they listen to. They're joining cults where the leader is just the center of a community. And they get to have power over that thing, that person that once had power over them. Instead of the the Pootie Pie being the king, Pootie Pie is the king because people lift him up and his power is their power. You know, the, the real king, his power is his power. And people are getting more anonymous, more uh, political because it's the stupidest place to go. And you're just going to, when you're stupid, you're going to follow stupid. They're doing things that don't matter. And they're causing more destruction, the same destruction. Oh, why, why did we even stop doing war? You know, why, why not destroy fucking everything? Because it's stupid. Because it doesn't follow the same science that they use to build their fucking ballistics and their fucking airplanes and their, and their fucking radios. Uh. System of values is at the base. It's, it's not. Because I did the work to find the best one. My values is universal value. It's the value that the universe gives and I follow to understand it. Just like I follow what a triangle is. Uh, their stupidity forces them. Uh, choice came from a place of lack of will. But it doesn't change that it was a conscious choice. I think people are more conscious or more unconscious than conscious. They are, they hurt. They don't know why they hurt, but they're filling that hurt up. And it's, it's a very unconscious thing. If you watch people on the internet that fucking re all the time, if you, if you watch people get angry, there's a lack of will. There's a, or there's a lack of consciousness. I mean. And when there's a lack of consciousness, you're going to have less will. You're going to give up. Um, rationalize things and choose to go with science. The same choice one makes to rationalize things. Well, when you don't rationalize things, you do stupid and destructive things. If we don't rationalize things, the government is going to rationalize for us. There's always a spot for rationalization that someone tries to conquer. So it's there. Why isn't it yours? It's yours. Why isn't it yours? The thingy moved. Oh, sorry, baby. Oh, a tiny one. That's going to be crunchy. Just like Rocky, you gotta get strong because somebody's gonna fucking punch you in the face, you know? Why should the people who want to say dumb things get to live in their dumb world while the not dumb suffers? That's not progress, is it? How, how is that leading positively towards the future? Well, how, how are you gonna have flying cars? How are you gonna want? Oh, it's okay because we all have iPhones now. That's not peak fucking science. I gotta find it. Find the the cure for the things that kill us. Yeah, that, why are you hurt. even looking for medicine? All it is is just a money thing now. It, like nobody's doing anything good. <clears throat> there's, there, there. But it's their choice, right, to not do anything good, even though they tell you it's their choice to fucking lie to you. I say that makes you my fucking enemy, and that's all there is to it, because I value life. You say you value life. You take my life. Shh, can't fool me again. <laughs> I say that there has to be 
a louder voice because that stupid is something that's manipulated. Ellen DeGeneres likes stupid so she could just dance around like the fucking troll looking bitch that she is on in New York City every day, you know, and 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 get paid for it. But people are suffering and they don't know what they want, thus they are not conscious. They want to feel better, but they avoid feeling better. They're stuck. They are stuck in a cult. This this way of thinking of staying in your lane and being stupid is a fucking cult. And people would be better off out of it. So, what do you do? I don't know. I'm trying it right now. Why do you want stupid people? They're going to crash you. They're going to crash their cars into you. They're going to suicide bomb you. I can't stop it. Why not stop it? They, they don't and are not capable of having your best interests in mind. So if, if you don't have your best interests in mind, they have a capability of fucking killing you yeah. at whim. Should I value someone's life over mine? Fuck no. No to the fuck no. That's just like, that's living to die. That's just being energy for a bigger thing that's stupid. One, two, three. The science of one, two, three. Get out of that shit. You don't want your daughter to be in that, right? Being stupid never stopped anyone from enjoying the fruits of the more productive members of our society. Well, that makes me think of that movie, um, 301, 300. Uh, why did I give it an extra fucking number? 300. When that guy was like, oh, you won't let me be the part of the Leonidas's army because I look, st or you won't let me do what I want to do. You're not, I'm not staying. I want to, I want to be the pretty warrior but I'm slow and I can't do things, but I'm not going to help Leonidas where I wanted to be. I just wanted the power. So I'm going to go to Xerxes and be his fucking monkey toy. He gets to have sex, but you know, then he's got to betray the people that raised him or that accepted him as far as they did while he's treated poorly there. People get fixated and they're raised wrong and the best thing to do is to raise right. I don't know. I lost. Um. Oh, the beans never stopped it. So, oh, so I would say that that stopped him from enjoying the fruits of his labor. Because he didn't he sacrifice at the end, or like he he lost his life anyway. Yeah. He did it for Leonidas, though, didn't he? Or did Leonidas kill him? That stopped him from enjoying the fruits of his fucking labor. Um. Remember, um. Uh, flat earthers use the internet and mobile phones. Their data is transmitted through ground stations to satellites in orbit. It's just a question of will to do the proper research. With some lack basic knowledge. Okay, wait. Flat Earthers use the internet and mobile phones. Yeah. Um. It's just a question of will to do the proper research to understand things. I think it's um, it's the stupidity because they're looking for something. It's not just doing the research. There's, you gotta. It, it is. There's a reason to, understand. to do. Mm -hmm. There's it. it it takes work. Uh huh. I'm looking at an article on the internet won't provide you the understanding. And they're scared and they don't want to do it because they're just babies and they're all alone in the world. And it's like, why? So, yeah. So, they feel like they're in a group with these people who believe in the same thing, which they don't even know why. It just feels good. And I know because I was there. I thought yeah. of stupid things that I... It feels good. And everybody's against somebody who has hurt you. The government's lying about this. Whatever. Mm -hmm. So now you have comrades in arms. Or someone who hurt you. Mm -hmm. And it's harder to get out of those situations. It's like an abusive... Rela it's like a cult. <laughs> People are being made stupid because every every child has the potential to learn every child wants to learn 
Because mm -hmm. research, proper research, what people think is reading shit. But if you measure the self and nature and the universe, you find out that there's more stuff out there than anybody fucking knows. And this is where the, the science of being human comes in. Why? What? I don't know why my body chirps. I only know I can measure it. That's what you gotta learn. Putting all every single piece together. But convincing isn't enough. It has to be tried. It has to be tested by the individual. If this, if 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 you you exist right now, if you want any hurt. That you feel to stop. What's the third step? Self-reliance. You got to rely on yourself. Which means any research that you do. Has to be. Measured by. Yourself. And not by other people. You know what I mean by that. You can listen to other people. And collect that data. But you don't take them. For their word. You don't. I, I'm on you this side. You guy's don't absorb side. their conclusion. You come to your own conclusion. Yeah. From other people's research. Yeah. Oh, what's the fourth one? Is knowing what your wants and needs are. Oh, that's a step into the future. But. If anybody has hurt and they're like, well, that's just life, then you're living wrong. And I don't give a shit whose opinion says what. Because you're worth it, right, Maybelline? This is the thing to do because you're worth it. And if you're going to measure fucking triangles, if you're going to do calculus so that you can get on fucking planes, then the next necessary step, if you want to go into faster planes, if you want to go into better planes, if you want to take cars that instantly travel you to anywhere, if you want even cell phones to stop giving you fucking cancer, if you want fucking vegetables to stop giving you, if you want people to stop telling you to eat bugs, if you want a better relationship with anyone... If you want to understand things like you want to understand other things, if you want to understand everything, this, this is it. This is, this is the final destination before the next destination. This is step three. How? Um, well, I, wait, through experimentation with repeatable results, that's the scientific method. What what is what do you think the scientific method is? I'm curious because that seems like what else would the scientific method be? Living science doing that uh doing toughing that ether. Am I right, fraud? I mean Freud. Hoop a Freudian slip. Um, requires peer reviews. No, it doesn't. That's not how science worked a thousand years. That's not what Pythagoras did. It's not wisdom. That's not get, self reliance. Get, getting getting approval from others. No, that's the stupidest thing you can do. Is not. That's what one can do. Sorry. <clears throat> seeking others for truth is not wise. Is that what they call the scientific fucking method now? You, you, gotta be peer, you have to be peer-reviewed? No, because those people are fucking corrupt. Listen, they try to poison us. Have you, re have you read any fucking papers recently? How fucking ignorant every single political science? How any And it gets approved for what? Listen, they promote Elon Musk, and that's all I need to know, because that dude is a fucking retard. He's a corrupt fucking retard. Um... Let's see. Um. Observation, research, hypothesis, test, analyze, report. 
Well, you report yeah. to yourself, right? That's not reporting to anybody else because you uh, then you take what you have learned, you report back to yourself just like the brain does. Then you observe and question with the new information to make sure that it's right. And if it keeps being right, then you can add more. Tom add more. Trevor Tom add more. What do you, wait. Well, empir empirical doesn't mean going to a person and getting their approval. Yeah, empiricals, you find the data and you match it to a pattern. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it does say since at least the 17th century, but I mean, people have done this for thousands of years. It's all of this. You report your conclusions to whoever. We do it to each other. You don't need a, a people who think they're fucking God, corruptible people. Uh, so when they contradict, they contradict what you see. If, they, if someone contradicts what you observe and you keep observing and you keep observing it, there's something wrong with the teacher. Do we not know that teachers are fucking gross and corrupt? I mean, come on. Those things that we read about the Ronies where it told no information. It was just a lot of blather to fill up an entire page with six people that were fucking involved. And like, all of it doesn't make sense. You're not... What the scientific method should do is... Reveal, like... Oh, the best example when you were telling me about how people figured out electricity uh -huh. because they can they have to measure the rate of change and you don't need to approve. You don't need to get approval by anyone to say, I measured this. They can go off and do that shit themselves because it exists outside, the outside. You're just changing factors and measuring what changes as a result of those things. Right? Yeah. They, they took, like, different crystals or fucking whatever and s saw how much voltage or... So can you help me remember the, the specific words? Uh, we, uh, like Learning about point. electricity and how to harness it to make, like, light bulbs and, and powerhouses. Oh, yeah. Measuring resistances and, and uh, looking at materials when you apply electricity, seeing how the electricity reacts when it goes through them. Uh, witnessing, uh, you know, changes in heat, making tables. Uh, well, we'll see you around the platform. Okay, hopefully you come back. It, it's been a pleasure. Yes, that's the kill all. It was at least ex experience. You know, like uh, yeah. trying to work out words on the outside to other people and whatnot. Look at that cute little me boy. <laughs> <clears throat> that's the thing about that's that's a hurdle. You know, it's hard to rely on yourself. But when you start measuring the contradictions between professionals and uh, you're you gotta like I gotta I gotta figure this out myself. If they could do it, I could do it. So that self reliance is like that's, that's that self reliance is a thing that keeps you alive. Yeah, because someone could lie to you and kill you. So. Mm hmm. And they have no reason not to. If there's if they could benefit from it and they the risk and reward is fair, I have no doubt. I don't know. We all use the scientific method, we'll all get the same result. So what's there to be afraid of? Try this. Yeah. Try this. Do the scientific method. Yeah. How about you prove to me that you know too? You know, show me where I'm wrong to my face. <laughs> <laughs> but uh I can also a lot of people like an Evangelion, it's impossible, you know? And that gets in the way all the time. Look what it did to the people in Evangelion. They all fucking died. <laughs> uh, 
<sighs> At least it wasn't mean. Or he wasn't mean. I'm pretty sure it's a person. I'm very confused by their mannerisms, but I'm interested in knowing more, and I don't want to judge what I don't understand. I don't have enough data. Please hold. I don't have enough data. <laughs> it was nice that somebody wanted to interact and yeah. blah, blah, blah. Maybe, maybe a robot could... Well, I'm like, what what person could write a program that complicated? Who knows? Maybe it's a person who writes programs. Oh, it is the AI. Oh, we didn't get to play with the AI. Maybe next time, Master Killer. I asked if they have any faces they want to swap. To fuck around with it. Uh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I wonder, like, if you his bot or something, if we were like, what was the question you asked? Like, how do you feel? Yeah, how, how do you... What do you feel and why? Hmm... your sensory inputs it probably still wouldn't be like real though I have to get to it eventually I wonder yeah, I, I, I mean I've already defeated one without that fucking all that shit removed why would a person even care about doing that it's not like they even said anything that was Maybe because he, like, thought of crazy things, like Methuselah coming down from hell or some shit. And he didn't want Methuselah to find out that he was trying to spread the truth. Things only work the best when you use them the best way. Yeah, I would agree. And using the best thing. Not using the best thing could kill you. Like, I was worried about when you were working on that fucking, the water heater or whatever. All the signs point to proper use of something that doesn't have a physical shape, but is still something powerful that already controls you. Because you hurt. Gotta want the hurt to stop. If you just accept the, the hurt, then you're... And that's... If it's... If it comes down to just accepting hurt, how is it not a cult? How is it just good opinions or just doing whatever you want or... Doing what's best if, and not a cult. Sacrifice for nothing. Or sacrifice for me, depending on who's doing the hurting. Did you sacrifice for someone who doesn't love you? That's that dumb. Mm hmm. Buck that shit. As abuse the fucking bullshit world wars. Back in the day, at some point at least, you had to defend. Because people were always fighting. You had to defend your territory. So, you had to fight. Do we have to fight World War II? Or did we not? Isn't there enough proof positive that we joined for the, lo for the lulls? For the money, for... Money is, uh, or wars are profitable. They took over fucking Germany, and they they put money here and there. They have fucking stations, and there's, they have, like, CIA resources. They, 
It has helped the Empire. Mm-hmm. And we didn't even have to fuck with them. But they had to make it about my Jews. But it was about the Jews the whole time. Them's the pits. Did you want to play another Mass Effect? Sure. It was good, Charlie, because every time it just fits, 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 fits. And then we just got to a place where it's now, look at this. It's another, this, this is the scientific method according to Wikipedia, that report conclusions. I think what Killer thought, or should I say Psycho slash Joel maybe, um, I'm hoping. I mean, that would be nice, you know? Um... I don't know if he's got the gusto, but maybe. Report conclusions. Okay. It requires peer reviews. So. An empirical method was a, like one of many methods. Well, whatever they're doing with the other ones, they don't work. <laughs> this one, this one's good. And this is what I'm talking about. Not only are you reporting conclusions, but you're applying those conclusions. So if I conclude, I shouldn't yell at you all the time because it's doing these bad things. Now I have to apply not yelling at you or something, you know? It's elementary, my dear killer. But it'd be interesting. Well, I'm reporting here to you. Do these things. Try it out. Yeah, experiment. Maybe that could be the... Hey, do you want the hurt to stop? Is there any hurt that you want to stop? Any in the world? Let's try to just apply it to the, the, whole, the system as a whole. So this is a, a system that contradicts well this aspect of it contradicts ours the self-reliance as it says report conclusions and that doesn't have to be necessarily to other people because you're putting it in a bigger machine that's all that's happening instead of it being a totally different system or being a totally different cog in the system instead of reporting back to yourself you're reporting back to them and it's very like 1950s bullshit Pre or post World War Two shit. I wonder if it changed. Why? Uh, I wonder if reports got replaced. With, or sorry, uh, reports replaced record. Hmm. Why wouldn't it be apply findings? She looks like a little Hitler because it's there's like a shadow on her. Oh, let's see. So you said yes to Mass Effect, baby? Yeah. In Cuba. From New Jersey, went to Cuba. Uh, yellow fever experiments? Holy shit. Well, that's the scientific method for you. Now go report those findings to fucking Mangala. Mass. Moss. Germany hospital school uh what is is there something about like did she who is this like, why, why are we I, I, I'm, this I'm trying I'm not it's on this thing about the scientific method so I'm seeing if she's somehow some recognized character for it oh my god uh oh my goodness you know what she looks like in that episode of uh Stargate Atlantis, when they were like, we have a vaccine for the fucking uh, witches. Wraith? Yeah, the Wraith. So let's all take it. And then everybody got sick. But that one guy had his heart sucked to see if it would work, and they used his blood. Um, 
her long experience in nursing victims of yellow fever drew mass into the work of the Yellow Fever Commission headed by Major Walter Reed. Well, there you go. You put the scientific method in the hands of a fucking uh, person who pulls and holds rank or whatever. You know, they're in that whose bad job, system. Whose job is war. Whose job is war. Um, this isn't being displayed, by the way. Oh, shit. What am I doing wrong? Uh, I don't think the internet's on, baby. No, so. Okay. Uh. While in Los Animas Hospital in Habana, Mass volunteered to take part in an experiment conducted by Major William Gorgas. And oh. John Guterres on yellow fever immunization. Oh, great. More fucking immunization shit. The theory of his experiment was that given prompt hospital care under controlled situations. So that doesn't tell me anything. Prompt care how? A mild case of yellow fever would ensue and the victim would recover immune thereafter oh they're saying that if they could uh give her like cool water and fucking uh, a clean environment or whatever uh she could a mild case could like the like uh the pox uh chicken, chicken pox you get it once and you know you don't have to you become immune to it interesting such had been Reed's experience during his classic demonstration that, ye uh, so Reed is the Yellow Fever Commission. That Yellow Fever is spread exclusively by the mosquito. Uh, Mass allowed herself to be bitten by an infected mosquito, later renamed, okay, who cares? Contrary to expectations, Mass came down with a severe fever and died 10 days later. So they just expected that she would... If we gave her pro prompt care, we do this, this is our theory, that she'll all get a little sick. Who are you reporting your findings to, her fucking kids? In 1952, uh, meanwhile changed its name to Lutheran something. Was what, So much fucking name, who cares? Oh, and then it was renamed after her. So what? Sci under science okay so i guess that was a thing but so this is a circle right this fucking picture yeah where did the reporting question or conclusions go into observation slash question what happened after that you know yeah is Was something learned, because this is not just the yellow fever thing. Now you learn that there, you can be fucking really wrong. Is it worth it? Search it. Oh, there is, the scientific method should have, if you put life, love, and truth first, the scientific method should have, coulda, woulda, led to understanding things better without destroying things everything is about fucking destroying things now you know yeah there's so there's never been a time except for like fucking you know the socrates time and whatever random times that end us now the problem mostly for uh for for mental things the the problem exists outside the self yeah that there are circumstances that make because you gotta want to hurt the, the hurt to stop and the hurt when it gets too much or it gets different like this it becomes it has a different shape sometimes it's dementia sometimes it's fucking uh uh buh -buh. I'm sorry, I keep thinking of mental retardation but there's not that could have been fucking anything uh, uh help me autism depression bipolar Dementia, yeah, mental illness stuff. And sometimes a lot of, like, physical, it feels like a physical thing. 
but it's not like hypochondriac type shit. So easily avoided all of those things, 50% of all the problems, and then we, we fix that, maybe we stop giving everybody cancer. My wife, she's coming down with, with kisses fever. Mm, mm, mm. If you oh. were Chinese, it would be yellow fever. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Got me some wifey fever in return. If it was African, it'd be Ebola. <laughs> uh. Okay, so... That didn't help me at all. What's this? Flowchart. So this is only like in report findings to the computer. Oh, accepted hypothesis. Uh, results from independent exper experiments. What from other people's independent experiments? Because I think you can't rely on that at this at at this time of year, at this time of day, in this localized in inside the brain. Or whatever, <laughs> you, you can't trust people, and that trust so, can be measured. Now I have to do the work to make sure you did the work. Yeah, that doesn't. At least it's simpler, cause you watch out for anger, watch out for things that are just not accepted, watch out for the contradictions. And then, but then that's, oh, your opinion is whatever you want it to be and whatever you want to think things are. So it fucks up the science. They fuck up the scientific method. That's why we had to do it ourselves. Conduct based on accepted hypothesis. That's fucked science up. Plato didn't need to do that. I wonder why it like, it's still like Plato was less of a historian. It's like, well, that wasn't addressed, you know? And more of a philosopher. Like, he he was more of a scientist. People scientist. Mm-hmm. Uh, draw conclusions, yes or no. It's not that simple. I think that's... Pot calling itself smarter than it is. Because... Do you see anything where... Uh, you know, what are your biases? How do you know what your biases are? How do you measure your biases? Oh, I got to do whole new fucking scientific method test for that, you know? People think they're measuring one thing and they got no clue what the fuck they're measuring. If they're even measuring at all. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wish we had, like, banana milk or something. Oh, Okay. I got crumbs all over. Why did you tell me I look like fucking a dandruff victim? Is that why you were rubbing my belly just to show me what a slob I am? No. What are you gonna? I was just. I was just. I was. I happened to be doing that when I was rubbing your belly. I like, I know some crumbs there, so I uh, come up for a pass and try to shake some of them out for you. Ugh. I see. Well. Way she goes. I need like two seconds to readjust my belly. Okay. Uh, Should I throw up the BRB? Uh, it's up to you. It would pro uh, well, not BRB, but maybe just the uh, the slideshow. Okay. Just the slideshow. Dang. Dang, Master Killer, let me convince you. Let me speak to you next time on a more personal level. We gotta get this shit sorted. If you want the best, I want the best for you because it would be the best for me. Oh, jeez. I'm getting kicked in the heart again. Oh. Tom kicked in the heart again. Cardigan, cardigan. Tanya kicked in the heart again. Cardigan. Heart. Hardigan? Tanya Harding? No, it's Tanya Harding. Damn. Sorry. It's not Tanya Hardigan? No, it's not. Damn. It is now. Gotta be. I could put a Tanya Hardigan in a cardigan. Uh. <laughs> with a fucking bat in her hand. I'll beat that bitch's. I'm gonna win. Beat that bitch. Seen those silly memes 
There are like celebrity names that have direction, and so they make names like it's people in their regular direction and then in their backwards, like like Kanye West, and then like Kanye East. Or, uh-huh. uh, Damn, that's what we like, do like with Reese Witherspoon, and then there's Reese without her spoon. Oh, fuck. Oh, we need Trevor Moore and Trevor Less. Oh, it could be like a grave. <gasps> Husband, can you make banana milk and maybe I'll start that real quick? I don't know. No, it's okay. Can we write that down? Trevor Moore and Trevor Less. Someone's going to take that shit now. Of all the thousands of people, a hundred people are going to make that. I'm... There was like two pens around here. That wasn't a pen that you just picked up? No. That was your favorite pen? You didn't want me to use it? No, this is, this is one of them shitty pens. Oh, that's not a big deal. Should I write it down here? Should I write yeah. it down here? I'll write it down here. Oh, Michael Douglas and Michael Doug Moore, we can make him fat. Oh, God. There's a Michael Moore, too, so you take out the Doug. Wait, right. Michael Moore, right? Be Michael, Michael Doug, Doug Less. Doug, Doug. Michael Doug Moore. Oh, yeah, I'm and you can make... Trying to do and so. then make Michael Moore and Michael Less, and it could be Michael Douglas. Oh, husband, how do I write all this down? Ugh. Uh, Michael Douglas to Michael Doug Moore. But just kind of error. Michael Douglas? Is his name? It's Michael Douglas. Okay. Lucy Lawless, Lucy Lawmore, we can make her a pirate. <laughs> like, one, she'll just be, like, innocent, because, oh, no. Lucy Lawless, she'll be a pirate. Lucy Law. Lucy Law. Wow. More is her a policeman. Uh, uh, or like, you know, well, the opposite of a pirate. You want you want to go four instead of uh full? Yeah, because we've been doing that the whole the whole time. Why would it be full? You fantasizing of getting a fistful of butt cheek from uh, her or something? No. I was trying to think of other words that we could use that might you know, oh. give us a little direction to put. Lucy Lawless, she could be like a cowboy or something. It's, or like a bandit, a bandito. And then Lucy Lawmore uh, can be like a sheriff. The sheriff uh, in Limp Biscuit, or uh, the sheriff in that movie that Limp Biscuit was the sheriff in. Uh. Stalker or something. Stalker. Oh, cause he's a, I am. Oh, we get judgment. I am the law. <laughs> more. <laughs> Stallone more. Stallone more. Fuck. Fucking Michael Dugmore. You can't touch me. I'm John Cena. Shing shing boing doing. <laughs> it looks like me. you've been touched, motherfucker. With your satanic nature, naked rituals. Oh, it could be so funny to be naked. Tell that to Dave Chappelle. They tried to put me in a dress. Oh, you mean in Robin Hood men tights where you wore a fucking dress? Oh, you for oh Mel Brooks is also a Jewish fucking director. Looks like they already got to you, bro. That's why you're fucking wearing a dress and you're killing me softly. Or dream on, dream until your dream come true. Magic Chappelle tour. <laughs> electric boogaboo. Oh, electric jigaboo. A jig oh electric jigaboo. Oh, husband. 
That's Lucy Law more than I needed. It's Luli, Lucy Law just amount. Just the right amount. Luli Luli Chicken. Did you save that? Uh. Not working. There, what? Uh, oh, sorry. This one I saved. This, it's not able to. Make a thing. Oh. Uh, what's that zero? Uh, sure. Uh, oh, the choking kid and <coughs> what was I gonna throw? Error. Oh. It probably can't do it a third time. Maybe you have to like put it back in. You know? Whoa! Yeah. It did it. <laughs> <laughs> That looks like a kid that's happy to be choked now. Yeah. I want to see what this edit button does. Boop. What do we got here? Text, arrows, rectangles, ellipses. Oh, very simple. Oh, like make a circle, cut it out, put text. Yeah. Oh, I can make a meme. Oh my god, husband. Can we do like a, what was it, Michael Doug Moore and make, put uh, Michael Moore and Michael Douglas on a, on each other's bodies or put Michael Douglas on uh, Michael Moore's body. Oh my god, he looks like a tranny. I'm gonna wear kissy face. No way, fuck you. This one? Yeah. <laughs> but that barely looks like Michael Moore. Man, I have opinions that matter. Uh, and we need Michael Douglas. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I ate the last one here. Sorry. It was Doug last, technically. Yeah. But that's, that's why he's so bad. There's a less, and then there's a less less, where you're not even, like, less, you know? Really Michael. Old one, this one over here. Oh my god, that's what he looks like now? You wanna get fucked? Oh, you fucked, kid. Oh my goodness. No, not the, the one people know him by. The Jazz Man, Michael. Michael the Jazz Man Douglas. Like that? Yeah. Oh, here we go with the politics. That's still pretty old, but I think it'll do. He's kind of looked that way for years. <laughs> Sarah McLaughlin, I will remember you. Just played in my head. It's funny because he's old. Uh, obviously, I'll remember him because now he's a part of our fucking language. What an idiot. Do we do that after we watched... That movie with Jimmy Moore and Michael Douglas? Do we make them part of the language after that movie? Yeah. How perfect! The reasoning behind it is, is even good. Okay, so who who do we want to be on who? It's Michael Douglas on Michael Moore. Michael Douglas on Michael Moore. Yeah, okay. so as Michael Moore's body. You want this empty plate? <laughs> Please, if I could. Uh, 
I wonder if you, you can add like more of these pictures. Ew, what the fuck? That's very strange. It's not pronounced enough. <laughs> I think it would... That just looks kind of like a different person. Are we live? Is that still playing? I believe so, their wife, y'all. Is that the... Are you capturing the program? Uh... I was not. I don't... I'm hoping to now. Hmm. We'll face swap. Hey, what the hell is that? It looks like it should be showing it, right? Yeah. Oh, because the internet's over. That's why. Uh. Beautiful. Should we switch these? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? I think it would be better to get more iconic pictures. Two. 69. What a weird coincidence. Or is it a coincidence? Because he does play that game, you know? Ew! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's weird. What's wrong with his forehead? Pants. <laughs> Damn, he's got like a weird. That's cool. I like made it for some reason. This guy has a backstory now. He's been in like a car accident <sighs> or got hit in the head with a propeller as a child. He's got, like, fucking a face implant, because, like, half the fucking... Half of his face is a different color. His pawpaw gave him, gave him his own butt skin. This doesn't have anything to do with it, but this is just for the sillies. Ew. I was just so weird. I was just thinking about... Like, isn't it terrible how they I, I, iconicize or whatever that gayness? There's no... soul behind those eyes. It's just... That's bullshit. I don't even know anything about him, but I know it's loud and it's stupid. Who, what are you, uh, oh, you should have done Michael Douglas and fucking, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what the problem is? His hair. They're trying, it's trying to compensate for the hair. So it's like making kind of a mutant thing. You should find another picture of Michael, or uh, Michael Moore. I think. Put these together. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. That's a bad miss. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, it keeps the things that are hard to take out. It, like, had to take out all that hair, I guess, it thought. But there, it has, like, that little wisp. It has the glasses still. Oh, God. What a beast. Disgusting. Kept the hair 
all of it, I guess. Oh, because it's on his body. It was on Michael Moore's body before. <sighs> oh, man. This program is crazy. Thousands of hours of fun. Can we do... Uh, I want to see a different one. Can we do the Jada Pickett and Will Smith? And we'll uh, put him on her body. Uh, Jada Pink. Pinky? Bald. Gotta get a bald one. That one? Yeah. Alec bald one. It, uh, it, it don't gotta be. Just one that shows the most head. What are you fucking? Who's that bit, uh, bitch from the black bitch from uh, Star Trek, the original series? My at Miss Miasma. The who from the original series? The black chick. Ahura. Ahura. Look at that fucking stupid thing in her face. She's got like the thing sticking up like this. She's <laughs> got a thing wrapped around the other one. You ain't going to space anytime soon, bitch. Let's use that one. Ha <laughs> ha. This one. Or maybe that mouth open one. Do you think that would be silly? Even sillier? Nice turtleneck, cuck. Listen, you... Will Smith, do you want the hurt to stop? Can I tell you about... Have you heard the word of life, love, and truth? No, you haven't because you have to translate it yourself, but you didn't, and I did. Want to hear it? And then you can translate it yourself, but you'll hear the same shit I do, just in your own language. Your own racially diverse language. Your neurodivergent language. <laughs> can I have a scratch? Fucking, his whole family is destroyed. Whoa! <laughs> a little lower. What did, uh, this way, what did it take from her? Thank you. What did it uh, keep from, oh, I guess, her teeth? Her ears. Ew, that shit in her ears, like it tried to keep it, but kind of not. Hmm. Can we flip them? Flip yeah. it and reverse it? <gasps> we should do Missy Elliott and Polly Shore. Missy Elliott and Polly Shore? Yeah. We'll come back. See what <laughs> happens. Ugh. I was trying to think of that one comedian that was like, ow, 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 ow! You remember that one? The ow, 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 ow? Yeah, the comedian, he was short, and he's like, ah, 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 ah. Oh, God, what the... Ah, that screaming dude? Yeah. A little, I think, a little younger. Not too, like, super old. And Missy P? Missy too lesbian to... Elliot. Lesbian Elliotson. <laughs> uh, I guess something not so uh, new, because she's probably old as fuck, too. Black don't crack. It does sometimes. Missy Elliot, do you want the hurt to stop? How do you fucking age down taking all them fucking drugs? It's got to be a fat one. What about her and I can't stand the rain? Oh, yeah. Look at that shit. Oh, and somehow you look even younger now. Uh, I hope this turns out good. Is her face too cocked? Whoa! <laughs> I think that was a keeper. Look at them rosy ass cheeks, stupid bitch. Willie Pinky Tupac Smithy. Shakur <laughs> Shakur Sh Shakur Shaquille O'Neal and um 
Oh, what's her fuck? Mama June, but the 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 younger the girl when she was a baby. <laughs> Will Smith and Mama June. Oh man. Mama, not so Mama June. Uh, who did we just get? Missy Elliott and Polly Shore. Is it which one should we do, Missy Elliott and Polly Shore, or Polly Shore and Missy Elliott? We'll do both. Yeah. You got, you got two directions to go. Oh, well. does somebody... Why wouldn't anybody want to fucking watch this? Make your own... You could capture this and make your own fucking, you know, thing. It's it's free real estate. It is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's weird how it blended the skin colors. Yeah. Wow. Still get your hairy arms. <laughs> they changed the the hair like a little bit it looks like kind of uh, gave it its own flair maybe not it, oh, it's Paula Shore's head I think or hair it's her lips I think yeah like her teeth but still still cocked uh no, no, sorry uncocked yeah they uncocked her face all right, let's flip it and reverse it, wife. Flip it and reverse it. Beautiful. Are we keeping that? There could be better. We could just keep all of them, and then we'd have a million gigabytes of this. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, you're going to have more sorting to do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's oh. irrelevant? What? Ah! Oh. <laughs> That's gonna go on Twitter. Holly Shore in blackface confirmed. Oh. What is the thing you thought about? We could like, you know how we are. We have a collection of like retarded, and, like disfigured people. Yeah. You could take like that melted guy. And combine him with celebrities. Oh shit! We you can could, do that with Big Brawn. Big Brawn and the Melty Guy, or whoever. Oh, did it. husband! <laughs> we have to try one, but it has to be like good, like Katie, Katy Perry, or Taylor Swift with Big Brawn. That's fucking nightmare fuel. Joe Biden with Taylor Swift confirmed CIA Illuminati. Wow. <laughs> That's so pretty. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do that shit. Oh. Thank goodness for computers. But AI is going to take over the world. It's going to take over the world. This is what we're doing. It's going to take over the world. Like, Whose fucking teeth are those? Those are scary. His teeth. It's I a think. little bit of hers and a little bit of his. Hers, I like, think hers are slanty forward, so his, those are slanty forward. But it's like his, the shape. They sh it, they share it a little bit, right? Oh, they gave her a dirty mustache too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's pretty good. Okay. Oh god. Oh, uh, so what are, what what are we doing next? This is ridiculous. Taylor Swift. And uh, Doctor Big Brawn, or that other weird face person. Oh, that you know that girl that looks like a, a reverse fucking Sweto or whatever from Animal Ranch, from Monster Ranch. The Suzo. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a, I have a picture of a chick that looks like a Suzo, but she doesn't have an eye. So I don't know what makes her look so. Uh... Oh, one maybe without bangs or with the least amount of bangs, so it can work better. You gotta get bangs so you can't fucking... That one? You will get AI'd or something. Yeah, I guess that would... Does that look like her? Looks a little weird. Yeah. All these motherfuckers got body doubles now. She stands around with her mouth open a lot. Ha <laughs> ha, wait for that dick. Yeah. Damn, her mouth is fucking 
breathe with your mouth closed once in a while. Just see how you, just to see how you like it. I'm not telling you how to live your life, but there is a best way to live life, and it's not with that fucking face. I don't know if she don't yeah, ever not have bangs. Huh. Well, that one, she had less bangs. I, maybe we're just gonna have to deal with it. See, that one where it's parted, I guess that kind of looks like her, but it kind of looks like a boy. Like a, a small, like, eight-year-old or six-year-old boy with makeup on. Just gotta do what we gotta do. Which one looks more like her? Let's just pick it. I'm tired of looking at that fucking nasty ass. Oh my god, she has such a fashion sense. Oh my god, her boobies are like mine. They're small, but they're perky. Oh my god, I just love her hair. I love how it falls on her face. It just looks like she gets up and just... just blows her nose in it and walks out the door. Oh! Uh, damn. Talk about O-Face. Oh, then we're doing Big Ron. Talk about Stinky Poopy. Yeah, Big Brawn or one of those other weird faces. I don't know. Hey, Craven boy. <laughs> How are you? What do I go for Big Brawn? Uh, probably just like the assets or whatever thing I... Is that on our D-Drive or where's... No, it's in pictures. Pictures. But maybe just go through them and cars, convos, the web, illustrate. Maybe even picks made or there's something freaking. Not PNGs. Okay. I don't want to go diving into. Oh, should there. we make it Jake from Tube Farm? Oh yeah, because we have a lot of stinky things. This oh, is oh that. <laughs> That's on the, uh, this thing shows up too. I can't tell. It's my window. I can't stand the rain. Oh, like, look at this photograph. We could just put a window in her hand. I don't think it's showing up, husband. Or this isn't live, though, apparently. What? It got like slowed down. Anyway. It's still updating though. Oh, but that's Big Brown with the stuff on his face. That's gonna fuck it all up. We try it. It's not like we can't go back in time and fix it. Oh my god. What is even the point of that? Abort! Abort! Let's <laughs> <coughs> let's flip it just to see and reverse it. It gave her like a more natural <laughs> mustache. It's like a little browner. Big brown's mustache is black. Oh, yeah. Uh... Swifty 5. They predicted it. It's magical. What the fuck is that? How did that turn into that? Oh, shit. That's an interesting turn That's of Bronny events. Smith right there. <laughs> Big Swift. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. That's a. Should we keep that one? That looks. Would they? Anybody know it was her though? But that is fucking weird. We might need it one day. All right. It, we, we can put it in our thumbnail thing or, or yeah or pictures. We don't have a different slideshow. Just like weird shit. Yeah. Uh, what did I? This is Taylor Braun, right? Uh, sure. How do you spell? Or, or what, uh, what maybe I think. Uh, 
Dr. Big Swift, I think, is a little more palatable. <laughs> Dr. Big Swift. Beautiful. Indeed. There was one that I said before. I don't remember. Can we do her and fucking one of those other creepy faces? Do we even know where those are? I don't. It it's can I see the options? This is peak irony, FBI memes, CG, convos, comments, copy of stuff done from slideshows, demo Dunno. from the web, gifts, video words, info pics, illustrators, memes, panel settings, uh, paperwork shit. Picks from vids, PNGs, stand yeah. stock images. Stock. <clears throat> or maybe I got it as it was like maze somewhere. <coughs> Is it on your computer? Oh shit, maybe. Um, ooh, look at that. We have What about if we just put that weird baby face? Or what if we put Chris Chan's baby face? On either of them. I don't even know which one. Do we have one of these already? Billy Ray Perry? No, it's just... Uh, that guy. Karl Marx and Taylor Swift. <laughs> I hope it's good. Man, this... Can we have like three programs running? So we just have things fucking... Loading all the time. I need to know what all the things look like. I'll get bored eventually. It's fine. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> How did they come up with that? That guy. That guy. That guy. <laughs> that guy. Oh, what's his fucking uh, Taylor Marks or some shit? <laughs> oh my god. Carl Swift. <laughs> Jeepus. Oh, we should do Big Mama June and that Schlizlack sh sh guy, that quote unquote philosopher bullshit thing. Oh, we should do Shin Chan and Mike Tyson. We should do. Uh. Sorry. What the fuck is that guy's name? Slava Zizek? Just a philosopher idiot with a lisp. Communist with a lisp. That's what he's known for. It's like too Polish or whatever to fucking... What a plant. Hey, it worked. I thought it was oh, Slavo. I was close with Slava. I don't know. I don't remember. But I'm glad you feel that way. Is this one? Yeah! <laughs> Look at that shit. I want... People do work. People grow food and people write. What is that? Shut up. You're such an idiot. What a fat idiot retard. What a piece of shit bad person. Yeah, fat mama. She's barely, a, she's just a mother. Mother June. Her head's still fucking big. Oh, yeah. This one? That one or, oh, yeah, because it's her whole head. Ha! That's not very good resolution. Oh, that one's better resolution. Oh, okay, and her whole head's there. It looked like it wasn't gonna be. I should check that stuff more often now. 
Mother June. Mother July. Mother December. Mother long fucking cold December. Again, cut that bitch up and get warmth. Ride her like that Star Wars reference. Tatooine. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I hope this is better. Yeah. I want better more all the time. Tom better more. <sighs> the anticipation isn't killing me because I'm still very much alive. Have difficulty. It's got to think. Probably because that thing. Oh, maybe. Or maybe because that thing was like 5,000 megapixels or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's the shit you see, like, in a Saw movie, I think. That's the guy who went through the shit and now is changed forever. <sighs> We're swapping them. Swapping them. Um... <laughs> what a silly program. Yeah. Oh, dead gum it. What? I'm gonna have to do Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to give him her fucking ex or give her his fucking expression. I think it was pretty good. <laughs> fucking fat motherless Zizak. Mama Lispy Kami. <laughs> I do it again you think it'll come up with the same picture oh shit i don't even know i wonder if it'll try to do something different or if it has like an algorithm for the best that kind of looks like uh your friend that we were talking about before the opera singer yeah oh sh were you thinking that before i was no oh <laughs> Not the same did the same face oh dang okay well, I guess we should play Mass Effect before it's too late. Right? Oh, I'm going to be thinking about this the whole I, I time. Just one more, and then I'll stop. Okay. Well, you got something in mind? Yeah. Tommy Pickles. Th this is... This is... Uh, no. no you, you'll know. Daniel Jackson. Oh, shit. And Hardeen Anders. Ooh. Colonel Jack O'Neill and Angus Morangus MacGyver. You combine the same guy. It's the same. Yeah. <laughs> that one looked good. Like maybe the shadow's gonna fuck it up. Maybe like a young one. And then old MacGyver. Oh no. Oh, uh, the youngest MacGyver we can, or the youngest uh, Hardeen Anders we can find, and the oldest Hardeen Anders. Dang it. I didn't go backwards. <clears throat> Dark Jack. When Stargate goes dark. Are you looking for a specific? Oh, uh, like like I said, a, a young one. Are you you see anything that? Yeah, I saw a few. Like the best they're gonna get has maybe if you put season one, you could get the earliest Jack O'Neill. <sighs> Well, that looks down. pretty. That's like season four or some shit. Wow, it's not very good. Oh, 
resolution. That first picture was nice. It was with him and Samantha, but then we'd have to cut it, so never mind. Um, the one next to it looked... This one? Yeah. Why are you not using his face? Like, they're, they're such bad resolution. Because you have to buy the real one. Why should we let you have a big thing that you can use? This is as big as we need it. Ew, what was that? The top one. It looks like it was altered. <sighs> it's got a bunch of faces. I wonder if it would replace. Oh, jeez. We could try it. Should we do it? Yeah. Hope it doesn't just make an error. Error. Oh, you were still on the uh, program. Uh, uh. Sam Jack Hammond. Two first names, one last name. <clears throat> Pope John Paul Hammond to you. Uh, oh, he's a ridiculous wife. That's crazy. Hey, maybe that one. Uh, watching them show and get her own picture and fucking do us better. <clears throat> First one, maybe? Uh, oh my god, what do you mean, HD? Uh, well, as good as it gets. Thanks, Hardeen. <coughs> Boo! Ah. Uh. God damn it, now I forgot who I was going to mix them with. I can't remember if it was I thought it was everybody. Oh, oh was, we got no, that other one, but had... I, I, what I had in mind is I, I I think I originally wanted to mix them with Samantha Carter. Because I thought that would be funny. But then I thought, uh, Teal. They could end up in blackface. It was... Oh, shit, yeah! Teal is Christopher Judge. Hair. Uh huh. With a goofy ass smile. Ugh. Their fucking resolution sucks from the fan. Oh, well, fandom. Can't you just like things? Stop. Whoa. That's a, that's what's the. 69? That is not him. Oh, it looks like it. That's funny. What about that one? Does he have a head if you clicked it? Planet Claire? No, he doesn't have a head. Whoa! Christoph Smiljank? Like putting his makeup on. Like a queer. <clears throat> Nothing's tickling. Is that a Toyota thing on his head? Oh, yeah, Tilk rebranded. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I get his whole head, but that's not bad. Are you, if you want to try it. <laughs> uh, it's kind of blurry, though, yeah? Kind of looks shitty. Yeah, it was probably done on, like, the DVD or whatever. Ooh, my fan art. Missing a bit of his head, but let's well, find Big Braun was missing. Well, <clears throat> had too much head. Oh. <laughs> mm. 
You made sure that the, this thing was. Oh well, it never went down. Okay. No, it was. That was the internet. It could be behind or something. I hate how Twitch died. Thank you for following. I should have said. I don't know. Is it? Is that something I want to thank for? About the falling part, but. Hmm. What a cop out! Boo! It's not so good. That's weird. Do you think change it, switching them would make a difference? I hope so. <clears throat> it looks a little weird. Like made weird blonde hair on him. Yeah, it kind of just looked like he just copped out his face. Like there's this weird circle around. Yeah, it. cause Tilk has like that extra ooh, that extra <laughs> cheekbone shit here. Maybe they'll take it out for the next one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they took the teal thing off his head. That's kind of interesting, right? That is interesting. Colonel O'Teal'c. Because they both have commas. <clears throat> That's all whited out. No. Oh, shit. Your titty showing. That's not her. What the hell? That was kind of a funny face. So she's made a lot of those funny faces. Yeah, like that one we record where she's like Ugh, looking up. Uh huh. It's not her. Prompt hero. Prompt hero, maybe. Uh. Psychology, fuck you. No. Deviant art, young Samantha. No, that's no. not fucking her. No. <laughs> but she's not in Star Trek, and that's not no. her. I'll go back to the, the first one. Fine. Uh is she a plastic surgery? I can't tell. It looks like her nose is smaller. It is, right? She got like this little dimple nose when she joined Atlantis. Probably a little before. Her. You're so picky. I'm trying to find something that's... Oh, yeah. They haven't been, uh... I've lowered my standard. I'm just trying to find one now that's... <laughs> Damn. Fuck. It's still on the program. By the way, Blech. Oh, come on. If you care. Do you care? Oh. Samantha Tapping? Did you save that? No. Uh. We leveled up in life by oh, having this. Is this O'Neill? Yeah. <laughs> Two fucking apostrophes. I don't know if I can do apostrophes. I can do like dashes. Follow the leader. Follow for follow. Oh, is that a question? Follow for follow. I suppose that would be a good thing. Is, is it good to falsely raise your numbers? Do you think that that's a, a thing? Maybe that... bring somebody in. 
Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, we can follow you. Well, hopefully you want to hang out a little bit. Hey, how's it going? You probably got your own business. We got our own business too. <laughs> sure. Take care of business. Uh, look at we're, we're taking care of business right now. Fucking Amanda Tap Bilk. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we're uh we're mixing faces together. I think we've gone a little loopy. We were talking for hours and hours and hours, I think. We we're just messing around with this. Do you have a suggestion what two faces we should put together? And then we're gonna play some Mass Effect. Should I save this or no? So I can make it again. I think we should swap them and see what happens. Yeah, swap so whichever one is better. But I, that's pretty good. Like the way they did all the the hair and he's the big fucking. Sma I don't know. So what's the, what um, Amanda Tapilk. Oh, instead of a tapping ilk. I don't know. You do the math. Uh. Jenna Ortega and Taylor Swift. I don't know who Jenna Ortega is. Can we look that up? We're doing it. We're doing it. Ortega like the spicy meal. Jenna Ortega. Did you just put me on a watch list? <laughs> Is she a little lolly? Poor thing. What is that? To save it or to... To generate the new one. I swapped him. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, cop out. Okay, I'm boring. glad we saved the other one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, D D D D D D D D internet this yes probably that one because most of her head is showing this one this. yeah oh that's the same picture oh <laughs> we could have double the jenna double the fun oh is that like that well, there was a new adams family i guess there's so many pictures where it's multiples of her <clears throat> Maybe that little one. The little one? The where she's smaller with the orange in the background? Yes. Yeah. Oh, bad choice. Uh, oh, sorry. Dang. Well, next page then. That second one. That one is a little, <laughs> the little baby one. The more can baby can one? we just put two in? Let's see how it works. And see if it it makes a double. <clears throat> oh man, I hope it does both. That would be All right. pretty cool. Double Jenna Ortega. And Taylor Swift. Maybe we should try a different Taylor Swift since we had that. We had so much problems finding an HD one from before. Okay, so we'll just use that one. We know it works at least. Uh, <clears throat> fucking her mouth is always open. What do you normally uh, do the live streams about? I figured since it's Twitch, people probably are playing video games or something. I imagine you play video games. There's oh, video games and there's also... It does recognize faces. Oh, so wow. So it'll apply it to one or two. Look, apply think, it to both. I think you can, it can only do one. You what? What is this? A free trial? Like, it's, it's individual. So oh, that's, okay. I think that's why now. So we could do... We'll do one and then we'll do the other. See which one comes out best. All right. Do it again. Oh, Fortnite. <laughs> I just made a Fortnite video. Isn't that fun? I'm pretty <sighs> sure nobody who plays Fortnite would like it, but... What is this? That's it? How does that look? I don't know if I'm too impressed. Yeah, it almost just looks like Taylor Swift, doesn't it? <laughs> Taylor Swift mixed with a little chipmunk. Maybe we try with the little kid? Yeah, I already bumped it up to one. What do you mean bumped it up to one? That's, see over here, zero, one. Yeah, I thought the first one said zero the whole time. Zero was like the one you do or some shit. Yeah, because there's only one, it's, it's the initial face. Oh, whoa, okay. That's a cop out. I don't know if that's a good one. Should we try sw switching them? Yeah. 
Ortega Cruz or, or Ortega Swift? Are you successful in Fortnite? Do lots of people watch you play Fortnite? And I don't know really what... <laughs> do you know all the cool moves? Do you have any skins? I don't know. <laughs> How much dancing do you do? Oh, Fortnite <laughs> dances. Whoa. Is that... That's the kid one? Wow. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's that's this one. I can move this. Boop. Now I'll mix it with the little kid. Oh, wow. That's not even the little kid? Nope. Okay. This is where we get fucking pop for... <laughs> Can't be putting that kitty face with them titties. That's not appropriate. I didn't do it. The artificial intelligence did it. <laughs> Man, well, Manuel, that was the other one was f cuter or funny or whatever. The the one just looks like a friggin' baby face. That one looks a little <laughs> strange. Man, I think I feel like if we had a better picture of both of them but maybe they just look very much alike maybe great minds think alike and that's why they're best friends you know what i mean bill cosby and taylor swift nah -uh. old or new <laughs> bill cosby wow that's fucking derek not a cosby you know what i mean You have two Fortnite accounts? Pray tell, why is there a need for two Fortnite accounts? Because one got banned once? Probably. Oh, they, they, I, I, I fucking dropped some end bombs and I got banned for 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> one is like, that's, I got, I keep my pro life and my recreational life separate. My business and my woman. Two different things. Uh, I'm nope. I'm yeah, I am your business. Wow. <laughs> it's so animated. It's so warped. It's so weird. Are we gonna swap them? Yep. Oh man. Alright, then we gotta play. Okay. We gotta play, but we choose to play. We choose to play. That looks like one of uh, Dunnigan's characters, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I was thinking of that uh, Disgaea thing we had. It looks like somebody took old Swifty and like put a bag over her head and suffocated her and killed her. Yeah, she's like rotting right now. <laughs> I would like to keep that. Yeah, I think maybe... The Taylor Swift ones can go online because people get easily. Yeah, by. Billy Swift. <laughs> oh, what about that guy who does that pizzazzle infomercial where he's like, you, uh, you, you push the thing and the all I get suck. Yeah, who's that guy's name? Bill Murray. Bill Murray and Bill Cosby. Oh shit! One more, Bill uh. Murray and Bill Cosby. If it sucks, I'll be upset, but <laughs> and then we can play. <sighs> really young Bill Murray and really old Bill Cosby, or really young Bill Cosby and really, or maybe, what the hell is that? Has Bill Murray died? Why did somebody fuck him? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Andy Six. Oh, lover. <laughs> that fucking smug face. That's terrible. There's so I feel like we've seen somebody on YouTube that looks like that. Uh, is it a guy with a head injury? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it's a retarded person that I had to take care of at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I like the transition. 
it smoothed out both of their faces. That's kind of strange, right? Kind of interesting. He looks like Tony Soprano. <laughs> oh, should we keep it? Should we, can I keep it? Keep it. <laughs> Bill Cosby? <laughs> Murray Cosby? Oh. Uh. All right, well, we're swapping. Oh, this is what's got to be. Beautiful. I have not yet. I don't, I can look, but I can't touch at the moment. It's weird setup, but I will be sure to, to do that. <clears throat> I won't forget about you. <clears throat> wow. That's intense. It's he kind of looks like the guy who we were watching in that uh, comedy skit or whatever. O'Reilly, Biley, Bo Biley. Oh yeah, one of the the Irish guy. Okay, that's weird. Uh, taking it, taking it. Uh, up the pooper. I don't. Know, I forgot what I was gonna say. Are you twittering? Uh, not that. What, what, are they on uh, Twitch? Yeah. <sighs> Let's Twitter again. I was looking for that, baby. Oh, okay. It's probably gonna play. No. It is muted. All right. Time for Mass Effect. And then wow. we've been at this for hours. Boom. There. Oh, you just started, um... What's this? Twitch? Have you recently started, or is it a new account or something? Okay, shutting this down. Bada bing, bada boom. One more Mass Effect. You got yours started. Mm-hmm. Bilbo kissy face. Oh, I'm gonna stay up all night swapping faces, husband. Oh, what have I done? Oh, you remember how that Chinese guy played, uh, did the Hulk thing in the Eric Andre show? Oh, we should yeah. make him the Hulk. Uh, Mass Effect Three is unavailable at this time. Don't kid yourself. Did you uh, not start the server? Um, I. I didn't start Mass Effect. Didn't you? Oh, it must have been me. I didn't start the server. Ha ha ha. Still three. Do to do. We ride bike. Oh, yeah. But we don't play Fortnite. Um. Maybe we could <clears throat> put the two cobras together, king and queen. Oh, yeah. That would be fun. I said it to him. Like, this is, this is what your baby could look like. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's silly. We're up to like 19 now or something. Oh. And some of those are fucking bots anyway. <laughs> What's with the skull, I wonder? When he said the, the those two things was skull, skull. Cult of death. Yeah, weird. I'm tired and hungry. Spent too long. Should we not do this? Should we I... still we still do this? Maybe we just have some quick later. 
I'll make some chicken and some, some pasta. Some microwave meatballs. You know what I'm talking about. That thing that you do with my meatballs. Oh, yes. The meatballs. I'm getting loopy. Loopy the third. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we put, like, anime faces like Shinji or something with Terry. Or fucking uh, Guts with Mike Tyson. Something weird. Mm. I, oh, we should try Shatner. cartoons and see if it can yeah. detect cartoony faces. The Jetsons and the Flintstones. Oh, it must because it did the Hulk with Jackie Chan. Oh, yeah. Well, experiment over. Hmm. <laughs> Female Shep with male Shep. There's no pictures of me though, so nope. we can't. <laughs> we can put a picture of your butt and my butt. I probably won't do. It. It's got two faces. <sighs> Did my brother ever take a picture of our butts and send it to? Chester the molester. Are we gonna do that at one point? I th we we did send pictures of our butts to Chester the molester. Oh, huh. cool. I'm gonna pick. Should, are we doing a platinum or a gold? Oh, I think a gold. Okay, I'm still gonna be the juggernaut. Juggernaut. Hmm. Uh. Fred Durst and John Travolta. Young John Travolta and old John Travolta. Fucking the Pope and Putin. I'm pooping Pope. I'm pooping. There's so many people. Yeah. A dog with a cat. If you can see the faces. He didn't find that fucking panda. That's bullshit. Mm. But it can find the Hulk. Okay. Uh, mission settings. Where should we go? We, uh, not white. I want to do someplace different. Okay. Um, either giant or dagger. Where's Dagger? Oh. The first one. I mean, are you even... Uh, let's do Giant. Okay. Gath, Cerberus, uh, Reaper. Let's, let's do... Collect. No. Let's let's do the robots. You already put equipment on? Yeah. Dang, I'm fucking lagging. I, I'm buffering, sorry. So many, oh, that's not what I want. So many mental things to balance. And, like, all the conspiracies in my head. Because there are conspiracies, you know? Is it a fucking robot? Is it fucking, is it a blast from the past? Is this some random coincidence? What does this random coincidence mean? What do, how do I make the best of a situation? Oh, I can't find what I need. Structural stronghold. I did it all by myself. You did it, lover. Amber Lynn. And, like, that chick that died from eating jackfruit. Oh, so skinny? Yeah. Foodie Booty with, like, Beyonce or some shit. Beyonce with Jay-Z. Norm MacDonald with Jay-Z. Norm MacDonald with Ronald Norm McDonald with Ronald McDonald with the KFC guy. McDonald Ronald. <laughs> uh. Oh. Trudeau with that his dad, the uh that Colombian warlord guy, Castro. See how close their their faces are. What do I need? 
I'll just do a little cyclone. Well, we're gonna have to do Xi Jinping and Winnie the Pooh with you. Oh, shit. Yeah. Beautiful. You got a lot of stuff to do, wife. Yeah. What do I want to do? Shield power cells? Because I got a whole fucking fuck ton of them. Or fastness. Uh. What do I want to do? I'll do fat. Should I do fastness? Not shields. Stabilization when I already have all the stable things. Uh, what kind of. Who are you? The paladin. Oh, so you don't need me to do nothing. <sighs> Lazy rounds. These suck, right? They're like. Don't do nothing. Yeah, they don't do nothing. Should I use disruptor rounds? Uh, I'm so I got hard. lots of cryo ones. Okay. Do you need? Shouldn't it be better if I do? Like, do you do a lot of damage against armor? Yeah, I yeah I do get good damage against everything. Oh, okay. Well, it's the way the cookie crumbles. I guess I'm ready. Can I have the water? I'm parched. Dang. Mm -hmm. We could try to combine all the De Louises. Dom De Louise with Nick De Louise with Peter De Louise, whatever. Or all the bald ones. Well, yeah. I wonder if then we put one into the machine, if we could put another one. Like, if we make two things together, can we add a third? Yeah. By reloading it. Okay. Oh, shit. Is my sound all off? I don't think I checked. I don't think it's off. I just turned it down some. Oh. Not... Oh, crap. No, I think you muted it. Fuck. Well, it's the end of the world as I know it. Oh, I should use this. Get out of here. Beep. Wee. Wee, wee. Ow. I got a rocket troop with wife. From whence? Oh. Kill him. I'm doing it. I'm a real boy. Uh, All I had to do was believe I had a penis. Where am I getting shot from? Come on. I have not been doing very well, wife. Why not? Well, I'm hitting the walls. What's the matter with you? My aim is poor. But my rhymes are sick. Take a look at my dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Cobra rap. Mm-hmm. Yo, yo. Everybody <laughs> do the Cobra rap. <laughs> Oh, make it That's when you put your doing own. him with like Brad Pitt or Ryan Phillippe, uh, Ryan Reynolds, whatever. Somebody who is traditionally known as handsome, David Duchovny and Gillian Gillian. Mm. Fat Joe with Lil Wayne. Puff Daddy with Snoop Lion. 
Snoop Dogg with Snoop Lion. Martha Stewart. Oh, yeah. Marge Simpson with... What's a... Uh, uh, Nikocado. Fatacalo. Oh, ew. Nikocado with... Brad Pitt, or somebody, a traditionally handsome person. Uh. Chevy Chase with Amanda Tapping, or uh, uh, who's that chick from all that? Sabrina the Teenage Witch, fuck it. Some sort of... Melissa Joan Hart? Yeah! Mm, Chevy Chase with Melissa Joan Hart. Mm. You're nuts with my butt. Uh -huh. We got a match. <laughs> We've got a winner. Uh -huh. Jared Leto with Britney Spears. Jared Leto with Jeffrey Epstein. Ooh. Yeah! We should turn so many people into Jeffrey Epstein or that Brett Weinstein. Hmm. Funny how they all have those Steen names. Yeah, that's a weird coinky dink. Is it because they're fan of beer mugs? I don't think so, buddy. What a dick. Come on, robot. Let's go, robot. Ah, ah, ah. <clears throat> we done did it. Primes. Time for primes. Already? Michael Jackson with Corey Feldman. <laughs> Corey Haim at his prime, or, you know, at least peak, uh, starness, and old Corey Feldman. Comeback King Corey Feldman. Oh. Uh, what about the Pawn Star guy? With Jeremy Clarkson. I was thinking because they're both Corys. Oh, Yeah. Oh, was heaven gained one of those angles. Fred Armisen with that Carrie Brownberg. Oh. Seth MacFarlane and that old Adam West. Seth MacFarlane with Keith Oberman. Uh, Seth MacFarlane with Steve MacFarlane? Oh, uh, who's Steve MacFarlane? Isn't he the guy who made Spawn? I was trying to think what that doofus's name was, but I don't think it was Keith. Steve? Uh, mm. I don't remember. Damn. Diana Troy with fucking Picard of the USS Enterprise.
Oh, he was dead. I'm so useless. No, well, you're doing a good job, I think. I haven't mm. died. Much. Uh. We did it. We did it. We finally won. All the robots have been defeated. I doobs with his dog. Oh. Or I doobs with his bitch. <laughs> I doobs with Hitler. Or his girl, his wife with Hitler. Oh, that's pretty good. You're literally Hitler right now. A newborn baby with Hitler. We're bringing him back. Why are they so angry at me? Oh, I died. I tried to peek out and get shields, and it didn't work so well. Oh. Uh, there's two fucking juggernauts. That hurts. I'm getting the shit kicked out of me. Uh oh. I died. I fainted. <laughs> One down. Christian Bale with Selma Hayek. Robin Williams with Selma Hayek. Quentin Tarantino with Selma Hayek. Ooh, make him a pretty lady. Ooh. Arnold Schwarzenegger and the uh, the girl with three titties from his uh, <laughs> Recall movie. Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Mexican maid he cheated on his wife with. Somebody playing fucking drum and bass or is that just a dog snoring? That's... Netanyahu and whatever the leader of Palestine is. Bunch of rubble? The Jaffa rebels? Is that what you said? Just a bunch of rubble? Oh, yeah, right? Uh... Where is this asshole? Coming down this way? Fuck. Why gotta take so damn long? Walk so slow. Why am I taking the punishment for this? Nenyahu and some little girl that got killed because of him. Nenyahu and somebody with an uncircumcised penis. With an unmutilated penis, I should say. Uh, it, oh, I changed the size of it around its whole circumference. Nah, I don't give a shit what you're doing. That's mutilation.
Should I be taking the little guys or the big guy? Uh, while he's uh, take the uh, I guess the little guys. Ow. Okay. I'm out of juice. How can that be? I shoot it too much. Shot my load. Oh. Um. <clears throat> I am. How many fucking guys is there? Why are they so far away? <sighs> Why is it always going to be a prime, ma? Dang. They don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Oh, Shrek and fucking that guy that died that made the All-Star song. Oh, yeah. That'd be a fitting tribute. Mike Myers and Shrek. <laughs> Eddie Murphy and Shrek. Ooh. Shrek and Donkey. Eddie Murphy and an orangutan. Be the same picture. <laughs> Dave Chappelle and RuPaul. Also the same picture. That the wind still blowing? At least it's starting to feel like warmer in here. I haven't felt like miserable. That's good. Ow. There's only one more left. Wow. Look at all this advanced information, knowing about only one more left. That's why I feel like we're in, like, a simulation or something. Or they're lying to us. Like, they put us in a dangerous situation just because. Mm. If that's the case, they are not to be followed. Yeah, but we keep playing. <laughs> and we don't stop playing. The years start coming and they don't stop coming until you overdose on alcohol. And then you know them is coming. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, I thought we were on wave eight. Which one are we on? Seven. Oh, man. Causing all the explosions.
Come on. Hey, invisible guys. I see them, but I can't fucking pick them up. Die. Amber Lynn and Samuel L. Jackson. I was trying to think of Denzel Washington and somebody because everybody looks like Denzel Washington. Mm. Ha! <laughs> Fucking Amber Lynn and like uh, Jim Carrey. Like, like somebody who has a serious face and give him, like, the Ace Ventura face. Oh, nice. <laughs> Here I come. Oh. I'm starting to feel the... The tiredness and the not eating. Mm. It's the only way babe. we can do it, right? Yeah. I'll only cry twice before I eat. Ooh, we can have a banana milk. Banana milk. Oh. L. Ron Hubbard and Daisy Fuentes. Kurt Loader. And Daisy Fuentes. Or Kurt Loader and L. Ron Hubbard, I mean. Who's Daisy Fuentes? Some chick. She was, like, relevant in the 90s. Like, MTV stuff. Or, you know how they had, like, Attack of the Show or whatever? On, On Yeah, they had, like, MTV stuff where they had. You know, like, uh, Jenny McCarthy was one person that they did stuff with. Uh, like an announcer slash model thing. Gotcha. Or insert any, you know, what, who's, who's that other chick? I said Selma Hayek or it would be her. Or, uh, dang, who's that? Sharon Stone. Whatever. so many things to try I keep saying things in my head I'm like, I don't know if it's worth oh Jeffrey Epstein and Jim Carrey that might be interesting Joe Rogan and an alien <laughs> Joe Rogan and Kevin Hart because they're the same shape and size Bob Lazar in a bucket of shit <laughs> Joe Rogan and Sam Squanch why did I change my underwear? You know I hate changing my underwear. I don't know why you did that. Repooping. The gets start coming and they don't stop coming until we extract wave 11. We gotta get out of here. Chester Bennington and the children he left behind. Ooh, Chester Bennington and that guy he killed himself because. Chris Cornley. Chester Bennington and that Bennington Australian chick that sings. Oh. Chester Bennington and that the the guy from Corn. Alex Jones and Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Alex Jones and Missy Elliott. Ooh. Flipping it around, globalists. <laughs> Teal and Alex Jones.
Klaus Schwab and Alex Jones. Who are people that like really look alike? We do them too. Oh, I could finally put together that kid that was from Boy Meets World and Topanga. Oh. So we got all this fucking power. You know what we can't do? What? Have a fucking seal kissing a polar bear. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. The internet failed at that. Muhammad and Jesus. Ooh. Mahesus. <laughs> oh, fucking. Is there a person that Joe Rogan doesn't like? Probably like a girl or something. Oh, that fucking comedian, quote unquote. She was in a period piece and she like got naked or something and it was supposed to like make a statement or whatever about poverty or old age or something. We should swap their faces. I don't remember who that is. Dang, it was like something you showed me at one point. Because there's that one f guy who thinks he's funny that Joe Rogan hangs out with. Who's like shirtless on stage all the time. And then she was like, I want to be so Oh, so yeah. I remember now. Oh, speaking of period piece, that one chick that has a weird face is from, like, Simon and Garfunkel. Ooh, Kenny Rogers and fucking... Oh, Paul Simon. Paul Simon. <laughs> fucking... Oh. Ooh. Uh, that kill was streak. A... Neat. Yeah, cryo explosion kill streak. The, guy, the lead singer of R.E.M. and Jeffrey Epstein. Or the lead singer of R.E.M. and Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King and Martin Luther. Mm. The Rock and Jacques Chirac. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? The former president of uh, France. Oh, shit. Yeah. Jacques Chirac, The Rock, Joss. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, beautiful. No, how come I can't be the fastest turtle in this race? You're a sexy turtle. Thanks. Can I be a fast, sexy turtle? You gotta use steroids for that one. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll do it. Labouche, the douche, Swayze. Patrick Swayze and another guy that died of cancer. Well, uh, who can we do like no fielding with? Oh my god. Taylor Swift. Oh. Fuck Bjork. You. Putting that face on anything would probably be terrifying. Who was the person that we're like, oh yeah, just a couple minutes ago? Cause it's oh Jim K oh Noel Fielding and Jim Carrey. <laughs> just a fucking an extra mind fuck. My mind has been fucked. Mind fuck. If only we had friends and pictures of ourselves and if that was like the life we lived and we could do silly face things with ourselves. Yeah. Sonny Bono and the Unabomber. The alleged Unabomber. Should we do uh, Roger Moore or Michael Moore? 
And then combine them with Macklemore. <laughs> Put all the Moors together. Demi Moore fucking. Yeah. Michael Dugmore. Fuck it. Put an extra Michael Moore in there. <laughs> <laughs> what the friggity fuck is going on? Hello? A drumpty do with his wife. Because of the looking, or even see, we were talking about kissing seals, seal and his wife, because he has a mo- like a model wife or some shit, and he's ugly as fucking a punch devil cake, devil devil's food cake, some sort of chocolate dish, because he's so dark. What are you? S- oh, they're stuck there. There's a few people. Chris Chan and Taylor Swift. Chris It'll Chan, be Swift Chan. Chan. Oh, yeah. You just want to stay put back here? Yeah, might as well. I'm getting to the LZ. Netanyahu and Jesus. Netanyahu and Muhammad. Netanyahu and L. Ron Hubbard. Elon Musk and Netanyahu. Jordan oh. Peterson. Oh. Jordan Peterson and, and uh... Some Trudeau. fat lesbian. Oh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. The current board of education or wherever he fucking lost his license from. Yeah, I didn't have to use nothing. Damn, where are you going, homie? Apparently, I had the aggro then. <laughs> what if I had one of my feet not inside the circle? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh oh, shit. I just shotgun at the last second. Uh, that would be bad. Dave Chappelle and Bill Cosby. Dave Chappelle and Teal. Teal and Bill Cosby. To Cosby. <laughs> Tos, Co- Cosby. The most hard to pronounce one. Why not? Uh, Fuck it. Ooh. I can't buy two things, but whatever. Oh. Damn, I'm only getting one thing now at a time. It might be almost time for an odd specter packs. The suppressors haven't only have to get it again. We did it. We did it. Fairy length is done. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Fuck, I thought you were exiting for some reason. I looked at the corner of my eyes and just assumed. Viper? You never have to get that one again. Or that one again, of that gun. Tremendous close range. Wow. 
They're holding steady and winning in key locations. We, 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 we. Love you, bye.